quick little hello, everybody. How's it going? It is raining like crazy here. Or it was. It's actually lightened up a little bit, but it's been raining all day. Insane. They told me that didn't happen in California. What the fuck went wrong? Good thing I like rain, as long as I'm inside. <laughs> Being out in the rain? Fucking terrible. I know some people. I dated somebody that loved it, and she would run through the rain and look like a fucking fairy. It was very endearing. I hated it. But if I'm inside and if I can listen to the rain fall outside, that's so nice. Really therapeutic. I like it. It's calming, you know? I like having a wall and a window between me and rain and snow. Me and rain or snow. But if that's the case, then I enjoy myself. <clears throat> I'm sure it's good for this dry ass state somehow that has been in and out of uh, drought for like years. Hello, 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 hello. Hey, Ellie. Ellie coming in with the first. Welcome, Ellie. Welcome, Purple. Hello, hello. Hey, Miss Fortune. Brian Lloyd. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Cybermax. Hello, everyone. And please, 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 no spoilers. Mm. Spoilers about what? Have you not gone through Lightfall yet? If you haven't gone through Lightfall, um, I don't plan on doing much story today. Um, but... Oh, Zephins is already hitting it. I was going to say, yeah, but there's always a chance you might run into something you haven't seen yet since I've already done the campaign. <clears throat> Up smash, what's going on? Uh, blah, 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 Lisa. Lisa, what's going on? Night, Nightmare King. Welcome to everyone's current addiction for the moment. Are you talking about Destiny or me? <laughs> Jordan, what's going on? Hey, Zephans. Monkachia, how does it feel that you're the last legend to break the seasonal legend release? Everything according to plan. I broke the system. You're mine now. <laughs> Newest legend forever. I don't actually know that. <laughs> I did have someone message me when the season hit, and they're like, congratulations, you're the first legend. They're, they say, they said, like, you're the first legend, the first new legend for the second season in a row. <clears throat> hey, Sheffy. Thank you for all the help earlier. I really appreciate it. Blue Pink, welcome, welcome, welcome. Ellie, I shall be lurking while I play The Last of Us. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that's on my list, especially now that it's coming out for Windows. I'm going to play through that at some point, I swear. I've never done it. I've been wanting to. Hey, Jen. Nilky. Okay, important thing this week. Gotcha. All right. Uh, I will get to that eventually, although I'm probably not doing that tonight. Um, all right, you know what? So here's the deal. I'm, uh, I made, I just made some matcha. So I'm gonna have some green tea matcha. Um, what the hell did I just click on? So I need to go get that off of the, um, Keurig. I use my Keurig for hot water because I'm lazy. Um, so let me go get the, the green tea off the Keurig and then we'll, uh, we'll jump in. One sec.
I return. I did it. I did it. <laughs> yeah, we do. Does it show that? Yeah, we actually, uh, I did. I've promoted Sheffy, and I really appreciate it. Um, we're gonna get a couple of a couple more mods in the uh, in the near future. Um, I am planning on someday, someday, uh, I'm gonna be opening up uh, an application and seeing uh, if people are interested in helping support the channel, um, as well as seeing if like schedules line up and if it feels like you're a good fit. Um, because I know that there are some people that are in here like all the time with me and, uh, for all I know, there might be some people willing to jump in and, uh, and help save my sanity. <laughs> like Zeffins and Chevy. <laughs> hey, Pandora. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, uh, this night's pretty straightforward. I've got my chat full screen. Um, I figure we can hang out. It's double XP, uh, for PVE activities. So... Uh, get ready to be horrified as I am going to be just spamming strikes all night. Uh, I may jump into some nightfalls at some point with Rail and Milky, um, but the uh, the name of the game is just hang out together <laughs> and, and shoot some grenades at things. Um, and maybe we can get a little bit closer to the... I thought it was three. Apparently, it's four resets I need this season to be able to be getting uh, the best possible rolls on the rocket launcher I want. And I made some delicious green tea matcha. So I've got a hot drink. If you don't have something, I suggest you get something. I have taken today so easily. I am like ignoring my inbox. It's this last weekend was such an insane. Nilky. I'm going to finish my sentence first. This last weekend was such an insane weekend and I was so stressed out that like sh shit's been in full swing and I'm getting a lot of stuff from my agency. I have just decided today I am Ignoring my inbox. I think I have an audition that's technically due tomorrow. We are not going to do it. I am going to focus on me and taking care of myself all day today. And I'm going to go to sleep and I'm going to wake up tomorrow. And maybe tomorrow we'll, we'll get back to work. <laughs> but today we're resting. Um, I did spend a little bit of time in... Uh, uh, yeah, it is Iron Banner. Yeah, if you, didn't, if you play Destiny, it's Iron Banner this week. Um, if, uh, I did spend a little bit of time earlier today, um, putting together a packet for my artist, uh, for the Someday debut. Um, they told me that they wanted, like, kind of like a basic rundown of the character, their backstory, personality, like, things like toggles and stuff that I want for the model, and so I did spend a little bit of time doing that today and putting that together, so... Just before I started stream, I sent off a zipped file with a whole bunch of ideas, probably an overload of information because I habitually overthink everything. And uh, and we'll see what they say about it. Um, I probably won't be seeing any concepts or sketches for a good couple of months because I uh, I decided to go with someone who's already got quite the workload. Um, but I think it'll be worth it in the end because I think they're going to do some really good work for me. I'm very excited. All things in time. Patience. <laughs> Patience is important. That or they'll deliver nothing and then I'll find out that they're like living in some other country under an assumed identity and wearing a fake mustache everywhere. Mustache. Green tea, good matcha. Uh, it, uh, I, I'm not gonna, I can't get into the, the, I'm not the best person to describe the differences, but it is essentially a green tea. It's a, it's a, a more concentrated 
green tea. You usually, a lot of them say that you should make it with milk. Um, but they also say that you should make like hot cocoa and shit with exclusively milk. And if you're like me, cleaning pots after you've heated up milk can be a pain in the ass. <laughs> so I usually use water, but my compromise is what I do is uh, I'll put in some, uh, I put in the green tea and I put in just a little bit of monk fruit sweetener and then I'll usually add cream on top so that, uh, so that it still has a little bit of that, uh, that richness. <clears throat> so we have a, an arc threat on Vanguard Ops, and the Nightfall has a Void Surge. You know what? God, matchmaking is, o- is off for everything above seven, 1770, which is so stupid. Um... What do we even have today for Barrier and Unstop? Barrier and Unstop. What do I have for Unstop? If I wanted to, I could use a Scout Rifle. Not that it super matters if you queue into that shit. Hold, please. Leviathan's Breath is unstopped, technically. Yeah, and Void, which means it's probably f- freaking sick if it weren't for the fact that this boss has uh, stupid uh, health gates now. Although for the purpose of running um, running the Nightfall, actually, you know what? For the purpose of running the Nightfall, um, I could probably get away with... Um, if I were running, like, GMs later, like, lower end Nightfall doesn't matter a whole lot, but if I were doing uh, GMs later, I could probably get away with Under Your Skin and Leviathan's Breath. Might be a halfway decent combination. Um, for right now, I'm going to see if I can get away with my usual build, but I'm going to throw my... One of my scout rifles. Which one? I'm going to throw... Oh, God. Which scout rifle? I'm gonna throw my Persade. Yeah, they did. They changed everything. Um, Vanguard Prosperity. What does that do? They uh, yeah. There's like three times the turrets now, Ice Blue, and there's Health Gates. And the biggest bummer, like just from the standpoint of presentation, is he just teleports up to the towers now, whereas he used to like run over to them, which is kind of a bummer. It's uh. It's just a little bit of production value that's gone missing. Hey, Robert. Remind me what the hell uh, Vanguard... What are you talking about? Prosperity. Chance to drop additional legendary gear. Oh, good fucking point, actually. How much is that? It's three. I guess that's all right, because I'm looking for weapons anyway. Yeah, let's fucking do that. Vanguard Prosperity. Good, uh, Good call. Thank you for that. And I guess a little glimmer. Um, all right, I will bring, oh, this is taking me forever, uh, I will bring a, I will have a scout ready just in case I need it, but I am going to see if I even need it. Let's just see what the 17, because I'd rather be running 1830, but I don't have a team for that yet. So let's see, uh, let's see what 1770 feels like, and then I may end up just jumping into strikes, honestly, for the variety, because like running the same fucking thing over and over again will drive me crazy eventually. Um, and while we're at it, I wonder if I, uh, can we put on anything? Let's put on something, some music, something. Let's sort. White bat audio, do you have any of my usual faves? Bum, 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 bum. Da, 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 Yeah, we'll do this one. I like this one. I desperately need to actually get my own playlist set up on uh, on Spotify. <laughs> Here's a question. Who do you think would win in a fight between Zeref and the Spriggan 12 and the Witness and the Disciples of the Witness? 
God, oh man, I feel like the Spriggan 12 and Zeref would wipe the floor with anything in this game just because the power of anime is too strong. <laughs> Honestly? No, I'm in the Nightfall right now, Nelky. That would have been really funny, though. I did select the Nightfall. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like the power of comics and anime tend to just uh, be, be too much for games like this to handle. And I might, uh... I might be biased because, uh, uh-oh. Why am I not stealthing? Why am I not stealthing? Why am I not stealthing? Something is going wrong <laughs> with my build. I remember going through Fairy Tale and feeling like everything there are so many, like, deus ex victories in that show just because of the power of friendship in anime. Like, Demaria, and I might be a little biased, but Demaria had no business getting put down as quickly as she was, considering she can literally stop time. But of course, of course, they would somehow run into the spirit of what's-her-name. <laughs> and precisely the right moment, because anime. <laughs> Oh, I knew that would hit the shield. I've only done this strike like three times. I'm still not super familiar with it. Oops. Ah, blind spot. There we go. Ah. Hey, every villain. What's happening? Kid anime, what's your favorite genre of music? Um... I've gotten this a lot, and I kind of have a double answer to that, because my favorite band is Coheed and Cambria, which is like prog rock. Um, but if I had to pick, I mean, like, the music I could listen to for the rest of my life is like 90s rock. Like shit like, like 90s, 2000s rock. Shit like Rage Against the Machine, uh, Tool, Perfect Circle, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Like, I could go for Green Day. I could go for, uh, uh, that kind of shit. Um, but, but, like, my favorite band, ha hands down, is nothing like that. So, double answer. <laughs> It's electronic music, don't lie. I do like electronic music. Absolutely do. Oh, this is why I like having auto-loading holster. I feel like I don't function without auto-loading holster on like every weapon except my primary weapon. I really liked, man, back in the day, the Unreal game. Original Unreal had such phenomenal electronic music. Like, shit was so hype when you got into a fight and then every time you fought a new monster, they debuted a new track. So like, there was like an original like hype combat track for every new creature you came up against, which I thought was super cool. What? <laughs> Miss Fortune, what's up? Are you okay? Do you need assistance? Blink twice if you're in trouble. It it didn't it didn't turn out to be true. I literally what? <laughs> I literally answered it before. I said I like electronic music. Absolutely. But like three seconds before that I said I uh I like Coheed, which is prog rock, and I like uh, a lot of nineties and two thousands rock. <laughs> Were you not there for that? 
Yeah, no worries ever. Um, I have eclectic tastes though. I mean, like I listen to a lot of Hans Zimmer. Um, I like that sort of like Hans Zimmer, Danny Elf Elfman, uh, like cinematic uh, music a lot. Um, I have like whole albums that you can kind of only refer to as like trailer music just because that shit like hypes me up and inspires me. Especially if I'm writing. I find that that stuff can really get my, uh, get my creative juices flowing. I am not going to be good at taking this turret out with my stupid grenade launcher. Uh, yeah, complete overhaul. It's weird. <laughs> I am not thrilled. Um, the, I feel like, I think objectively speaking, they've probably made it into a tighter strike. Um, but I'm, I gotta come clean. This is my favorite, this was my favorite strike. Arms Dealer was my absolute favorite strike, hands down. So the fact that they changed it kind of bums me out a little bit. It's also way more serious. Like, one of the reasons I loved it was that it was one of the few strikes that was just like a fun, crazy romp. You know, like Cade's, you know, Cade's on point leading it. Shit's going wrong. Jokes are getting cracked. It feels like an episode of fucking Firefly. The music is very swashbuckling and fun. It's really exciting. And now it's just like serious mission with Keitel and Devrim. And uh, that's a bummer because I feel like it's lost some character, even though it might be functionally a tighter strike. Yo, Funky Cold Medina, thank you so much for three. I appreciate it. That's very kind of you. I don't know if it sound, if you can hear. I've been smiling for the past like two minutes straight. I feel like I sound like I'm smiling. Do I sound like I'm smiling? <laughs> yeah, which is a little bit of a bummer because I hate Exodus Crash. <laughs> but here we are. We live here now, I guess. What do we do with this thing? Do I throw this? Can I throw this? No, I have to dunk this. Oh my god. I put down these little wraith, they're, they're, they're like void fishers or something, and uh, or void somethings. Void fishers, I think? Void breaches. They're void breaches. Uh, and they power me up if I pick them up. Um, yeah, you know what? Um, Nilky was saying the same thing, that they look like wraith portals. That's so funny. Oh, hi. All right, what are we shooting? Is that broken? That's not broken. Now it's broken. From here on out, it kind of feels a little bit normal, but you'll notice that the, uh, the final fight is completely different. And the final fight... I'm really worried about it in GMs. The final fight seems like it's going to be insane, but it might be doable if you have, I mean, anything's doable. I don't want to make it sound like you need a really specific loadout, but like it might be the kind of thing where you really want to lay down a well and do as much damage as quickly as possible because there are a shitload of turrets. I think the old fight had like four turrets and the new version has like 16 turrets. Like they're just turrets everywhere. There's turrets on top of turrets on top of... Why is there a Tormentor in here? Oh no. Oh no. This is... Oh god. Uh, my job is to take out the dogs. I am not hurting this man very much. Okay, finishable. Let's get them the fuck out of here. 
<laughs> Goodbye. See you later. Please don't do this again. Yeah, no, you're right. Because during the campaign, the tormentors really need, an, uh, uh, need a linear. Linear probably makes sense for him. I just like rocket launchers. Well, there goes my rockets. So let's hope we get some purple bricks in the final room. Loving this game. So much to do. Too bad I didn't get in at the ground floor. Funky cold. Yeah, I think the biggest thing you're missing out on is the Red War. The original campaign of Destiny 2 was really, really, really good. And I do hope they bring it back someday. I don't lord it over people though. Like I'm not here to be like, ah, oh, you missed the original campaign. Like you're just not, it's just not the same. But um, I miss it. I liked it. And also I don't like losing story to begin with. Like I want to be able to go back and replay things. As much as like World of Warcraft started to drive me crazy, I was a fiend for going back. Back when I used to play WoW, like a handful of years ago, I was a fiend for going back and like doing old raids and going through old missions like key cinematic moments in World of Warcraft, uh, in Destiny, sorry, key cinematic moments in Destiny, I would absolutely go back and play on the regular just because they're fun. You miss the first mission of Red War only? I miss the Almighty. The Almighty was my favorite mission. The moment where you're out on the, on the, on the hull of the ship, unreal. Come on. You got to give that mission a little love. That's also like, the Almighty was like the most Halo, I think, of all the missions in Destiny. <laughs> the first mission was really good, though. Especially the fact, actually, Nilky, especially the fact, seriously, you can't mantle? All right, we'll see you later. Um, especially the fact that um, there was weather. There was actual weather in the original first mission of the Red War. We basically have never had weather since. I still think about that second mission of the opening where it's like storming and there's rain and water and your camera's fucked. Okay. No, that's valid. We need more like that then, though. Preferably less wind that blows your sparrow into a ditch. But, like, I still think about the rain from that second mission. I don't think they've done weather as well since, honestly. <laughs> you were right, though. Europa is, uh, Europa's all right. Europa's all right. I want rain, right? I just want rain. Can I have rain in my video games? Solar charge, solar charge. Oh, there's my friends. Uh, yeah, without friends, I feel like this mission is more trouble than it's worth. I want to use my super, but he's already halfway there, so I feel like I should save it. There we go. Yeah, let's just miss, why don't we? You know, I'm having a hard time figuring out which ones are the friends. Are you a, you're a friend. Oh, 
Oh wait, that's the boss. Ha! <laughs> I didn't. I did not realize that was the boss. I'm like, why is this? Why is this yellow mob not dying fast enough? I don't know about that. That was a lot of work. Let's see how we did. <gasps> that was an entire rank, though. That was a tremendous amount of rep. I should, you know what I should do? I should compare that to a strike, shouldn't I? Let me compare that to a strike and see how big a boost strikes give. Yeah, I wasn't optimized, so like I'm sure that there are ways that like if I adjusted my loadout and I had two people with me that were working together, you know, it would be easier, but it's definitely not the arms dealer we remember. <laughs> It's, it's definitely a bit of a beefier arms dealer. I think Milky's right though. Like if I were running that with a team, I would probably, I, I use bows, uh, bows. So I would probably end up running like under your skin, uh, Leviathan's Breath, and then like a blinding grenade launcher maybe. Might be, might be the go-to. I need a break. Well, no, that's unstop. What is it? Unstop and barrier. Would I want to, would I want a barrier as well? Although if I'm a, if I'm responsible for unstop, I'm at least breaking one thing, so it would probably be fine. A hey, nice purple. I'm quite a fan of it. It's uh, it's it's a bit of a weird niche weapon, but uh, if you're like me and you're a big fan of shit like Tribes Ascend, uh, it brings me a lot of joy. <laughs> I was watching some video that was like, "What does your?" Uh, what does your choice of exotic say about you? Um, and to be fair, my most used exotic weapons are Trinity Ghoul and Wish Ender. So I'm, I've mostly been a bow person, but I, I feel like I remember looking at uh, the fighting lion and it was basically just a joke about like, look how much of a unique snowflake I am. <laughs> and I can't really fault that because it's, uh, it's, it's definitely, it's, it's uh, slightly over tunedness this season, notwithstanding. In generally, it's definitely a, a bit of a um, a funny little niche combat choice versus like a regular fucking weapon. Have fun, misfortune. I don't think Leviathan's breath is niche. I was, uh, yeah, no, fighting lion is a uh, is is kind of like a niche combat choice for a white brick weapon. Wither Horde is honestly probably the most useful exotic in the game. At least at least with its current balance. If you had to pick an exotic and you didn't have one, and it was like, I can take any exotic weapon I want, which one do I want? That's probably the most useful exotic you could choose. Wither Horde is wildly powerful in the way that it combos with other weapons, especially weapons that use auto-loading holster, especially weapons that use uh, bait and switch. Are we supposed to be doing something here? What's, uh, oh, there's a friend. I know, when they when they made the announcement, they're like, oh, Wish Ender is really suffering. It doesn't last as long. It's not going to be as good. And then everyone still uses it. <laughs> like, it, it didn't change much of anything. You're using Le Monarch. Le Monarch's a great weapon. You, uh, if you watch me on the on the campaign, no, not the campaign. On the uh, the day one raid, I got surprisingly good use out of uh, Le Monarch. 
I went in thinking it was going to be pretty good, hoping it wouldn't underwhelm. And it honestly, like, it fucking came through. It put in really good work for me in there. It pairs really, really well with um, uh, both Oathkeeper and Jeer Falcons because Jeer Falcons just gives it, if you're a Void Hunter especially, gives you constant uh, Void detonations with, with Volatile. Um, but it's also really good with Oathkeeper because Oathkeeper gives you a perfect draw so that you get that perfect explosive dot like every single time you shoot it. You never overdraw. You don't have to worry about resetting the draw. Uh, that's also really good. Hey, Shadowmare. How's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Currently, favorite exotic is probably Risk Runner. I know a lot of people that love Risk Runner. I have quite a few friends that with Risk Runner is like their favorite weapon in the game. So you're in very good company. I was, uh, I was crazy about uh, Sweet Business for a while. It's never been amazing. I just loved the idea of having a white brick, like, Gatling gun, not Gatling gun, mini gun, machine gun. I spent so much time trying to get that when I first started playing Destiny, and I didn't end up even using it for that long. It's such a cool looking weapon, though. Biggest pain in the ass with Fighting Lion is that if your depth perception is off, you start fucking the trajectories up. It's really punishing waiting for it to reload. It's just so much joy when you do it right. It's like a completely different playstyle from bows and guns where you're aiming for the head. With the Fighting Lion, you're like, trying to judge trajectory and air bursting, which is, it's just like a whole different fucking game. Uh, where am I going over here? The, uh, the shotgun? I know that it does two elements. What is, uh, what's, what does it do that's, what am I trying to ask? What does it do? Aside from just, like, shooting two elements. Oh, you are almost dead already. I got pretty lucky with Vex Mythoclast, and I got really lucky with the one from the last raid, so I feel like I'm overdue for waiting for a while. I'm not counting on getting the shotgun anytime soon. Two shots in the barrel. Where is the ghost? Where is the ghost? Where is the ghost? Did we get the ghost? I guess we got the ghost. Um, two shots in the barrel first freezes, the second ignites the target. Does that mean you get like an instant shatter? been good, Shadowmare. I've been resting all day today. It's been a very, very easygoing day. Oh, that sounds really cool. I haven't been running it on farm. Um, I think I'm more likely to run a raid regularly if I think the gear looks good, and I'm not crazy about the way the weapons look. And I'm also not crazy that, like, there's no bow, there's no glaive. So like some of my favorite weapons, it doesn't have. So I'm probably less likely to run the raid a lot, but I still do want to run it more. I want to get back in there. I, I just don't see myself spending, like in Vault of Glass, I wanted the Mythoclast so bad. I was running Vault of Glass three times a week, every week. Um, I don't see that happening with this raid. Hey, uh, Nilky, do you know about this, by the way? Also, anyone else in chat? So I've been learning, um, one of the things that I used for the new raid was I went into my artifact, 
Wait, is it not here? I thought I had. Did I run out? Did I let did I let the timer run down? I let the timer run down. Um and in the last column of the of the artifact, there is the void damage perk, the void weapon channeling. And apparently, uh, people are theorizing, and I was running into this issue, that using void weapon channeling triggers an error code bird that kicks you to orbit <laughs> in the middle of most activities. And it's completely random, but like last night and the night before, like every other strike I was getting booted in the middle of the strike, kicked back to orbit. You're not giving a chance to, uh, you're not given a chance to rejoin. And I started reading a lot of things that were saying it was somehow being caused by void weapon channeling. So uh, I can't say this with a guarantee, but if you are someone who's been running into bird errors, try disabling, uh, try disabling that particular artifact mod. Uh-oh, I have made mistakes. Learn, learn from my mistakes. I don't know what I just did. I wanted to save you! I fucked it up. I don't put void weapon channeling on. It's not very good. Um, It feels like a no-brainer if you're running mostly void, but it... It feels like less of a no-brainer if you're, you know, if it's crashing you out of like every other activity you do, you know? I thought they did. I read that they did stack. Do they not? Wait, didn't they run the numbers on this and they found out that, uh, that it stacks with like everything? Or did they fix it? Was it void? Was it void surge that stacks then? Is it like either weapon channeling or surge, but not both? The nice thing about void weapon channeling, though, is that you get it just for kills. Like you don't need to go run and pick up orbs uh, or breaches. But I'll be the first to say I have a lot of redundancy in my build, so picking up orbs was giving me. Uh, picking up orbs gives me volatility. Picking up breaches gives me volatility. Dodging to uh, to stealth gives me volatility. Blah, blah, blah. I like redundancy. <laughs> um, that is good to know, though. That is good to know, though. Yeah, I did go for dilation instead of... Originally, I was going for charges, and then I realized dilation seemed to be a whole lot more useful. Well, I feel a little less bad about having to turn it off then. I feel like if it worked, it's probably, like, if it worked, you could argue that that would be worth changing my build around it. Getting rid of the surges, maybe just putting in, like, I don't know, something else. Something else! But, uh, I guess if it, uh, if it doesn't stack, then it's, le it's less useful than I thought. Especially if you're crashing to orbit. That was my point. That was my whole point. Was just, you know, if you're getting sent to orbit, uh, apparently that's why. <laughs> I, I, I have, I have been, have been told. Hype is gone. Hello. How's it going? God, that is satisfying. Is it not? Oh, we're on damage. I am a dunce. Did I just miss? I missed my uh, my weakness grenade. Okay, 
back to the corner I was going to originally. Ah, I'm doing well. I'm having fun. I've got dinner squared away for tonight. I'm having a little, uh... I don't know, it's like a little steak. It's a pre-cooked thing, but it's gonna be yummy. I like steak. Steak, steak, steak. I had, uh, I had some leftover dumplings today because I got extra dim sum last night. And I got the pork and kimchi dumplings as well, which I've been meaning to try for a while. Uh, so I saved them for today. And uh, they're okay. They're very, they're very good, but I think compared to the, uh, the pork xiao mai and the pork xiao bao, I think they're probably my third favorite. But they did make for a really good lunch today. Yeah, it's my it's my treat when I do well. When I have like a good a good recording session, I always treat myself to dim sum. Or something else nice and fun and, and fancy. Yep, let's just miss all the super. That's great. That's great. <laughs> daily? <laughs> I don't know about daily. I'm not working that much. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that. But, uh, but once in a while. If I record for Apex, I get dim sum. If I do a video game session, I get dim sum. <laughs> we shut down the Lucentides invasion, but this won't be the last we hear from them. With Icora's hidden stretched thing, I need all eyes wide open to watch for their next move. Crow, get out there and scout their strongholds. If they mobilize, I want to know about it. I hear you loud and clear. Glint and I will report anything suspicious. And stick to the mission brief. Uh, how did that do? I'm not convinced. I think... I think it might be worth it to run. I don't know. So that got me... I know every rank is a little bit more points, so it's hard to judge. That got me like two-thirds of a rank. The last one got me like a rank and a quarter. So I'm kind of tempted to go back into the Nightfall. Let's try the Nightfall again, and let's see how far we get at this rank. Do I like the new Bright Dust Shader? Um, not happy with the new Bright Dust Shader. Unfortunately, it looks really cool. Have you tried it on? Because I gotta tell you, that tooltip looks amazing. How does that become this? What is happening here? That shader is like silver and black and purple, and it ends up being mostly orange. Orange and black. I'm so confused. And it's not the only one. I think, I don't remember where the other one is, but there's another shader this season. Uh, I don't want to waste my teammates' time too much, but there's another, there's another shader this season for one of the challenges. Um, let me do a really quick check on uh, activities. Was it one of the activity ones? Is it this one? Eh. Again, mostly dark blue, white, and black. And we certainly have some white. We don't really have black. We've got like light gray and then a whole bunch of bronze. Like, at least it's a little closer, but like how do we get from that to this? I feel like they're trolling us. It, it genuinely feels like they're trolling us. And what's crazy, Nelky, is it I, it kind of feels like they don't even put the most common ones on the tooltip. Like, they, pro they put the most attractive ones on the tooltip, maybe. Because 
half the time I'll be like, okay, well, maybe it's because of my my armor choice on my hunter. So I'll try it on the Titan. The Titan's black and orange. Try it on the Warlock. The Warlock's black and orange. And I'm like, so I'm starting to feel like orange is a much more common color across the armor sets in this game. And if that's the case, why is orange not one of the four? Probably because it didn't look as pretty in the thumbnail. I don't know. I'm salty about it. I have a long history in this game of, of wanting shaders really badly and then the moment I get them, I'm disappointed. I've chased so many shaders that have let me down once I've finally had them. Either because there was like a weird texture, like it would have been perfect, but it has like a really weird carbon fiber effect or something. There's a, I forget the name of it. I'm sure Nilky knows it, but there's a, there's a shader that's like white and gray. It's like very, very white looking in the, in the, the description. Um, it's actually kind of a cool shader. It's still one of my favorite shaders, but it weirdly like makes your armor almost entirely white, but it makes almost any weapon magenta, like white and magenta. And like the magenta doesn't show up on any armor. It seems to only show up on weapons, which is super confusing. Um, it's, uh, oh my god. This one. Amrita's Dream. Black and white. And you know what? It lives up to that, sort of, on your character. But then you slap it on, like, you know, a royal entry. This might be a bad example. I haven't tested it with this weapon. Maybe this is the perfect weapon for Amrita's Dream. That is a whole lot of magenta. <laughs> like, what? Hey, Long John Silver, what's happening? Oops. Oh, I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Are you? Oh no, you're not dead. The icon is just to look pretty. God, that irritates me. Hey, Abby, how's it going? Doing well. How's your day treating you? What time is it there for you? Are you like, is it like afternoon for you right now or something? Uh, this was a mistake. Okay, yo, Strand is insanely powerful. I continue to be blown away by the fact that you can completely string up champions. You can't use a blinding grenade launcher on champions. Champions can't be blinded, but they can apparently be, uh, Strung up like in a cat's cradle and left to rot if you want to. So yeah, I guess if you wanna if you wanna make your weapons white and pink, uh, purple, Amrita's dream is uh, is the way to go. But sadly it doesn't do it to your armor. Make my sub goal a bit bigger. Yeah, I can do that. I need a better layout. I actually have a better layout that I haven't implemented yet. When I am not under fire, I will do that. You're right, I did actually have someone the other day be like, what is that bar for? And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> the font must be small.
My, uh, my challenge has been, I don't know where to put it where it's not in the way. And so for, for better or worse, uh, when I put the new layout in that I have, uh, it's going to do one of those things where like there's a little window. So the video game footage will be a little smaller. And that way I have room to put other things without them blocking the game. <laughs> Which will be nice. Yeah, what kind of sh what what uh, what shaders are you looking at? Oh, you're all friends. Are you okay? We're good. Okay, y'all need to get out of my way. Hey, Angel Bun, thank you for the raid. Hello, how are you? Welcome, raiders. We're doing work in Destiny, it's serious business. You know what I didn't do? Because I'm dumb as well. I don't have my stream manager up at all. Which means I've not been managing my ads, and I apologize for that. We're actually due for a three. Um, but I'm going to snooze it a few times to give us some time. I have not even been paying attention to that. <laughs> Whoops. Hey, SBD. Ivan, by the way, Moonfang, good to see you. Had fun playing with you last night. Blue Otter, good to see you. Oh, uh, thank you, Sheffy. <laughs> This is what I'm talking about when I'm like mid game. This is why I've tried to set up so much automated stuff because I'm like, I'm playing. I can't type things right now. Hold, please. Oh, have you been playing Destiny as well? Yo. We need to play at some point then. I've been pestering everybody. I will pester you too. Fucking Kimmy, like. <laughs> so many of my stream friends have started playing Destiny, and I've, I've said this before, so some people have heard me say this. Oh no. <laughs> Don't look at chat, play the game. Um, so many of my stream friends have started playing Destiny, and I'm like, motherfuckers, that is my shit. You know that I love Destiny. Where are the collab, <laughs> where are the collab invites? <laughs> When people, uh, when I first started streaming a couple months ago, people would be like, oh, what are you into? Do you just play Apex? And I'm like, no, I love Destiny. And they're like, oh, Destiny, okay. Now they're all playing Destiny and my phone ain't ringing. <laughs> yeah, I would be more than happy. I would love to hop in with you, Astra. I, uh, this week is double Vanguard. So I've been, I'm trying to spend a lot of this week pushing Strikes and Nightfalls, which you're more than welcome to join me on. But this is probably going to be like the most focused week I've had in a while. Uh, other than that, I'm down for anything. Like, I'll do Crucible, I'll do Raids, I'll do whatever. Um, I'm just trying to take advantage of double Vanguard while I still can. Uh, so this is where I'm going to suffer, because I don't have a <laughs> an LFR. There we go.
I see a big let's go from Ziz. Does that mean that Ziz got the raid exotic or something? I feel like that's the only the let's go that can come with having gotten a raid exotic. Okay, can I? Thank you. Hey, Phelan, Mercia. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you? Mediator mostly, but I just saw Springtide Faint, a pink and white, which is from this season. Springtide Faint. You know what? Let me uh, get the hack going and take a quick look. <coughs> Springtide Faint. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's very, um, it's got a very peachy kind of pink going on. Well, Amethyst Veil is what I use, and I love it, so I will always vouch for Amethyst Veil. Celestial Dome, I want to say, is like a dark sort of bluish purple and silver, right? And Bitter Pearl. Which one is Bitter Pearl? Is that... Which is the one that has, there's one that has like these really beautiful pink crystals. Is that Bitter Pearl? Or is Bitter Pearl something else? When I'm not getting murdered, I will, uh, I will check. There was one a season or two ago that had beautiful pink crystals. Rose loves it. I think Rose uses it on at least one of her characters. Just got my ass handed to me in Iron Banner. <laughs> I, uh, I'm i not the best PvPer, but I will play it. I do like it. I'm always down for Crucible. Crucible is just low. I don't do competitive, so Crucible is just low impact for enough for me that I can play Crucible like all the time and not have to worry about it. It doesn't stress me out that much. Shadow Mary, you've been trying to uh, get your light level up on Destiny. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like all over the place tonight, I realize. Bear with me. Uh, Pink Crystal, which one was it? Is it this one, a Radiant Chariot? Yeah. A Radiant Charwa? Charuit? Charuit? Um,. Keep in mind, my character is mostly fabric, and fabrics and metals play very differently. And the one that I just linked is really cool, because if you have a mostly metal, like if you play a titan, or if you have a lot of like plates on your gear, um, it plays really well. Like you look like you're just made of beautiful pink and purple crystals. There's no enemy there. Oh, fuck these things. That shield is making me mad. Got to get rid of it. I am the least useful weapon for taking out this gun. But if one of us doesn't, I'm going to lose my mind. Or it will leave. Never mind. I take it back. JK. Oh, you know what? I bet it leaves when you finish the, uh... That's good to know. And enemies pop out of existence. What is happening right now? Oh, did I get caught in the fire? Whoops. All we wanted was a good time, and what we got was a bunch of sweats who, like me, forgot what grass feels like, except that they used that time to study the stakes. <laughs> Instead of what? What have you been doing? Thank you, thank you. Are we back in, uh, are we between? No, we're not between phases. There we go. There we go. 
Okay, the NPCs are cool thematically. The number of times they've juggled me is in infuriating. Nope. I've been socially regressing and slowly coming out of that. I feel that. I spend a lot of time in my room because uh, I do a lot of writing and acting happens in the booth, but ever since COVID, um, you used to go in and you'd be in the room like with the director and the engineer. Oh, <laughs> useless Melly. Um, you'd be in the room with the director and the engineer and there'd be a lot of people in there and now it's like, you go in for a session, it's just you and the engineer. The director will be like zooming in from like their their bedroom or their living room. Um, there's just not a lot of FaceTime anymore. How do we do? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. Actually, I should just stay in here. I think this is even better than uh, than just running strikes, honestly. Strikes got us like two thirds of one level, and even this basic bitch nightfall is getting us. Well, what were we? We were here, so I guess we got we got similar actually. Maybe I just got tricked because it capped. So we went from here to there. We got about the same actually, didn't we? God, I wish I could see actual numbers. <laughs> I want numbers. All right, tell you what, we'll do one more regular strike. And if it's the same math, it should get me approximately to, to rank. Like I should get from there straight up to the top at the end. So we'll give that a shot. Excited to get your ornamental seasonal set. Which one is that? Oh, hello. Okay, that's a really cool thing to get from a bright Ingram. I just got a fucking, I'm not gonna use it. I don't really like it, but that's a fucking ornament for um, Lament. That's so cool. Yeah, super cool. Um, I gotta hit the button. I will see you in just a few minutes. Time to snag another submine fragment, Guardian. Um, Get in and out before they even know what's hit them. The, uh, the black and gold one, the newer black and gold one for Lament is really good. My voice is really scratchy now suddenly. I don't know why. It's uh, my body's way of telling me to yell less. Are you okay? Okay. Pasta Ben has joined chat. Are you premium pasta, Ben? <laughs> hey, 
It's good to see you. How are you? Hey, vampire. Too much leading. Ah. Well, that was overkill. That's what I get for not checking the health bar first. Been dealing with something sad. I'm sorry about that, vampire. Well, if you're here for uh, for a little bit of an escape, I hope I can provide that for you. We're just doing mindless gameplay tonight while chatting. I am. I'm sort of looking at both my gaming screen and chat in my periphery. Oh, are you playing Street Fighter? How are you liking it? Is that the, uh, is that the new one or is the new one not out yet? Which is the one that's, uh, what's the one that's been announcing like the past couple of months? Oh, six is the one that's in June. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I've seen a lot of my friends announcing for uh, for six. It looks pretty cool. Man, I haven't played a Street Fighter game in forever. Do I want some pasta? I mean, I would. <laughs> uh, I could go for some. Get out of my way! I could go for some pasta. Uh, I've got steak tonight, I think. Steak and something. I think it's like steak and broccoli. Um, but uh, but I'm always a sucker for some pasta. What could I, I could go for more than food right now is for my voice to stop being weirdly shaky. I got really congested all of a sudden. I don't know if my allergy meds wore off or what. I've been looking at air purifiers and stuff lately because I've been dealing with a lot of allergies lately. Or something. Okay, out of my face. Yeah, I started doing, um, I've been trying Factor. I did Freshly for a while. Like when I get really busy, it helps just have like simple microwavable meals. And so I was doing Freshly for a while and then they went out of business, which sucks. Um, so I've been trying Factor because they have a lot of really targeted types of meals. You can, tr you can do like all keto if you wanted, like a really lazy way to do keto. They've got like lower calorie or higher protein, and so I've been kind of playing around with that and seeing if I like any of them. I'm curious if, it'll, if I'll end up sticking with it. Um, 
kind of went in and out of stuff like Freshly because they have the same meals almost all the time. There'll be like a couple of seasonal things they'll rotate in and out, but the staples are always there, which means you're kind of getting used to eating like the same meals all the time, forever. Uh, and so eventually you get bored. At least I would get bored. And uh, what is happening? Why are they just still respawning? We are, we're just gonna di And um, Factor actually changes up literally everything every week. And I don't know if they like go through cycles where like it'll come back to something like a few weeks from now, but I've been eyeballing that with uh, curiosity. Because that could go one of two ways. That could end up being amazing because it stays fresh all the time and it keeps being interesting and that's cool. Or it could mean that like I end up going one too many weeks where I kind of hate everything <laughs> and then I decide to change, you know, to, to stop it. I live in Georgia. There's nothing but pollen over here. It's a bad allergy season. Hey, Thumb. Welcome, welcome. I wish I could eat fish. I'm allergic to fish. I do a lot of chicken and beef. I try to, to vary it between chicken and beef. I've noticed a lot of those plans will have predominantly chicken. So they don't always have the best beef options. Um... I do eat pork. When I got my, uh, my, when I got dim sum, basically everything is pork, but I don't usually do, I don't do many other pork dishes, weirdly. I feel like the only time I have pork is if I'm getting either dim sum or like lo mein or something. I don't do like pork chops. My mom used to make pork chops. I used to also have lamb, but I haven't had that in forever. I like shellfish a lot though. I don't eat it that often, but I like lobster, I like crab, I like crawfish. Uh, oh, oh, and I like pork. I mean, like I like bacon, so I like that kind of pork. Um, what are, I know that there are beef ribs and there are pork ribs. Baby back ribs. Are those usually pork or beef? I don't understand the food I put in my mouth. So that I have pork too then. I'm like, it is a meat. It's in my mouth now. Let's uh, not even think about what animal this is. <laughs> it's a rib. I'm great. I'm so good at this. <laughs> okay, let's... Uh. I might stick with Nightfalls just because, I'm gonna be honest, there used to be a lot more strikes and a lot of the strikes have phased out and now they sort of have like strike slash vanguard activity. And vanguard activity can be a lot of the seasonal activities as well. And I don't like a lot of the seasonal activities. So it kind of bums me out that if you do the vanguard playlist now, it feels like you're doing mostly seasonal activities. Oops, miss. Are you kidding me? Hey, good girl, what's happening? Are we back up? Yes, we are. Yeah, just waste my missiles, why don't you?
Nice. Ah, playlist has turned into mostly battlegrounds instead of actual strikes. Yeah, it bums me out. I'll do one once in a while, but it feels like they're almost entirely battlegrounds. Let's see how far that got me. That's a really cool look. All right, did I get to the end? No, I did not, not even close. All right, back to Nightfalls. Is that you capitalizing on me? We need to play sometime, like literally right now. I could do that. <laughs> I That's the way to do it, I guess. I'm like, hey, Astra, we totally need to collab at some point. And Astra's like, now. Um. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. I'm gonna call you. <laughs> Unless you don't wanna do that. Yo! My there freak. Oh. Okay, hold on. oh my god! <laughs> oh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I, okay. So, so you, you were saying like. I was about to make a joke and then you scared the shit out of me by shouting. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Am I loud? I'm sorry. I can switch you. I have the power. You don't have to switch it yourself. You don't have to switch it yourself. I'm sorry. I realized my gain was still up from when I was uh, I was doing I was doing some recording, and I was like, oh shoot, my gain is still up. Oh, I have to know. What are you recording? Uh, I can share a snippet. Wait, really? Yes. Yo, exclusive new shit. Okay. Exclusive new shit. Let me see if I can do this in a. I like how you get flattened like a pancake when you start talking. <laughs> you you like you 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 like my little guy? It's uh. You look like you're having a bad day as soon as you start talking. <laughs> it's just me. This is this is just me. Uh, Zen has an evo that's very similar to this. Um, I would I would say the name of the emote, but part of it is inappropriate, so we're just gonna leave it at that. Oh, good. Uh, you know what? I'll use this moment uh, to take uh, Sheppy's advice and try and find a way to make my daily sub goal larger because I don't know how to do that. Let's let's jump in. Let's go to the dashboard. So uh, for, for the people in chat who are not familiar with me, I am Astra. I am a alien barista from space. I guess that's already implied in the alien part. Um, but I, 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 I'm not that cracked at Apex like everybody is assuming I am. I, 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 I don't know what happened, what came over me that day. I changed my sense and then I started hitting shots only when stream was looking. <laughs> but um... What is it? Uh, words. But I sing. I, I sing on the side. And Do you? <clears throat> I used yeah. to sing. I now I got that Bob Dylan voice. <laughs> I, I like to think that most, uh, like most voice actors probably get their origins from like vocal lessons for singing. Because I, I notice a lot of voice actors tend to have a pretty good voice for singing, too. Excuse me. Um, I tend to... Yeah, I think that some of the, the two most important things that, that will help you in the long run, aside from not spending half your life coughing like me, <laughs> is uh, singing and uh, things like stage combat are really good for breath work and how to, t how to do react and physicality. 
Hey, good luck, Crumble. Crumble Lump, that's a hell of a name. Also, hey, Jarlin. Um, I do actually sing a lot. I, I sing very softly on stream. I'm the kind of person who belts when I'm in the shower. I recognize now that like years later, since I worked in retail for like 10 years and I've been out of practice, I know I'm probably quite a bit pitchier than I probably used to be, but I still enjoy it. I'm so happy. I mean, I, I, I definitely think even if like you don't like want to sing for other people, I think singing for yourself is like one of the, one of the most like satisfying hobbies that you can learn. Okay, I think I have, okay, yes, I did. Let me, let me open this up. Let me throw it into Discord. Hopefully everything works. Hopefully it doesn't compress it to a billion. Okay. I'm so excited. Oops. I've muted my music. Okay, I, I, I shared the first part. Oh wait. So chat, so chat can have a little bit of a taste. All right. Can I read the title or no? Go for it. This is called uh, Hitorimbo Envy. Yes, it's a cover. Itazera wa shiran kao de Iwake wa namibe o sukatte Sabishii na asobi tai na Hachimitsu ni tai ni doro doro Anata ni mo, anata ni mo わたしはさいぞよないでしょう。今日の And that's all you get. <laughs> Do you want me to pause? Oh, wait, no, I, d I did like. Wow, I gave you way more than I thought I did. No, you I will pause. <laughs> keep going. You keep going. Okay, we'll keep going. <laughs> yeah. You gave me a whole lot. It was great. Yeah. I'm still going. Didn't want to share your secrets. Oh, there it went. Now it's off. Okay. Cool. <laughs> hey, that was beautiful. That was really cool. Oh. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, that's that's so neat. <clears throat> I, I like to think that I, I I'm 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 good at some things, and that's one of them. I did. Um, and it's and you're producing it, which is so much better than what I do. I think I just like slapped my voice i just for once because there was like a trend going on i did like a quick cover of uh of like an op to an anime and uh i did not do any mixing i did not do any like like voice correction it's just me singing over a track it's kind of brutal but some people liked it yeah no um well hey emily astor by the way welcome 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 raiders my first ever song that i put onto youtube uh is completely unmixed, unedited, un and for some reason, like here, here's here's the way I used to record, which was I would wait forever, like I would take fourteen hundred takes on any like on one song. That sounds like me auditioning. Yeah, it, it took me months to produce one song, and and then like I learned all the tips and tricks, and I was like, wait. There's easier ways to do this. Like, wait, you don't have to just. Were you trying to do it one and done in a single take rather than like punching exactly. in as you go? Yeah, there, there was no comping. There was no anything. It was just one take. If I messed up, I re-recorded the entire thing. Oh, no. I did not know any better. It was so sad. Oh, no. Okay. I'm so glad I'm better. That's valid. <laughs> um, one, wait. Hey, uh, but, uh. Wait, is that not uh, how you record? Um, there. I mean, so if you're if you're gonna record a song, like you can punch in to yourself, uh, especially if you have. I'm now gonna speak as just someone who uses recording software. 
especially if you're using a recording program that lets you have multiple tracks, one of the cool things you can do, um, you might want to turn it down in the headphones a little bit because you don't want it to go back into the microphone twice, but you can put the track, like if you, let's say you like fuck up on the second, on, on like the second half of a verse, you could drop it down a track and like drop the volume a little bit and play yourself in singing with yourself and then just pick right up where you, fic- where you know, where you messed up and then like splice it together and you know, if you do it right, it'll sound like it was just one clean take. Yep. Uh, another thing that you can do is if your voice is consistent. Now, some people have like different sounding voices depending on like what day they record. And so you might not want to do this if you tend to sound different depending on which day you're recording. But if you have a very consistent voice that you've like developed, uh, another thing that you can do is do like five takes of the song and then just take do 80 takes of, yeah don't do 80 takes but do like 800 take sorry go ahead <laughs> but take take like the best parts that you found out of each of those takes and then like comp them which is like t- taking them and like composing the best take the super take out of those five takes and if you're recording in the same environment same vocals uh, same like, you know, you didn't add a piece of furniture to your room or something like that. Um, it will sound almost flawless putting them together. So, yeah. This is a fun conversation we got into. I uh... go to a studio. Um, I, I think Melly would definitely be the studio person, but I just record at home because I don't do this seriously as a career. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, if I, I mean, yeah, if I have the option to go in like it's not really that common to go in to like do an audition in a studio but if I'm going in to record for a show I'll usually say you know I have a pretty good recording booth but I'll usually prefer to go into the studio just if nothing else to, to get like some amount of face time with somebody um steal Melly for two hours to just go over voice acting stuff so maybe I can finally get into voice acting you I would love, it's been something that like I've seen and I've been like, ooh, I would love to do that. But at the same time, it's like, I'm sure just like streaming, just like everything else, it is first of all a huge money sink and also a huge like time sink. It's Uh, definitely, uh, I've been really grateful to stuff like I want to be, I want to be a voice actor.com for having really great tips and tricks available because like a lot of people will come in and they'll ask like how do I do what you do and it's just a whole lot to ask someone to like distill their entire life's like motivation and training and and <laughs> failure is like into a really quick soundbite. Um, here I'll give you a really quick example by the way if people are if people are curious check it out. Um, you won't be able to hear this uh, Astra. Oh, I, I am unmuting stream. But uh so uh, this is not singing, but uh, I do this all the time when I audition. This is, this is going to be like a really lazy version of this, and I'm not in the software I usually use. But if I let me just make sure my playback works, I'm recording shit. I'm recording shit. Yo, it worked. Cool. All right. So if I am recording and I'm doing a take, let's pick a line. Um, uh, oh, that wasn't a hex. You're just not very good. I like that one. Let's go with that. I might do two takes back to back and then realize I like the second half of one better. So I'll do like, oh, that wasn't a hex. You're just not very good. You're just not very good. And I'm like, oh, man, that second one was so much better. So I have this now. If I play it back, you'll hear, uh, oh, that wasn't a hex. You're just not very good. You're just not very good. And I'm like, oh, fuck. All right, we need to we need to go in there. So I'll go in there and. I fucking hate this program, so bear with me. Uh, I'll go in real close on that start of the second line, and I'll put a little marker there. And then I go to the start of that second take, and I'll delete all the way so that, like, that second finisher that I voiced lines up perfectly and slides right in where the old one used to be, and then you end up with... Oh, that wasn't a hex. You're just not very good. Yo, I just franken clipped it together and made a whole new take like I did it the first time. How cool is that shit? <laughs> Thank you for clapping. <laughs> I, 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 I thought you needed the, the audio confirmation. I appreciate it. 
I have an entire choir of people who can clap for you. Here, give me one second. Oh no, I'm horrified. There you go. Oh wait, no, no. Wait. I don't think I can oh, hear. Oh fuck. Give me one second. <laughs> Oh, I, I look like a fool. Give me the 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 but the the. I'm actually. Ah. Uh, oh, thank you. Ah, oh, thank you. You like me. You really like me. I'll be here all week. <laughs> um. Oh, that is the only time I'm pulling up a soundboard. Sorry. Chaffee uh, said, "Are I'm able? I'm actually trying very hard to make the sub goal bigger, but it's not working. I don't know if that's font weight." in the CSS field doesn't seem to be doing anything. I don't know if it's in... Oh, Because there's not a font size thing in the overlay section, so I was looking through the CSS while we were chatting and oh, the uh, JS. What program do you use for OBS? Uh, I use regular OBS. This is a stream elements overlay. Okay. Um, Can you take that widget and just like make it bigger OBS side, not not like the, the widget side? Yeah, I could drag it out. It's just then not going to be in the little cute little section I made for it. Oh, I see. I can do that if need be, though. Yeah. I need to I need to learn how to do the codes. I would love to teach you OBS because I, I tend to find OBS has both more plugins and more like are you talking about streamlabs obs no like actual like obs like uh, that's what i'm using yeah yeah oh wait you're using obs not streamlabs obs i'm using which is why i don't just have access to like an instant awesome okay no no, no that's what i'm talking about like you're using open broadcasting studio right <laughs> yes yes good okay <laughs> uh yeah yeah then yeah i would just suggest making it bigger I know it doesn't make it like fit real nice. Doesn't really fit yeah. anywhere. And the numbers are below, which probably means I just need a different wow. sub goal tool. <gasps> um, look, I'm- Also, I'm, Millie, I'm very sad because I don't think I could replicate what I did the other day, but I was in Angel's chat. There, how about we just do like that for now? Is that, is that okay? Yeah. Okay. That looks great. You happy? But I did the perfect Zavala impression, <laughs> and I was so sad that you didn't hear it. I was like, Melly does a good Zavala impression. And yeah, I was like, I, I got to impress Melly, and then Mel Melly left chat. No. Oh. I was sad. I'm sorry. I'm also just sad in general now that I brought up Zavala. God dang it. Yeah, that makes two of us. I, uh, I, I, I don't, I foresee that I will eventually get back to doing, uh, impressions, because I love them to death, but it's been, it's been a, it's been a week. Yeah. Okay, can we drop tower real quick, by the yeah, way? Yeah, absolutely. I need to pick up Blue Man Group's, uh, bounty. Blue Fires is what one franchise would you love to audition for? Uh, this one. <laughs> <laughs> this this one uh my list is is possibly predictable for video game voice actors but i desperately more than anything else i desperately want to be in destiny um but beyond that i mean like i would love to be in a horizon game i would love to be in a last of us game i would love to be in god in in god of war like i want to work on the on the big shit i want to be in all your video games i want you to be so sick of hearing me that's the agenda the agenda is to be in all of your video games Oh yeah, you like my lobster, by the way? What? I'm a, I'm a lobster. Look, I have like one side of the ship that's bigger than the other. Like a isn't, lobster claw. Isn't that a crab? Uh, it, isn't it lobsters that have like the one crusher claw and then the... Th Am I wrong? I thought that Am was I a crab. The entire time? I'm pretty sure that's a crab. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Let's Google it. Let's Google it. I'm going to Google... Crustacean with Dang. one big claw. No, you may be right. The fiddler crab has a giant claw, it turns out. What's it fiddling? <laughs> what the fuck? 
Are you, who, are you inviting me to your clan? I, that's not me. Oh, okay. I, I, I dropped tower and immediately got invited to a clan. And I've been doing that all week because look at me. I have I have four arms. Who wouldn't want someone in four arms? I'm sure they're rather handy. What do you fiddle with the other two arms? <laughs> Meanwhile, I just look like a fucking basic little ninja girl or, you know, <laughs> Assassin's Creed. I, li I like your I like your little little ninja get up. Anyways, I, I got my quest. Let's get out of here. Oh wait, no, no, no. Let me go to the banshee first. I promise I didn't forget about you. Are you doing bounties? Yeah. Real life bounties, incredible. Real life bounties. Oh, there's a sidearm bounty that I'm not doing. Anyways, let's go. I don't think any of the Vanguard bounties actually give rep, do they? Oh, do they not? I could have sworn they did. I think. I thought they were just experience. Maybe I'm wrong, though. I'll grab them. XP. Oh, they are. Wait. Didn't they not do that any? Oh, wait. The Vanguard ones don't. I see. Well, you know what? My, 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 my battle pass is going to be so pimped out afterwards. Fiddler and Hermit Crabs usually have one claw bigger than the other. Wild. Huh. All right, I'm ready when you are. I am ready. I've just been jumping into the Nightfall. Okay. Because it seems to be pretty good, uh, pretty good rep. I was hitting my head against a wall because uh, we, it's a strand void, uh, strand surge, right? Along with void. Ah, uh, yes. Just, okay, good. good, good, good. <clears throat> Melly doesn't do any bounties, but then does a surprise Pikachu face when she wants to prep XP and has nothing saved up. <laughs> um, yeah. Wow, you didn't need to just call out Melly like that. I wouldn't say that that's inaccurate. <laughs> the Threshers in Night Hall will haunt my sleep. <laughs> um, I gotta tell you, I feel like the Threshers have been utter... Those missile barrages are, are vicious, but I feel like they have been fully outdone by that stupid fucking cannon on the dropship now. Oh, no. I don't know. Threshers can kill me all they want, but they'll still never kill me as much as uh, Cabal drop pods. <laughs> hey, Cyanide. Welcome, welcome. Get suspended. Are you uh, are you running strand most of the time these days? Yeah, I, I love strand so much. You can blow the cannon up uh, since I'm the asshole running two grenade launchers and a rocket launcher. I'm not that great at it. Oh wait, I did the thing where I shot the ascending guards. <laughs> Didn't they literally tell you not to do that? Yeah. I don't know. I just see bi big hulking thing, and I'm like, I gotta shoot it. And then I realize I I'm dumb. <laughs> My one weakness, barrier colossus, is the one thing I didn't account for. <laughs> Yeah, I probably should be able to break at least something in here, right? <laughs> so far, I've just been brute forcing everything. Well, it's like I have an SMG. I can deal with unstoppable. I can suspend people for, er, I can deal with overload, and then I can suspend people for unstoppable. I just have nothing to do with the barriers. Well, although, if you have, uh, if you suspend the barrier, it can't put up the shield, right? Or can it? That, that's a good point, I think. Yeah, because they have to do like a little animation, right? I think that's do a little, ha -ha, ridiculous like how bigger. potent that is. Oh, let's just miss. Here's fun destiny tips with Astra. Don't miss. You can remember this for all your future endeavors. Have you uh, have you watched me playing Destiny at all, or is this your introduction to my Shazbot build? I haven't, seen, 
I've seen you. I've seen you. <laughs> okay, so you know, you know that I just jump around like an asshole shooting grenade launchers all day. <laughs> Good. I'm glad we're on the same page. Don't worry. I. Oh wait, I'm using a sniper rifle for some reason. Thank you, random person, for running the pulse rifle. Yeah, the suspension with Strand is absolutely insane. I'm as someone who like frequently runs blinding grenade launchers, I am very jealous. It's it's annoying how like potent it is for Warlock too, because Warlock has access to like four things. I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. Or they can eat a grenade and then just like suspend everyone <laughs> all the time. Because me shooting a uh, tangle suspends enemies. Me killing somebody who suspend suspends enemies. That's wild. It's dumb. It's, it's, it's stupid. I should not be able to suspend that much. Angry alien. Here's obvious advice with blue fire. No dung dingus. What? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Here's really obvious advice. If you're trying to say don't uh, don't suck, I completely I completely agree with that advice. Phenomenal advice for all gamers. F you, Thresher. I deserved that. I deserved it. Yep. I'll see you later. Yeah, you kind of face tanked the Colossus there. I did a I, I did a melee grenade. <laughs> I shot him at point blank. I was not afraid of the consequences. Hey, this is my this is my time. Get suspended. Are you a naughty kid in school because you just got suspended? Okay. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. <You> good. <laughs> Dung dingus is how I say no shit, Sherlock. Okay. <laughs> You miss Bo Melly. I like Bo Melly too. She's pretty cool. You want Bo Melly? You get one. I'll finish the strike with Bo <laughs> Melly. Same build. Uh, Monarch? Yeah. This was uh Angel never stops using that weapon. Really? And now I just got the catalyst and now Angel is trying to convince me to use that weapon. <laughs> This is uh this was my day one build. It's really funny too because I, I use like bow check exclusively whenever it pops up, and I keep sitting. <laughs> oh, so I have to keep that in mind if we ever play together. I get to fight you for bow check. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah, that was that gun. That was uh, no, I think that was a thresher actually. That was um, how dare you? <laughs> That was, uh, that was Ash's, Sheffy Buns's, uh, who are we playing with, Sheffy? Was that your boyfriend? Or was that someone? Else? The person I was playing with with Sheffy, it was the same. They were like, oh, I can't wait. I'm, I'm grabbing Bocek if we get Bocek. And I'm like, at my keyboard, like, <sighs> <laughs> it, it's a big problem. because Taking my wife away from me <laughs> in the year of our Lord. Heckin' turbocharged havoc, and I'm like always fighting for the turbocharger. Is that gun down? Be free! Oh wait, what the? Where did you come from? Nope, that gun is not down. Oh, that's already gone. Wow! Uh, this freaking... I hate those ships. It's like, you can't shoot it. But it can shoot you. Be free! How do you like... Uh, tell me your thoughts on the new mission. The new version of this. The new version of this? Um, I don't mind. I mean, 
it's one of those things that like the changes they've they've done are cool i mean it keeps the game from being like you know stale that's true but at the same time i can imagine people get upset because it's not the strikes that they've done for a thousand years you know yeah, I took this one a little personally just because it's always been my favorite strike. Yeah. And I used to joke forever that, like, I'd be fucking heartbroken if they ended up sunsetting it and they did worse. Oh. <laughs> worse than sunset. It is now just gone. <laughs> the strike I remember. I don't know. I don't have any pets, actually. I, I grew up in a house full of cats. Uh, and the past couple of years, I've kind of lived vicariously through the pets owned by my housemates. So my, uh, I had housemates that had a beautiful little runt Shiba Inu, and then I had a housemate that had a beautiful cat. Uh, my current housemate is allergic to cats, which is heartbreaking. She said she might want to get a dog at some point, but I am a cat person. Who's surprised? I'm really uh, glad that our teammate is remembering these solar orbs, because I'm not. <laughs> Ooh, there's a question, Astra. Uh, who's your go-to legend or legends that you play? Oh, man. Okay, so I've recently fallen in love with Octane. But I, and I think it's just the genuine thing of once I play characters with movement abilities, I, I, I'm like sitting there like why am i not always playing characters with movement abilities you know but um okay what the fuck i do I like i still have a love for lifeline i think that i i started playing lifeline like season one that's how that's the when i got into apex and then i stopped playing apex for a very long time and then got like really weirded out when I came back to Apex and everything was like really refined and polished and I was like this is not the Apex season one I remember but um what is it I, I still play lifeline a lot a lot a lot in fact I was playing I think I was playing lifeline the entire time during the thing so lifelines won out over the mobility for you yeah I, I it, it, lifeline just has such a good kit to me I I, I can play it well and ever since they like changed her ult to be like you know more accessible, I've it, it, it's never felt awkward to use now. It's just like, hey, if you have a lifeline, you're safe. You're gonna have purple shields to deal with that, those late game combats, and that's always good because sometimes I'm just like sitting there and I'll be playing solos or something, and my teammates just don't get shields. I've had very bad luck some games. Yeah, Where you're like still in your white shield and you're running into like red armor people. Yeah, and it it it's a double thing of like sometimes it's just you don't find enemies. Sometimes it's like you don't uh, you just don't find blue shields on the ground to be able to like fight those enemies. It's just a whole thing. And it's like being able to take out that like uncertainty of like, hey, when you get put against the tryhard team of the lobby. You're not going to be, like, just out of your mind uh, at a disadvantage. Hey, yo, speaking of which, speaking of which is totally not a sentence that means anything right now. Yeah. Hello, Raiders. Morgana Ignis, a fellow voice actor and good friend. That's the voice actor for Sally Mae in Hell of a Boss uh, for anyone that watches that show. Um, welcome, welcome, my love. How are you? How is your stream? We had Morgana over recently. We were hanging out and uh, and hustling each other in Mario Party. <laughs> we had a great time. Man, I can't believe you had a good time in Mario Party with another human being. That is impressive. It's like playing Uno. You just don't do it with friends. <laughs> no. uh, actually, though, I, I think... Uh... Uno and like Mario Party, like those like friendly competitive games that like make you kind of yell at each other, but in a fun way. Those are some of my favorite games. I will still beat anybody in Poke Pummel though. We had I'm not gonna be able to recount it, but we had the we had the most fucking Waluigi Waluigi ever. <laughs> like 
I think just saying the most fucking Waluigi, just ending it there. That's really, that's really all you need to know. <laughs> it's yeah. just a lot of fucking Waluigi bullshit. Coming from behind and then like not only stealing multiple stars, but getting like, like randomly having the star airdropped like one square in front of him. It was, uh, it was pretty bullshit. <laughs> yeah, and kept 69 coins on him for, like, multiple rounds. <laughs> and it's an AI player. It was kind of amazing. Oh, Waluigi. Oh, I'm so happy that you're here. I miss you. Um, apparently my, uh, my... Pixel chat overlay when I do a shout out has been lagging like crazy. I wonder what's going on with them. If it's me or if it's them. You know your theory craft that uh what? The 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 the, the suspend keeps them from activating their barrier? Yes. It's correct. Yes. <laughs> nice. That is unfortunate. I I think they, they should nerf that. I think I'm shooting you in the head. Who is this? No, I'm shooting, I'm sorry, Bustin' Trudeau. <laughs> That's the first time I've clocked what their name is. <laughs> Help. Can we, can we? Help. Uh, hey, Glacier. <laughs> I really hope there are no Canadians in chat right now. They, 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 they would be, <laughs> they'd be quite disappointed with that name. I love that I can go the entire strike without ever looking at what our teammate is named. <laughs> Just that that's even a thing. It's I, probably because I've run into too many terrifying ones that like my brain just doesn't, just doesn't. Here, I want to see this now. So if I do another, if I do another shout out for a Morgana, how fucked is this? What does it look like? That's, oh, hey, looks fine. First off, I need to share. That is a hell of a preview, Morgana. I need to share with you. <laughs> you stream elements, okay? I do. Mor I get Mori got me into this one bot called Mix It Up, and it takes a little time, but if you enjoy messing around with that type of stuff, I could introduce you because it has so much functionality that you're just straight up like, wait, you can do this? That you I'm like- You I, are now the I, second I, person I, to drop that with me in one day. I, I, I mm -hmm. <laughs> Mix it up just does so much. It has so much functionality that you were like begging for from a different bot. What? Uh... I don't know how else to explain it, but okay. It yeah. it does go straight to slutty lingerie signing stream. Yes, that is that is the preview. It's decided to assign you. You can decide for yourself if that's on brand or out of place. <laughs> I mean, you both look great. <laughs> No notes, 10 out of 10, hell yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, Leave me alone. Why is this shoot thing shooting so much? Mad. Got to get rid of it. Shield is making my ghost mad. Uh, I do raid. Stop shooting me. Raiding is uh, is one of my favorite activities, despite the fact that I don't do a ton of it, because I've been streaming more, and it's kind of hard to stream on raid, because my streams are usually with strangers. I have. I actually did the. Uh, I got the day one, on day two, but it's technically still a day one. I mean, if you got the emblem, the. Uh... I was going to do it, but I realized I would just be a burden to anybody who wanted me to do it because I was like barely at the light level. So I was like, might as well just do it day two. I don't mind. Oh, why did I think you got it? I thought you got it. Did Angel get it? I... Yeah, Angel got it. Okay, that must be what I'm thinking of. Contest. Yeah, I guess that's a more accurate name. By the way, yeah, chat, whenever I use my super in this game, I have to preface it with die. So, sorry sorry in advance. You're going to hear that a lot. What are you, a uh, gunslinger hunter? Or? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm strand warlock. 
So I, I just jump up in the air and thousands of threadlings pop up out of me. Uh, are we? Where are we? He's up there. Okay, cool. Yeah, we gotta do the thing. I've got the ball. I am depositing the ball. Hey? Melly is balling. I am not depositing the ball. Okay, nobody is depositing the ball, apparently. In fact, I need help. <laughs> Please help. <laughs> You're yep. reviving Bustin' Trudeau first. I see how it is. Listen, you are on cooldown. I have salvaged this nightfall. Hooray. Thank you. Uh, no, Grandmasters aren't active yet, much to my chagrin. Grandmasters are my favorite activity in the goddamn game. And almost without fail, I'm burnt out by the time they're released. Astwa may have died. Working on it. If I can manage to jump. Nah, Bustin' Trudeau's got me. And you wondered why I rezzed him first. Well fought, Guardian. <gasps> We've cut another head off the proverbial hunter. Hey, Platinum. I have but one head, uh, All right, let's see how he did. This is basically my whole night, by the way, so. <laughs> We're just doing the same thing over again. We're watching Kate or Keitel just miss the joke. You're welcome to uh, to stay as long as you like, but uh, when I set my sights on something, I get damn stubborn. No, you're good. Let's see uh, how he uh, how he did. I just hope chat doesn't get tired of me, haha. -ha. Because I'm gonna be like this all night. <laughs> how do we do? Did we get? I didn't see it move, but we're in Fabled. That's not bad. We started in Brave, so the fact that we've already flew through Heroic and we're in Fabled is nice. I need to get four resets. I've gotten one reset so far, not today, just in general. I'm Fabled 3. Hey, Vriska, welcome, welcome. Also, have a wonderful night. Hello and Three goodbye. Or lower? Wait, uh, how many Vanguard points do you have? Is that something you Is there a way to see your total? Yeah, if you hover over your 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 Fabled. Oh, it says rank 12 of 17. Okay. Yeah, no. So I guess in total it would be 13,000. Yeah, I have like 56. You have what? 56,000. Or 5,600. My bad. <laughs> okay. Have you reset yet this season? I have not. It's, uh, it's, so I guess technically I would be 13,000 out of the 40,000 I need. It doesn't seem to track across resets, weirdly. What does Rail want? Oh yeah, hell yeah. Angel has been pushing me to get a title so I can be cool like everybody else. <laughs> Do you have one in mind? Uh, well, Angel picked one out for me. That's the Dreaming City one, but the Dreaming City one is like locked behind two weeks because you need to get all those eggs. And hey. If you don't get the eggs in the, uh, what is it? The In the Ascendant the Realm. Place. Have a good night, Akuma then you gotta wait another week. And then of course there's the blind well things that I literally never saw any reason to do. So I just didn't do them. But this has been, a di one thing that I learned about Destiny is there's a lot of things that like people will look at you funny for not doing or like for doing and wasting your time doing that like, I, I'm just like, well, I didn't know these things. I didn't look them up. And it's like, what do you mean you didn't look it up? And I'm like, well, <laughs> is that what everybody else does? Milky says, I think the uh, the Dreaming City is gated behind six weeks if you include the Ascendant challenges. Yeah, Dream Warrior. And every three weeks? I want to say it resets every six. three weeks, but yeah, there are multiple yeah, Ascendant because... things. Yeah, it's because there's six Ascendant challenges. I see. Okay, um, I have I have much longer to go than I thought. <laughs> I am gonna add uh, our lovely rail. So let me open up a DM. Welcome back, Shadow Mare. Hello, hello, hello. I used um. Hey, rail. Hello. Say hello to rail. Oh gosh, you're a big box. Hello. <laughs> Where is Astra? Come back, Astra. 
I've obliterated Astra from the call. Oh no, he's getting more powerful. We need to stop him. Ah! Ah! Can anyone in chat recognize this logo? Pick up the phone, Astra. Remember me, chat. You're back. I'm back. Welcome back. This and hello. Chat. Hello. Weirdly, I cl I I bundle a lot of my my Fugi friends together, but because your speak is so much wider, you oh, still no. end up with a bubble. I can, I can change it. Give me one second. I wish it would go in front of my the logo. I wish it would just. <laughs> I just overtake you. I you that would be so good. Whole. It's really funny because uh, in other people's, like, I straight up, like, make everybody's foogies, like, social distance from each other. And <laughs> it's really funny because, like, it'll act that way and then I'll talk and then straight up I am, like, holding hands with everybody. It's so funny. <laughs> I used to put mine on the ceiling, but now they don't live up there. Mm. Now we all hang out together. At least you have the tiny toaster in the bottom right. If Astra gets bigger when they talk, can Rail be big but shrinks when he talks? So <laughs> a fun meme in my 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 community is that I am extremely short. So this is the opposite. I, I just get bigger when I talk. <laughs> I wish I had that kind of customizability. There there is a mix it up um, command that Mori created, and I'm very upset because now it will automatically shout me out whenever I talk for the first time in a stream. And I get so upset because the the specifically it's coded for you, uh, for for a very specific set of people. I think. Okay. Yeah. Really, you're gonna have to join me because I cannot find you. Whenever, okay. whenever I join, uh, Mor Mori's little shout out command says, "For every follow Astra gets, Astra gets shorter." And I was like, I hate you for that one. <laughs> Wasn't there? I feel like I I'm always a fan of those those. They'll do like weird things on Twitter sometimes where it'll be like, it'll zoom out every single time it gets a like, or it'll like, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll add an eyeball for every ten likes. <laughs> the, the the I think Angry Birds just did one. It was like the eyebrows on the Angry Bird got bigger every single time it got a like. What am I up to? I am up to eighteen oh nine and seven eighths. Uh. I saw in other places, not just Mori's. Uh-oh. Would you prefer to do... Well, no, the jump up is up to 1830. So if I'm only at 1809, would 1830 be doable or be frustrating? Uh, it locks you. Um, oh, wait. Maximum effective. Probably be fine, right? That's only like 20 off just about, right? Yeah. Ooh, might be. If it gets too hard, we can swap it back. What you thinking, Ral? Uh, I'm sure Legend if we can. is capped at 1815, so we're really only like four or four or five away. We just have to be very careful because if we're not going in with like our best loadouts, then uh, yeah, we'll we'll get eaten alive. Oh, I see. It has a level, but it's also level capped. That makes sense. Yes. Yeah. So bum, we're not that bum, far off the cap. Ba -da -da. Let me see if Just I can boost sure this up. Make sure your light level isn't too... Yeah. <laughs> like, don't use a Levy's breath that is at 1,600. Oh, man. I was planning on it. Oh, I'm sorry. You ruin everything. Ugh. You've ruined everything. Um, I realize that under your skin, regular ass bows are not going to play super well with Tira Falcons, but I don't want to switch my load up. So I have... Uh, Blinding, and I have um, Unstop. Hmm. Okay. I do. I think I have all of them. Never mind. I don't have. Uh, I don't have the wood one. I don't like any of the ornaments for Leviathan's Breath, but I do. I do have the bad dog. What is your problem? Huh? What's the problem? Uh, the problem is no barrier. Yeah, we still don't have a barrier. <laughs> um. How are you feeling? Uh, what are you running, Rail? I can run Wish Ender. Wish Ender? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, yeah, Wish Ender is perfect. Okay. 
to spend as your barrier counter. See? Milky yeah, knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we already talked about this. Yeah. I desperately want a uh, another Leviathan's Breath ornament. Something that's... Uh, I want one that's like a polished up Vanguard version, honestly. The Bright Death Shop just updated and there's a new, uh, as Angel likes to put it, osteoporosis. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, ornament. It's not new, but you can get an ornament and it's a very nice ornament. Look how pretty it looks. I don't think they have fixed your falcons yet, have they? <sighs> they acknowledge that it's an issue. They acknowledged it in such a way that makes me think that it's intended to give void weapons anti-barrier every time, but I don't think it does yet. Yeah, no, I've used uh, Volatile on that stuff and it still doesn't work. If you pick up an orb, it will work. And I'm pretty sure Jeer Falcons is supposed to work, but when it actually will start working is an exciting mystery for everybody. One thing that I did learn is that Deterministic Chaos, which is the new machine gun, doesn't count as volatile. Like the, the exotic machine gun, it is a completely different thing that weakens targets. Okay. So I'm not sure if they stack. Well, weaken is different from volatile. Does it say it does volatile? Yeah, weaken is a different effect. I see. But I'm saying because it's a void machine gun, you can apply volatile and weaken. In this yes, game. that's true. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are you both uh, good to launch? You have your, your mods on? I think so. Uh, you don't have to really put your mods on anymore, do you? I am good to go. Let's see what happens. Yeah. It's gonna be a week full of just in, not master, a week full of insane amounts of uh, of this fucking strike. I was very scared for a second. I was like, wait, master? I don't wanna to flex too much because the moment I do, I'm just gonna spend this entire strike on my face. But um, <laughs> Rail and I have managed some ambitious difficulty runs in the past together. We've definitely done like slightly under light level duo masters before just cause why not and pulled it off. I did the entire legendary campaign at like 1600 something uh, for Lightfall and quickly realized that it was not supposed to be this hard. Me like playing corners. Oh, you aren't too hard. I, you know, want to hear something crazy? I have never, I have not yet actually tried Leviathan's Breath on a Tormentor. But I miscalculated the strength oh. of this operation. You I am so excited. I did the exact same thing again. Just shooting our allies. <laughs> the fact that I acknowledge that I failed and still failed in the process is impressive. That takes that takes a certain amount of dedication that I think should be acknowledged. The fact that I did it and I acknowledge kind of sounds like you're bragging. <laughs> Look how well I own my shortcomings. It's rather that I didn't learn from my shortcomings. What? Okay, well, uh... Uh, so the Thresher's mean. Yeah, we have proven that the Thresher knows better than us. Our frame rate is too high to survive the Thresher. <laughs> oh no! Not again! <laughs> uh, you know Destiny and their, 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 their funky frame rate issues. I love doing Ruta Nightmares. Oh my god, I just died. There were simply too many enemies. You know... Wait, I can spawn now. I'm regretting my loadout. Die! Oh wait, I don't have my ult anymore. I am regretting my loadout, Rail. Wait, what did you do? 
I did Leviathan's Breath and Under Your Skin, and I think I might want to go for my day one layout. Layout? layout. What? I think I might want to go for my day one loadout and instead run, like, Avoid Linear and run Le Monarch. Gonna be making some orbs here. Yum. I'm in physical pain. Die. It seems this new Zahn has done some redecorating. Though I don't think I can call this an upgrade in terms of taste, but... They really took these fast strikes and pumped the brakes, huh? Yeesh. Yep. <sighs> Like you can't, you can't one phase the final boss anymore. You know what? In in lieu of having the weapon I probably should be running right now, I'm just going to try and liberally remember to use blinding. One thing that I got really annoyed at is I love when developers see people speedrunning games, and then like actively do things to make sure that the speed. Oh my god aren't going to be pissed off at them. But when they do stuff like this, where they see speedrunners and what they do, and then like actively patch it so they can't do that, is Incoming. kind of... Hmm. I, you know, the changing of the strike is one thing. It is interesting that like, they definitely made the conscious choice that we're putting in mandatory phases, which, didn't they do that in uh, The Corrupted as well? Like, didn't they make it like you used to be able to kind of get lucky? Yeah. And now it's definitely... Oh, can you not? I haven't tried it. I would have thought you could still uh, do single if you really got coordinated. I'm at 100 res, by the way. Earlier, I informed the Empress we had already dealt with Zahn. At least I thought we had. But hey, Andrew, What's going on? We are uh, playing some Farmville together. Man, I love my casual farming sim. New HD edition with guns. HD Farmville with guns. <laughs> But, you know, it's what the community wanted. Yeah, I don't, I don't think Facebook games really... I don't think I trust their vision on this one. Wait, where the fuck? Oh, it's... I'm just following the person with the glowing ball, okay? Wait, why is it over there? You know what? We're gonna put this down for a sec. Die. I picked it up. That's not what I meant to pick up. Wow. That's what I said. I am. I'm I'm worried. I'm worried, friends. Do we have a uh, barrier break? Nope. Uh, I'm I coming went to in. put the res. We have this other <gasps> problem person behind us here. The oh. shadow guards. And Don't say that about Astra. <laughs> That's so rude. Calling Astra a problem person? What? <laughs> yeah. They don't mean that, right? They would never. They would never say something like that. Get ready with the break. Oh, this is our charge. This this guy's probably gonna respawn, huh? Yeah, I think he responds every single time we don't deposit the charge in time. Cool. We need uh yeah, we need the break ready to go. Nice! Ooh, really good timing on that. Alright, I'm depositing. Bang. Slam dunk it in there. And now we have a friend. Hey, Allie. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's quite different. I was full health and then I wasn't. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong here.
Threshers are pretty pretty rude in general. Oh, there's a Thresher. I see. Yeah. I thought this Colossus just beamed me down. And I was like, okay, well. They do seem to keep firing at where you're probably going to be forever. Do you, um, do you have, uh, ammo, Rel? How do you mean? Are you running, um, uh, ammo gen or no? Oh, no, I'm not. Okay. I should probably change my build around because I'm not getting as many punch kills as I would like. Yeah, I'm not really able to get even somewhat close to that. This means I have to be a little bit more careful with my ammo. Yeah, I've, I've, to be fair, I've spent the last, full disclosure, I've spent the last, uh, like, five or seven minutes wondering if I should say, should we go to orbit <laughs> and make some changes? But so far, I'm just trying to write it out. I don't know if I'm going to regret that later. You know, I think applying face to brick wall has been working so far, so we'll, we'll see how far we can go until either we break through this brick wall or our face gets broken. I could probably put together a, uh, what do you call, Aeon build, if we want to do that. I think we can just kind of cheese it, but we'll see. This last fight's going to be brutal. I could really oh, yeah. get a orb generating rhythm going, but I just, I need the red bars to stay alive just long enough for me to run up and punch them to death. Things I wish you could do. Blind the Thresher. Okay, I got rockets. Made real quick. Shoot them. That wall gets suspended in the wrong area. I didn't get the final blow on that. There they go. So if you get the final blow, it sends out more, like, suspension tracers? Yes. Uh, I think the caveat is that you have to be killing them with something with strand, but my submachine gun has strand, so it's nice. Uh, I am out of heavy ammo. Damage, I get my grenade back, and my grenade is what? Oh, okay. Well, I'm not going to my grenade back for that. Oh, hello, pop-in enemy. Yeah, don't you just like when they just, like, frame one appear on you? I'm, uh, I'm with Zevins. I, I, I don't play, probably, I don't probably play them as much as, uh, as Zevins does, but I'm always eyeballing whenever a Steam sale goes up to see, like, what's for $5 and under, and you can get some pretty cool games sometimes for, you can put together a lot of games for very little money. Yeah, we gotta watch out for the harvester. It's kind of broken. Oh, I forgot that that also has a gun on it. Yeah. Everything's got a gun now. I have not played Titanfall 2 yet. Had a lot of people recommending that I pick up Titanfall 2. I've heard it's pretty good. The sale now is pretty good. Wait, is, uh, is Titanfall 2 on sale right now? Because I will get it. I'll buy it. Interesting. Dumb thing. Have you had this problem, or is it just me, Rail, where you are just constantly getting juggled by the friendly? NPC players. What do you mean? Like, they keep running the other direction and I'll try to jump past them and they'll bounce me into the air. That kind no, of I don't shit. I have had that. It was really rude of them to be able to kill me through my rift. Dude, you're not supposed to do that. That's illegal. Yeah, I think after this run, I'll change it up because I just can't get into... Uh 
If I can't get three stacks up on combination blow, it's really not worth. Oh, you're doing a uh, arc punch? Yeah. So I could do pretty high orb generation, but we just don't have enough. The red bars either die fast or kill us. There's like no in between to get. Three stacks out of them. Sorry, I didn't have my... Uh... Bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Who dares message me? Zuffin says, I'm pretty sure you do own Titanfall 2. Wait, do I? <laughs> hey, I own Titanfall 2! Hey! Look at me! <laughs> Who could have... Literally, the Ascendant Guard just bounced my grenade back at me. That was my fault for missing, but still kind of funny. Hey, it turns out I've got Titanfall 2, everybody. <laughs> we can pick it up at some point when uh, we're in between single players and need a new single player. You hunters and your invisibility. Aren't you cool? Yes. I get it's dumb great. glide mechanics that get me thrown off cliffs during raids. Um, so I've got four shots with the Leviathan's Breath. My super's up. I'm going to save it. I've been wasting it on the tank, and I need to not do that. I need to be saving it for the Tormentor. Interesting that there's a Tormentor in a strike now. Tormentors always kind of peeved me off. I don't like how they suppress you. It's a really mean ability, right? That like, when you're at your most vulnerable as they're catching up to you, you can't escape anymore. I explicitly hate it most when it's, when I'm like trying to do movement ability, like, or do, trying to use like my glide during uh, like making it over a jump. And then I just get suppressed and then I die for it. Like the 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 callous encounter that you do and you're like constantly having to jump from platform to platform is mean with those tormentors. We uh we had we had a time in there on those. Hey, you just generated heavy art ammo for me. I you know, I like to help my friends, so I'm running heavy ammo scout. I don't know if either of you are. I'm not. I was trying to make orbs, so I'm running an orb setup. Sadly, I'm not running the um, the ammo scavengers, so I'm getting very little per brick. Dead. Oh well. Oh! Behind us! Ah, oh no! <clears throat> that was horrifying. Uh, also, my... How dare they do that? Two champions at once? Like, sneaked up on me too. Hang on! <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's all on you, Rail! It's all on you, Rail. <laughs> okay, I spawn in 10 seconds. Oh, we can revive ourselves eventually. No, you're right, you're right. All right, and I'm alive. You're playing with fire if he all spins that gun. Back here. Nice work, team. The best part is we're gonna get the uh, we're gonna get the tormentor, and we're gonna get the dogs mid tormentor, which is all kinds of fun. Is it on the elevator or does it come in? No, it comes in afterwards, I guess. Is it a little weird that like can we talk about how they lowered the elevator, which in the original version of this strike 
lowers a tank into sight. Now the elevator lowers with basically nothing on it, and all the enemies that should be on the elevator teleport in. Yeah, they used to all have like animations to enter the stage. What's the point in having an elevator if they're gonna teleport in? It just feels so like hodgepodge, like they meant to do it, or like like you can tell what the original intention of that was supposed to be. Bye. But it just. <laughs> Well, I didn't use that super the way I probably ought to. What's happening? What's happening More right now? Dogs. More dogs! Why is he just staring you down? I put Do -do -do. down my rift. Just I, I... running away for a moment. Here we go. Okay. Everything's fine. No. Nothing is broken. I can imagine the last encounter is going to go great. Oh, I should have equipped like a sniper. All right. I still only have five arrows. Oh, we're close. Oh, we're finishable. Good. I was hoping to save my arrows anyway. Nice job on the Tormentor. I don't think I helped as much as I probably should have. Did it actually die? I didn't... I finished it. Okay, cool. I yeah. had run away by that point. I'm like so broken thanks to Apex where like I go in for the finish on the Tormentor and I go to do like a big slide in and I get maybe a third of the distance there. <laughs> I'm like, ah! and then they have to run the rest of the way. The, 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 the janitor who comes in before the video game to wax all the floors forgot to do so in Destiny, so. They, they, they just don't, they don't wax them like they do in Apex. The real question is going to be, with the time it takes us to clear this, like, is the rep going to be worth the time? Uh, great question. Yeah, I think we could re-optimize after this one for more sensible loadout. He just, he just ran away? That's so mean of him. That's what he does. He d Those green stalks are definitely new. I know he's mostly the same model, but he's definitely a brighter shade of green than he used to be. Grenade. There's a... Uh... Angry boy on the floor back here behind us. Okay. On stop. Nice job. Bounce on the right. Doesn't deserve to live. There we go. Careful, Melly. There's bad guys everywhere. I was I was amazed that you were just standing there shooting the tormentor while he just kind of like gave you a, gave there. you a look. We found that magical distance where he was like, "Ah, oh, this is a good <laughs> good stare proximity. From. Don't want to get closer to this guardian. Don't want to get further away." Man, no purple bricks. Loot luck is not on my side. I still have exactly five fucking arrows. <laughs> as long as you always have five arrows, you're good. Five hour arrows forever. It's basically infinite arrows. Uh, I didn't get the cool behind the 
behind the computer interact. What was, um, was it Speak or someone on our team? What was, we had someone that was dropping a bajillion bricks everywhere on our day one. Was that just from Aeons? Howdy. Uh, yeah, Speak flipped over to Aeons for that uh, third encounter. Amogen. Um, what do we do about all the turrets? I kind of feel like I want to just run. Like I'm yeah, running. Back up and... Eee, that's not what I thought was going to happen. But what was I thinking? Okay, they're all dead. Yeah, turret's down. All I got the res. Islands. Okay. I have boss aggro at the moment. It is weirdly quiet. Weirdly quiet here. Bizarrely quiet. As if, like, it didn't expect us to do that. I don't know. Like, I feel like we should already be dealing with enemies right now. Okay, there we go. Now, look at... He's immune, but look at his bar. Why does he have, like, a partial shield? I don't, I don't know. know. Okay. Is representing the overshield from the bubble? We got a lot of friends. Oh, God! I got the Scorpius. Yeah... Ah. What just I hit me? It's the drop ship. Is it is that breakable or am I just Is what breakable? The gun on the drop ship? Yes. No. Oh wait, the gun is. I'm yes. getting conflicting information. <laughs> the gun is absolutely breakable. I thought you meant the harvester. I was like, no. I'm getting conflict. I like how they shoot your they try to kill your ghost. It doesn't give great feedback when you're hitting it. It does not. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't get, I wasn't seeing numbers or a flash highlighting. So I get, became very concerned. Hey, your contributions towards killing this. Yeah, I was like, is it going to blow up? Gun. There it oh, goes. Oh, there it goes. Goodbye. Now you get to sit there and do nothing. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Is a Shadow Guard Centurion on the floor <gasps> over here? Purple ammo! Hell yes! Hey, Miss Fortune, welcome back! Okay. I think we can play this slow if we need it. Are ain't we. Like, ain't like the Harvester is gonna do anything. Oh, is that the Orb Boy? We've got an Orb Boy. Yeah, that's the Orb Boy. Actually, surprisingly, the last person, even though he's one of the biggest boys on the field. All right. Okay. Dropping the orb. I think stuff spawns when you kill him. Yep, it sure does. Yep. Oh, God. Yep, be careful. Yep, I am. I took the long road. I'm going to say be careful, and then I'm the one that's going to fucking die. No! Ah, uh, yes. The be careful to die combo is true. <laughs> Absolute. All right. Is he down? Yes, he is. He is trucking over to the other one, I think. Watch out for the dogs. Okay, I'm gonna blow an entire ult. Die! Nice. Okay. Ah. All right. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Get these dogs off of me! Dun, dun. Wow, that was really effective. You made a lot of orbs. That's my build. I just got to get the red bars. Oh, I don't think they expected me to shoot that shield down so fast. Sometimes when I see them just overload us with enemies, I'm like, ooh, I clearly played that Pressure's all wrong. Up. So get the hell out of here. Got it. I got a rocket. Goodbye. 
Is that a homing rocket? It sure is. What the hell did it just track onto? I guess the gun? I'm not sure. <laughs> it, it looked like it missed, and that was really funny because I shot it like the, the, through the bulk of it. And it was like, no, we're going this way now. So I was kind of concerned for a second until it like worked anyways, and I was like, okay. Ah, uh, yo, Miss Fortune, you went snowboarding? That's cool. Hey, let's get the orb, boy. Are you... Bah. Remind me, are you in the States? Was this like late night snowboarding? Or, uh, or are you elsewhere? States, spoken like somebody who's not from the States. I'm gonna go ahead and deposit if we're ready. Ready? Ow! Did you get crushed? Like... Your death mysteriously timed with the sound of... Of depositing the orb. Yeah. <laughs> but I was I'm far away sure from where you died. I, I, I got, I, like, blown up by a centurion until I was, like, one health. And then, like, a legionary just, like, jumped up out of nowhere and meleeed me. It was, like, a one-two combo. Where'd he go? Ah! Oh, that's another turret. All right, well, I'm dead. Okay, Millie. You know? You get to do the fun game of hiding in a corner. It's times like this. 15 seconds. Yep. Same timer for me. Well, we've shown that we can do this. We did, we just, is it worth it? I think it's worth at least another try with a more optimized loadout. At least you got to see the idea of the orbs. <laughs> yes. Very brief moment. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. I missed. Great. I got it. Thank you. I got a, oh wait. Wait, another, head off wait, another one? Another world? Let's see how we did. What? It was decent, but. And strength. It's a 64, which is nice, but. Indispensable. Oh. Me. <laughs> you shouldn't have. You know what? Knowledgeable. Oh, is that? Oh, these are blues, aren't they? Yes. Yo, nice. I finally have an activity I can get blues in. Mm -hmm. Glad we all gave one to each other. Uh, uh, so for me, that was like a little under one, just about under one rank, which is decent, but it was a long run. So if we, if the run went a lot faster, it might. Be worth it, but free Vanguard Ingram. Yeah, I'm mythic now. Yay. I could either run and set up an Aeon Swift build or I could go to a Star Eaters build. I'm thinking of running a Wish Under as well. Because we're not gonna be dealing with any overload. And then Grenade she was fine, I guess. Then I think I want to... Oh, wait. I can't run. Okay. What I'm going to do is this. Not run a sniper rifle. It's another grenade launcher. I hope you're taking uh, some kind of multivitamin with that toast, Miss Fortune. You need more protein and vitamins. It could be fortified, you know, whole grain. Is your toast fortified? Dost thou fortify thine toast? Yeah, here's a downside. I don't have a break. Uh, so I could, instead of running blinding, I could run whichever one you prefer. Would it help to have another barrier or another unstop? Um... 
I... It would help to have another barrier, because I, I, I can look out for every unstoppable, but when it's, like, both a barrier and an unstoppable at the same time, like... Uh, are you point. both running Wish Ender, though? Oh, I guess we are. Okay, I didn't think about that. I was like, oh, wait, yeah, I kind of covered my barrier problem. So, we're, we're just good. You can run whatever the heck you want. I will run the scout. I am ready when you are. Did I flip to a Star Eater build or Aeon build? Hmm. Would you rather see oh, yeah. more guaranteed heavy? Aeon. Okay. Let me work that out. I'd rather not run Siphon and instead run Heavy Ammo Finder. Well, thus far, I know that you eat toast and melons. I just mean from a balanced diet. It's got to come from somewhere. There. Best of both worlds. Okay. We're good. Okay. Good around? No, not at all. Okay. I need to put together uh, a set for this Aeons. I'm going to run my harmonic... Um, my deterministic chaos, my bad. So that way we do a little bit more damage to the big boards. Oh, okay. What are your uh, what are your breaks then? Or do you have breaks? Uh, I Them's the breaks. Yeah, my bad. I'm not running that then. I'm just gonna run my rocket launcher thing. It's a shame you can't use those, uh... Enjoy your toast. Jelly, hello! Welcome, welcome! How are you, my dear? I just realized I don't think Jelly's seen my new foogie either. <laughs> Tired! How was class? Was it alright? Angel made it, Blaine Angel. You gotta work. Oh man. Back to working on your uh on your stuff, on your dish, on your stuff. I'll taste test. Let me eat your food. <laughs> I would absolutely eat anything Jelly put in front of me. Take that in however you like. Yeah, it's like... Whatever I context you like. I don't care if that means <clears throat> dumb things. CC has made me learn that if you want to simp for somebody, you must simp through them, even even through the most degrading of ways. Is that how that works? You you can't back out when when your reputation's on the line. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Uh, Yo, congratulations, Ink Slinger. I hope that you love her. Are you excited? New main? I'm so jealous. I have this one clan mate who uh, has like a, a literal rock as a ship. And I want that. I, oh, I want it so bad. I think I have that. Milky does that. But uh, then they have the, the 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 black shader with the RGB. Oh. So it, 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 yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It's the rave rock. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> How are you doing, Ral? Some say to Getting day, close. 
What is power preservation? Your super final bows create orbs of power for your allies. Yeah, I probably oh, won't be oh running that. It's just what's on the armor. Got to get this other stuff uh, leveled up. But some say to this day that if you pass by the Raving Rock on your voyage in space, you might hear the faint noises of Caramel Dancing. <laughs> I think I have that shader too. I don't remember what it's called. I know that people were freaking out about that a lot because of that. That the uh, the glow changed on it. So, yeah, everybody has a second chance at it. I don't have any pets. I wish I had pets, but I don't. Pretty sure I have it. Let me, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to figure out because nothing I have glows that I'm wearing. Hmm. It's one of the 30th anniversaries, I think. Oh, is it? I think so. Hmm. What would glow? The A black shader. Oh, your eyes would glow. I don't think it's that one. No, um, you'll know it when you see it, but it should be like a, a black shader. It's one of the 30th anniversary ones, and gosh, as soon as you like pass by it, I'll see the name and be like, oh yeah, it's that one. I think that's, I think those are all the 30th anniversary shaders. Oh wait, there's more. I feel like it was more recent than that. Oh, it was more recent than that. Photo finish is the name of it. I do have that somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, yo. Blue, green, yellow. There it is. Okay. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, which means it's probably great with, um, hang on. I don't have the chest on right now, but I can probably do the rest of it. Where is of the victor of the victor of the victor? It always stinks when like you have to try to find something and you don't know what it looks like, like in the previews. So you're just sitting there like, come on. Is it changing color? I don't have photo finish on everything yet. Um. Oh, okay. That's it. I don't remember where it was anymore. Was it here? <laughs> here? 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 Uh, there. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Is it not? That, that you chose Amethyst Vale. It's the there? Top left. Top left. There we go. <laughs> really great with this cloak. I really like that cloak. Oh, it looks like uh, ribbon cables. Is there a brighter? Is this the brightest cloak or is there brighter? Probably not that I have. I'm trying to remember if this is the big glowy one that everyone likes or if it's a different one. What's the one that Ark uses? Is it Is it Psionic Stalker, Rail? Uh no, he's it's a green one. He's got a green theme from on that outfit. Ooh. Oh, you mean the uh the uh ornament? Nice. Yeah. Yeah, the, I think the ornament is uh sorry, I thought you were talking about shaders. I really I think this is about as glowy as I can get. Okay. Almost. Um. 
Okay, I think I'm set up. Let's go. What could possibly go wrong? Isn't it so nice that you don't have to worry about putting on mods anymore? Ugh, finally. I'm I'm just glad that like you have the break saying unlocks for mods, but it's like it's no longer like, oh, if you don't have like 40 of these mods, then good luck. They they have absolutely shortened the amount of things that you have to have in an inventory and it's very nice that they did so. Yeah. All right, let's see how day one build works out. Minus rocket launcher. I went for LFR just because of the stupid tormentor. Uh, they didn't get rid of mods. Uh, I just meant that, like, you don't need to equip breaks anymore, thankfully. Ah, I'm already dead. I did the exact same thing that I did earlier. I'm not sure what I expected. Why am I? Oh. I'm like, why am I shorter than? Who is that? Oh, it's the fucking Cabal again. There's no here, way it's. Pitching in, helping us out. They're so helpful. Astro's it, probably going to start shooting him immediately as soon as his door opens. In the back. Well, no, I have to. It's tradition. Maybe I would have not, but now I have to. Oh my god. They're like the line of sights with these motherfuckers. Okay. Okay. Pressure's up. Please be advised. I'm dead. Those missiles are too hard to shoot down with a bow. <gasps> yeah. I guess the scout rifle, maybe? Thank you. I, just I spawned quite box. far. Pressure down. I gotta collapse. What I try to do is I try to make every arrow hit something, even if they're not hitting the same things. Even if I'm not focus firing. If I can just keep, hopefully, landing arrows, I'll contribute. Alright, finishable. I think I just despawned. It's kind of floating out there in space. I'm not sure that's how that was supposed to go. Guy just lost physics. It's weird. It's weird, okay, to be in a legend and feel like the mobs have more health than in the, ch the contest mode of the raid. Mm -hmm. Sorry. You know, does anyone else feel like this is already way easier than our last run? Oh, yeah. absolutely. I don't want to jinx it, but it feels way easier. Somehow, Zahn has returned. It's a, it's a really, it's really annoying that Zahn keeps, like, resurrecting. We should probably do something about that. I would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for you pesky guardians and your ghosts. And your little ghosts, too. There you go. All right. I got the charge. Time for me to do nothing. So 
it doesn't despawn. Hello, buddy. Shield. Hey, you got somebody behind you, Melly. Thanks. All right, I'm running. I'm running. It despawned. I'm so sad. Are we okay? Oh, yeah, there's the guy. Us just pinging bows from a million miles away. Alright. Orbs down. What's up? Let me see if I can stand on your head. Hold me with your four... Five arms. Four arms. <laughs> I'm I'm still to this day a little sad that you can't like stack like you could in like TF2. Oh, fucking Thrasher. Nice. Nobody died for that. A monarch is such a fun bow. All the exotic bows are fun. I like how not using an exotic bow makes me feel sad. I like that we went from uh, having no ammo to like there's just a field of heavy and special ammo. Well, this is my job. My job. Get your own job. Uh, why is his head not taking hits? Uh, I'm a little annoyed about this. Oh no, does that fuck up headshot registration? I it's not the end of the world, he's CC'd, it's just like... And it doesn't always happen, which is the issue. Like, it's only occasionally. The backpack's still critical, so just if you just go for that. Yeah. Can you make your reality bending tendrils spin him around for me? Do you think you can do that? <laughs> you can control the fabric of reality, right? All, all the time. So it's, it's a little annoying when people ask me all the time, you know, because it's like the touch, the feel. It's like of reality. Gosh, one at a time, you know. <laughs> the only limitation is I can't do it for everyone all at once. It's like you can affect reality, and what does that take the form of? A whole lot of green energy. I don't know. Can we use it to like turn water into wine? Walk on, you know, like. Are there other things we can do aside from green energy? <laughs> I've never thought about this. I want to unravel someone Thanos style. Oh yeah, it's super funny when like they get unraveled and like die to it because they just like the ragdoll like freaks out in midair. Can we kill the gun from a distance? Uh, yeah. Possibility. Probably. I'm not sure if I'm hitting the gun or not. I can't really. There we go. You know, I don't think you need to do damage to the gun in particular. I think you just need to do damage to like it. Oh really? That's weird. Nothing is critting. There it is. Yeah, you gotta shoot his backpack. Ah. Thanks. I don't even know what I died to. I mean, I guess it's just so in the top, but. Oh, it like dropped a grenade when I wasn't looking. I have had a bad day. Oh, there's another one in the middle still. There's one back in between the, yeah. How did that guy get there? I have no clue. I got you. Thanks. Are we waiting for... Oh, no, he's here. Wait, nope, now he's over there. What? He really just came out of nowhere, huh? My charge. 
Waboom! That's my special catchphrase. I'm getting it patent pending. Waboom? Waboom. As you know, Astra famously says Waboom. It's like a, like a, it's like a bazinga moment. I better see that on your uh, VTuber <laughs> fandom wiki page. Ugh. Okay, boys. Like my followers. Boys. They're just <laughs> boys. Can we please? Let me shoot the unstoppable. You are making the process of killing unstoppables very sad. We have actively requested the opposite of this. Can y'all help? No, the other kind of help. I don't even know how you died there. Uh, the guy on the right got me. Oh, I got you. The esteemed. Wow. Okay. Maybe I should put on a solar. I'm just rubbing double, running double concussive right now. What games do I play? I love um, the ascendant guards. Are I'm a big fan of this one. Uh, I like Destiny. I like I'm Apex. Man, uh, sure I like Minecraft. I play a good amount of Terraria and stuff like Starbound. Um, I remember. I'm planning on playing like one single-player game at any given time, so I'll probably end up having. Oh, absolutely. Right now, I'm in a game called Tome, which is like a little RPG. But once I'm done with that, I want to go through Mass Effect Legendary. I want to go through. Uh, dead space. Riot. People want me to go through Titanfall. Stall out. Um, but more than anything else, I probably play a lot of Destiny and Apex. Nice. Okay, well, that was kind of rude. Kind of uncalled for. You want to hear something cool? Sure. Yeah. I can poison a tank. <laughs> I, Destiny is going to have to explain that one to me. That's in a lore tidbit somewhere, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it's just like, well, it's void power, but yeah, it's tank poison. If you remember tank poison. the mission that runs through here with Asher, the Cabal use oil that's vulnerable to weird things like that. It's like, actually, you just put something weird in its gas tank and it didn't know what the fuck to do. I like when a mob is low enough and I can hit them with the poison shot from the Monarch and just change targets because oh my wah. Here, someone with actual unstoppable do that so that I can still headshot them. Wait, it's still not working. It's oh, there it is. Working. Their head is just not critical, is it? Apparently. Apparently not. Wow. I did not play Apex before the gig, actually. Uh, I started playing Apex, not even after I booked the gig. I started playing Apex after I announced I started playing. Uh, so I, I started in November. Or I guess technically October 17th. I did like two weeks of um, of Bloodhound. And then I started playing Catalyst once oh, it came out. Oh, voice line for that too? Oh, I didn't It's really a shame our ghost isn't here to be like, let me guess, another tank, and then a tormentor comes down. <laughs> that would be a meta joke. Oh, dogs just ate me. I always get like freaked out by the other dogs that come in. By the way, there's more dogs. Oh, that's a lot of dogs. Yeah. I should have mentioned that. I burned to death. <laughs> I'm sorry. You 
Behold the power of Volatile. Yeah, I am back. I am kiting, not so much running as kiting. Nicely done. Something the coward character in something would say. I'm not retreating, I'm kiting. I'm not retreating, I'm kiting. I'm not I'm, I'm charging in reverse. <laughs> Like the coward character, the like Z Zenitsu or fuck Zenitsu character was like, I I'm clearly not running away. I'm tactically retreating, so I can therefore plan my next assault. I used to do streams. Sorry, this is to chat. I used to do streams uh, where I would do stuff like BDO, but I sort of fell out of love with it. Um. I've heard Red Dead's a great game. Cowboy slash horse slash West game, not super appealing to me. I tend to be a sucker for fantasy and a sucker for uh, sci-fi. Wild West, modern military stuff doesn't really do anything for me. You gotta unstop here. Oh, okay. I'm fine. <laughs> I like how you can stun them when they're technically already stunned. Oh, that's a legionary out of nowhere. I simply was not looking behind me as I got shot in the back. There has been a strange, and I don't know if this is like the product of spaghetti code meets repurposed, like redesigned strike, but I have been noticing a tremendous amount of like mob pop in and out. Yeah, the yeah. teleporting is a little uh, much. Nice. I truly have not needed to find a single rocket ever. I've simply had one every single time I needed to find one. It's such a great build, right? Talk about another element of character leaving, like the elevator not actually bringing anyone down. And there used to be that little beat here where you start to raise the uh, this lift, and then it gets like pinned down by a Cabal dropship. Little elements of character that I now miss from the strike. Even though it left him vulnerable, sorry, I'm chewing. Even though it left him vulnerable early, it was such a great character moment to have him like peek over the top and start sniping us as we're coming up the yeah, lift. Yeah, that was so nice. I also forgot that like the 14,000 Scorpius yeah, spawn here. Yeah, my brain went back to old mode. I yeah. forgot about all the turrets. There's a lot of turrets. Whoever, like, had that insight for the first time, I forgot who said it. But, uh, kudos on you for being the smart one. Because I totally forgot about the turrets when we first did this and we were like, hey, let's step back. <laughs> it worked, right? It sort worked. of. It did work that one time. All right. That is, a uh, feels a bit unfair. He is apparently teleporting when he is not quite at the at the, the divider yet. Yeah, well, you can still shoot him. When he reaches the divider, then he puts up the shield. Oh, does he then hang up, hang out up there? Yeah, he Oh, so great. So there. the teleport's just designed to fucking eat your supers and shit. Yeah, well. Do that. Oops. You're going into the development as a, as a, a career, so I have to start studying these types of games. I think it's very interesting to study, and you know, sometimes you can find videos about it if it's a big enough game. I think it's really interesting to study stuff like this, where there's like a before and after, like major changes that happen in a game, and like what worked, what what didn't work. 
what was fixed, what's got what got worse. Did we get the gun, by the way? Oh, we, we did. did. Yep. Oh. That was my top priority. All right, slamming. Nice. Slam. All right, I'm blowing super right now. Okay. Okay. Yep. That is phase. Man. Okay. Um, I am as close to one health as you could possibly be. Pressure is up. Okay, can we kill pressure? As well as our friends, the dogs. Oh, gladiator came up. Uh, I mean, he literally just popped in. I don't seem to be able to poison the Thresher. Thank you. I'm shooting the... Th well, that's just rude. Oh, nope. Zua! Ah, uh, yes. <gasps> oh, no. no! Dude, that... Not... Not me getting camped by the gladiator. I, I, I immediately spawn and die because uh, the gladiator was mid-swing when I got rezzed. Only to then die, or only to then get camped by a second gladiator. Very sad times. Okay, I have remembered that I need to back up from here. Our beautiful clear time! Yeah, that's a bummer. We still might be ahead of pace for that last one, though. I'm just sad that we wiped. Yeah. I dodged out of there, but his AOE just killed me anyway. <laughs> oh, no! It was my turn. Melly, yeah, it's was, it was Melly's turn to forget the mechanic. <laughs> yep. I'm like, I got a second to look at my uh, my loadout, right? <laughs> Have a good night, Crumble Lump. Kind of getting stun locked. I was like staring at him and he kept staring at me. But uh, I'd like back out, but not enough to drop his aggro. I kind of like that little detail of him sending up a flare. Welp. Man, there are moments when I'm counting on a on a stealth to trigger and it just doesn't. Alright, gun is off. Thank you. Wow. That that was just didn't even give me a chance there. You you, you got you got the gladiator effect, didn't you? What is hitting me? What? I don't like that at all. What happened to my classic video game, you know, 1.5 seconds of invulnerability? Yeah, Destiny, what happened? What happened? Destiny, you should know better. That's like video game 101. You get res, you have like that blink, 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 blink period. I want my blinks. Yo, mine is also DSC. Favorite raid. DSC by far. How about you two? Uh, I, I feel like every time a raid comes out, I'm like, this is my favorite raid. <laughs> this is my favorite pizza place. They all just look so good. I Okay. The, 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 the singer in me wants to say Vault of Glass. I do love DSC's mechanics, but I think just the vault from uh, Last Wish is always going to be my favorite. Oh, yeah. 
Last Wish is super good. Last, I, I was gonna say, I was gonna say like Last Wish has such great music, but then I'm like, so does all of them. So yeah. does all of them. Destiny killed. Did you know that when I I'll first played Destiny for like an entire year, I didn't play with music. Oh no. And I didn't, I, I, so I didn't know that it just slapped so hard until like very recently. Somebody's like, wait, you don't play with music? That's like a crime. And I was like, what, why? So then I played with music. I was like, oh, oh no. So, <laughs> oh. It's so good. And and they keep experimenting and trying new things and it always slaps. It's like a riot effect. It's like every song that they make is just a banger for no reason whatsoever. I'm like, you haven't even touched this genre before and it's still slapped. They're like, doesn't matter. It's going to be on your top 10. <laughs> And he's gone. Ha! Ah! Thank you, Dropship. Thank you so much for the pod. Uh... Okay. I kind of deserve that. There's also a Thresher out. Hold, please. <laughs> I am doing a really dumb kite with a, with a gladiator. Take out the thresher, it's down. All right, Centurion's going down, Centurion's down. I'll grab the thing. Hey, nicknames, good to see you again. Do I have any plans to do cosplays as Catalyst? I certainly don't have any plans to make a cosplay of Catalyst, but if I ever found one that was really good, I would totally put it on. Zon is available for damage. Oh, they're Scorpiuses. Scorpii? Scorpi? They really took to heart the idea of flame turrets. I wish they were all flame turrets and not Gatling guns. Were they were they a different type of turret in the original? I think it was a mix, but I think the at least the starting spawns that he got were all flame turrets. All right, good job. We got there. Man, all of the all the other guys. Uh, shooting the uh, science. You really got him. Good job, guys. General Zena, welcome, Raiders. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What you been doing? I got a, I got a cool projection. Yo, my teammates tell me I'm just. I'm indispensable. You know what? How cool is that? We've, we've tried. She cannot be dispensed. Oh, whoops. I did that in the wrong order. Okay, anyways. I also had to run an ad like the moment that your raid got here, so <laughs> apologies. <laughs> I'm like, oh shoot, I forgot to run ads, so I'm just gonna snooze it. Oh shoot, I forgot to run ads, so I'm just gonna snooze it, and then it's like, oh god. Wiki just have to push harder to fit me into a dispenser. <laughs> Is that how that works? How did we do on that for uh, for experience? Uh, I did not go up level, or did I? Or did I? Let's see, the director and guard. I did not go up a level. I had watchers rise up. Yeah, we have at least one person, <clears throat> Misfortune, that uh, was gifted a sub and is very sad about it. Mm. 
Yo, you've been you've been iron bannering all day. I am I'm grinding Vanguard rank. I can I'm happy to hop back in if if we think that that difficulty is good for us. I'm fine with it. That's fine. What okay. did you feel like the breakover was there? If we didn't wipe, it would have been better than a lower tier run. Probably if it's about 20 minutes and we're getting close to a rank every single time, which is kind of wild. Equipment locked. <laughs> yeah, we've been uh, we've been doing Vanguard because it's a uh, double Vanguard. I desperately want to get a good royal entry, so apparently, according to Nilky, I need to reset my Vanguard rank four times. Wait for what? To get the because uh, every time you reset your uh, your rank in any of the vendors, you can focus weapons. You actually, as if you focus weapons with them, you'll get more perks on the weapon. Hey, guess what Astro remembered? Not to immediately walk forward. <laughs> nice. So, you know, if there's like a, if there's a, if, you know, there's kind of like the, the, the regular strategy and the Giga Chad strategy, where if there's a specific role you're going for, you're going to have a much higher chance of getting it if you have like three perks in each column. Um, but then that also means you could potentially get some really versatile builds by having multiple things. Like, in a nut, in a perfect world, I want to have auto loading or field prep on the rocket launcher, and I'd love to have uh, clown cartridge or as I die, clown cartridge or um, demo on the other column because demo comes in really handy for stuff like um, Atheon. And when I'm not running like actual competitive content, I just like auto letting on everything because I'm lazy and forgetful. What the fuck just hit me? Nothing is glowing. Nothing is glowing. Is that what it says? That's what it says. I'm looking at your feed. <laughs> your stream. Why am I dead right now? I love, oh. Wait, Scions <laughs> one-shot you? If you're not set up right. Oh. Wait, what do you mean not set up right? You yeah, know, if you're... Well, I'm saying it's possible. Oh. Do you have sniper resist on or concussive resist? Or what do your resists look like? No. I think I'm running triple concussive at the moment. I need to, okay. Are you ready on that break? What I'm doing afterwards. Finish the guy back here. Oh, sorry. I'm at that stage where I never had like masterworks armor. Oh, he's I never dead. really gr grinded for armor yet. So, uh, I didn't want to waste all my resources on armor yet. I'm like, this is about the time where I start wasting resources on armor. I am going to die. Not <laughs> I can't. Well, you know, props for like being able to call it out. Yep. But here's the thing. I'm not doing anything to prevent it. I just kept shooting because I got into that mode where I was like, we're playing chicken now. <laughs> One of us will die. And it'll either be me or the legend level guy with a shield. Oh no! That's a whole lot of bad guys that came in to get you. They can't. I'm invisible. Earlier, I informed the Empress we had already dealt with Zahn. Or at least I thought we had. But he's returned somehow. Oh, he disintegrated. Impact casing, explosive lighter, lasting impression, and auto loading on my hothead. I have an okay hothead. What do I have? I have. I think I have field prep clown cartridge. I don't have an I don't have an explosive light on it though. Can you get that again yet as an adapter? Is it still retired? Did you know you can hit the champion from over here? 
I know that you can you can roll regular hotheads. I forget if the adept is bad. I'm so far away I don't get sound effects from any of this. Mikelda. That's a Colossus that ran up on me out of nowhere. That's another Colossus that ran up on me out of nowhere. Behind you. Oh. Hi, buddy. Don't shoot. Don't do it. Don't do it! Thank you. <laughs> I think I play this game of like thinking, oh, surely that's the last one behind me, right? <laughs> they would never put another one. They would never put another Centurion right behind me. That that surely would not happen after... Tw you know, because it's like, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. That's very and classic, times, like... And I'm like, I'm so sad. It's very classic uh, cartoons, like... He's right behind me, isn't he? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, haha, take that, you Colossuses. You tried to ambush me twice and you didn't die. And there's just a third one co comedically timed behind me. Only three times, I think I need to find a better game. <laughs> Alright, peek. Oh, he's peeking already. Son of a bitch. There we go. There we go. There we go. Hey, Possumite. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Did it. These off are great. Through the power of friendship. To aid you. Free the others and you will have a formidable team to face Brockus Zon. We'll take all the help we can get. I've been snacking today more than I probably should, but I uh, I do have dinner that I need to heat Ooh. up at some point, so I might take 5 Favorite sometime snack. in the near future to heat it up. Uh, I don't favorite snack. I don't know if I have a like, favorite what is snack. Go to stream snack. <laughs> um, what is my I I I don't. I'll tell you what I have right now. I uh I've got extra fuck. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I I tricked her. I made her think that she was answering a very like simple question, but in fact I was distracting her. So she died to the <laughs> Chevy, I can be your favorite <laughs> snack, Chevy. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I have two snacks that between. Neither of them are that, like, you know, just gr grab it friendly, but uh, it's carrots and ranch or uh, chips and salsa. I can't tell if I'm hitting the gun. Yeah, it's, you no really worry, can't tell can. until the gun breaks, and then you're like, okay, finally. Okay, it's gone. Um, I like uh, extra toasty Cheez-Its a lot. Yes. Now that, like, when I saw that on the shelf, you know, there is someone who will walk by that and be like, what does that mean? And then there is, like, a Cheez-Its lover who will know exactly what that means. <laughs> the ones who, like, for years have been savoring the toasty Cheez-Its whenever they found them. <laughs> and then you're like, wait. Oops, all toasty Cheez-Its. All toasty Cheez-Its. Oops, all toast? Well done. What the f- Ha, I stole it! Um. Great job. <laughs> hey, <laughs> really, Ben. Uh, I also- <laughs> Melly is flaming Hot Cheetos. She's just constantly scarfing flaming Hot Cheetos. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I also have a lot of like- Covered in flaming Hot Cheetos. No, don't you dare. The edges of her mom- No! Moving it around. Just no! 
Cheeto imprint everywhere. I hate everyone. I uh, I also keep like some simple chocolate. Like I'll get I'll keep those like um, uh, what are they? I can't be trusted around chocolate or any sort of candy. I have a huge sweet tooth. It's a- I like the simple like Hershey's nuggets a lot. Um, and then you know like who doesn't love like some uh, some like like Monterey Jack sticks or sharp cheddar sticks or mm-hmm. I occasionally go down to the Japanese grocery store and I'll pick up seaweed salad. Miss Fortune, you don't have to say Cheetos icky. We we assume that every food we mention is icky. Is icky. <laughs> out. <laughs> Called out. By default. That fucking legionary just like pre-aimed me. I don't know that this game does that, but there's nothing like playing those games where like you can tell that the that the regardless of line of sight that the uh the enemy is a what am I trying to say? Reacting to where your cursor is. Yeah, it's always line of sighting you. Yeah. Oh, oh, you mean when you uh, when you go over them, even if they can't see you? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and they're still like dodging and ducking your cursor like while you're stealthed. Uh, I don't know if this game does it. But I play. I played a handful of games where it's just painfully obvious that the AI is just dodging your cursor. Yeah, or like when I use my super and the fucking Minotaur just like blinks away, and I'm like, oh, this is amazing. I love when they do this. Oh, when you get the tempo wrong and like your third grenade in a row just whiffs and they teleport. (laughs) It's worse when it happens multiple times and you're like, wow, if I waited even like a millisecond sooner, this wouldn't have been a thing. Yeah, I like cheese. It's a lot. I I'm generally uh, not to sound like one of those self help gurus, but I'm generally someone who tries to keep a minimal amount of snack food in the house because if it's in the house, I will eat it. So the easiest way to like keep myself from over snacking and therefore like feeling better about myself is just to not even have it in the house. See, I have this big problem where I have basically ignored my hungry. Uh, reflex. Like, I, 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 it is very hard for me to recognize when I'm hungry. So, the problem with me is that I don't snack enough. Like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't watch my stomach throughout the day. I will eat in like large bursts. Your doctor's like, you're not snacking enough. Yeah, th- 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 literally. We need to get you grazing. Ooh, it's like, you're not getting enough tasty cakes in your diet. <laughs> you need specifically to eat more tasty cakes. I need more ding dongs. The tastier and the cakier, the better. <laughs> I uh, I could do a snack. Li- I go through. Stuffins makes fun of my eating habits because like, I get really self conscious about oh, like yeah, my weight and my body, uh, and so I Animal. tend to. I go through phases where I I will I will try to like I try to limit all snacking. I'll try to have like a breakfast and then like do like a midday fast and then have a dinner. Um I don't know. I I try really hard to like make sure that I'm having like a balanced diet and getting lots of veggies. And one of the things that um stuff like freshly and for the fact that they're like a little pricier, the fact that like stuff like Freshly and Factor have done for me is they sort of like pre-figure out the portion control. I do take multivitamins. Um, they sort of pre-figure out the portion control so that like if I order, sometimes you'll get like more than one meal but less than two meals and I end up having like all of it. <laughs> and uh, And having like all that stuff pre-portioned doesn't let me do that. One thing that I was really scared of, I, I stopped taking multivitamins for a while because uh, I had one of those people who like warned me about potassium when I first started HRT. Oh yeah. And that, that was that was one of those things that was like, oh shoot, well like every multivitamin has potassium in it. I'm terrified, but it turns out not to be a huge deal. 
Did I know that about you? I don't think that I knew that you uh, that you went on HRT. Yeah. Um, yeah, potassium, well, specifically with a spiralectone on. <laughs> specifically with a spiralectone, uh, yes. The, the, the watch, watch how many bananas you eat. Yes. <laughs> they said if you eat, like, one a day, like what most people do, you're probably fine. But if you're one of those weirdos who eats, like, three or four or five, then yeah yeah maybe are, yeah are yeah, people maybe. eating a banana every day <laughs> do. so people will order like a bunch of seven and then eat one every day you're partnered with with factor do you have like a chefy bun code because i totally would have used your code <laughs> <laughs> yeah i try i'm trying factor because i'm trying their uh their keto because they just make it lazy easy um, I'm not on full keto, which I really probably means that I won't actually go into ketosis, but I just figured it would be an interesting thing to try to see if like the diet was enjoyable to me before I take it any more seriously than that. See, the, so uh, another thing that you probably didn't know about me is that I'm a literal barista. Like I, I, I know, I, I know my, my character is a barista, but I'm an actual barista and something I get a lot is heavy cream lattes. And if you did that- Breve. Heavy cream- Or no, wait. Very heavy cream, not Breve. Oh no. <gasps> oh no. So, so the thing about heavy cream, it is very fattening. Like it, it is all fat. And the amount of calories per tablespoon is 50. There's 50 calories per tablespoon. It's basically so, liquid calories. Liquid calories. So I'll see people ordering like 16 ounce lattes made of heavy cream. Oh you no. That you would probably do about two shots of espresso, which is about two ounces. Uh, and then like another 10 ounces of heavy cream. 14 ounces. And if the, 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 yeah. the, the tablespoon is half an ounce. So They're like, I just need my coffee they, in the morning and I don't get hungry. You yeah. ate 2,000 calories in you a drink. You literally had 14, or yeah, wait, I'm trying to do the conversion. The Beastie head. Boys lyric is, I like my sugar with coffee and cream. This person's lyric is, I like my cream with cream and cream. <laughs> that guy was walking on air. I, um. That legionary was walking on air. I, uh, I put half and half in my coffee, but obviously, like, spritzing some half and half into coffee is different than, like, the drink being predominantly cream. Yeah, even a Breve latte, I, I, I'll let it slide. No, that's, that's... <laughs> wow. That's incredible. We'll be out here. Okay, run, run, run. Let's run. I love how they're already shooting before the alarms go off. They're like, oh, by the way. That's incredible. But yeah, that's a problem that I've run into a lot with uh, with that shit is like, it's, I struggle to, if I, I've had meals in the past where like, you can get a solid meal. Like you can, you can, there are certain things you can order where you can get like a solid two meals out of it. But when you get not quite enough for two meals and because I end up staying up late, when I order sometimes, it's so easy for me to just keep picking for the rest of the night. So even though I was full after like, you know, half of it, I end up just still going. And then I finish it before I go to bed. And I totally didn't need that. It's just because it was there. So I like cooking pasta a lot. And I have this problem when I make pasta of... Drinking nothing but heavy cream. Oh, of course. That is exactly <laughs> While you, anytime I'm cooking pasta, I just can't stop guzzling the cream. is guzzling. made out of heavy cream. <laughs> sorry, I continue. Can't stop guzzling all that heavy cream, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry, you were saying that. Anyways. Um, <laughs> can't stop guzzling cream. Definitely deserves a phrasing. The, the pasta. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Not not Melly being like sorry for interrupting your sentence, only to like make me like have to stop again after hearing that. Woof. Anyways, okay. Uh, what was you I make saying? Pasta. Pasta. I, okay, pasta. <laughs> you were talking pasta. about guzzling cream. God damn it! Shut up. <laughs> I can't focus. 
Heavy cream out of my mind. Okay, purge the thoughts. Purge the thoughts. Okay, um, pasta, right? It comes in funny little containers, and sometimes the containers are just big enough for one and a half servings. And the problem is I can't I can't leave leftovers for half a serving, otherwise I'm gonna sit there and be like, well dang. That was the most unfulfilling like lunchtime I've ever had the next day. So I will straight up like eat one and a half servings and I'll feel awful doing so afterwards. Also, I totally hit a headshot midair. That was sick. I did actually get 50% off my first box. Maybe I got the same thing anyway, but I could have supported you in the process. That's cool that the that they did they reach out to you to Are you partnered with more than that? Do you do like supplement shit as well or is it just uh is it just factor? I didn't realize that. I like them so far. I'm 2 weeks in and so far I'm uh I'm with it. No, stream elements, my bad. Yo, I should start a supplement line and we could call it Stream Cream. How about we don't do that? Put <laughs> that be a <laughs> hand moisturizer kind of a situation? <laughs> Gamer Cream does not have the same rhyming element, but it does sound way worse. This has the same energy as like, all of Mori's chat wanting to create a line of uh, uh, rogue energy called uh, Milf Milk. Yeah, I've I've heard about the Milf Milk. Pressure yeah. is up on your right, Astra. On your left. Oh, oh, um, uh, that thing just did a mad donut in the parking lot on me. It sure did. I, I was like, what do you mean on my right? And I looked over and it was on my left now. Die. Again. Die. Nice. Ah, it's I was offered through that stream elements. Oh, yeah. that's interesting. You and I should talk about that at some point, Sheffy, because I get those offers all the time and I just ignore them because... I hate the fact that they're like, you only get anything if people sign up. And I don't know how, like, like it's easier to do, it's easier to have like a, like a code, but like something like, especially with the games where it's like, you have to play the game. They want you to have talking points about the game and we're going to give you absolutely nothing unless people sign up for it. Seems like a really bad deal. Uh, I would suggest running. Oh, this works too, I guess. Yeah, Raid Shadow Legends is exactly what I was talking about. Okay. <laughs> Melly. I have so many branding ideas for my, uh... Oh god, there's more turrets. Dead again. Got him. There's like nowhere I can run. Okay. Have a good night, misfortune. Free ascendant charge. Night, night, night. And the Lord of Wolves ca catalyst. I'll take it. Oh, nice. Never mind. You would do well to leave your hide site to better understand our enemies. I don't know uh, how many times I can see this one like Hydra hide side joke until How much did we get? Too many. Uh we got like two thirds that time. Yeah. Zuffin says speaking of capitalism. Plug your stream. I do. I have a signing coming up for people that are interested. Um first off. If you've never been here before and you uh, aren't regretting it, I have the best self promo. Um, mm -hmm. And how. Uh, feel free to give me a follow. Uh, feel free to join the Discord too. Uh, let me know if you want me to just load back in. Do we need to hit the tower for a sec or anything? Uh, yeah. I let me can check Postmaster, but I think I'm good. Um, I think we're fine. Okay. Uh, I think I'm actually in a good place myself too. Um, but I have a signing coming up. It is a live, it's going to be an on-camera signing. 
uh, immersion content warning. I don't know. Um, but uh, if you have a character that I voice that you like and you want to get a print of that character, if I have it available, I will sign it live. I can do a personalized message or one of your favorite quotes on a stream, on camera, and it will get sent out to you safe and sound. And if you're interested in taking a look, you can check that out. And uh, right now it's scheduled for April 8th uh, at 2 p.m. Pacific. Um, it's going to be my second signing. So uh, if you're getting something or not, like come hang out regardless. Just come chill. Um, but if you if you don't want something signed, do it. Do it to it. <laughs> I love when the rag dog forgets what gravity is. That's a new one. It's me, the voice actor conventions have been keeping from you. <gasps> Taking matters into my own hands via live streaming and signings. <laughs> my birthday is the 13th. You miscalculated? Thank you, Zephens. Do you have further questions? April 13th? April 13th, that's Ooh. right. Sometimes it is on a Friday. Having a 13th birthday sounds is super fucking cool. Oh yeah. When when it's the 13th, we 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 hold hands and do devil worship. It's great. I used to have a super superstitious uh family that straight up would be like, "Let's celebrate the 14th." <laughs> that is super weird. I was like, "Okay, well, more for me. <laughs> more more devil worship for me. Please don't mind the fact that I've already died. You're wasting our reses. <laughs> you got baited. Probably should have got invisible for that. <laughs> Thought I could get away with it. There's two snipers up. My mom's birthday is on a 13th as well, so she she's had Friday the 13th birthdays. I love the rationale, just like, maybe we should just go back in retroactively and remove the 13th from all the months as if we were a superstitious hotel elevator or something and just be like, we decided 13 is, is too spooky. So we just don't use it anymore. Spooky is exactly the appropriate word to use for it. Is that still a thing? Like hotels won't have a 13th floor? Yeah. Yep. It's it's bizarre. Though I don't think I can call this an upgrade in terms of taste, but perhaps the cannons could be of use. How's the ammo uh, generation treating y'all in these runs? Oh, it's man. been awesome. I have not needed nor wanted. I will say, uh, I'm just leapfrogging topics. I will say I have, uh, I have been thoroughly enjoying Factor so far, so I'm excited to see if, uh, if I stick with it. The one downside is that, like, and I guess I could just drop my meal plan uh, down to fewer meals. I do have, like, specific order outs that I really like that I now miss. <laughs> um, everything I said about portions notwithstanding. We had already dealt with Zan, or at least I thought we had. But he's returned. Ba -ba 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 -ba. It is not unlikely this new Zan is a I think about the on-camera thing when you're using like a PNG or a VTuber a lot now. Um, I kind of don't take my current model too seriously since it's someone else's IP. Um, but once I have my proper model, that's going to be something that I feel like I think about a lot. Is like once I've been VTubing for enough time as my own model and identity. Do I now have to like content warning my signings? For people that don't want that and don't need it in their life because they like the, they like the immersion. That you are just catalysts, Apex Legends. 
Wow. Well, I won't be. Uh, I won't be after proper debut. After proper debut. Yeah, that's why I said like I don't. I don't really take the PNG model too seriously since it's like not really me. It's it's an Apex character. Pressure is up. The Thresher killed me anyways. Dang. I even had the rift up and everything. Yeah, there are a handful of us that it's easy enough to find our uh, our name and photos. I don't think I'm doing that though. I'm probably taking the Amelie route of just keeping everything under one oh existing brand. I was just in the middle of everything, huh? There's a lot. There's a lot happening here. I think I'm just gonna rotate over onto the side of the Yeah, facility. I have a respawn in three. We're good. The Thresher is still blasting away. Just Almost white brick the Thresher down. Yep. There we go. Wow, they are just straight up Reinharding over here. Like, this is... The fucking Colossus behind the Centurion shield with the gun sticking out from the side shooting. <laughs> that was impressive teamwork on the part of the enemy team. Didn't expect that from AIs. Was not familiar with their game. I don't use my super enough in here. I end up sitting on it way too long. How long will the shipping take after you sign the goods? Uh, I've heard that that depends. Um, they usually get it out really quickly. I was hearing messages from people that from my last signing that got it within the week. But then some other people got it like a month later. And I'm not entirely sure what went into that. Because um, you take it back over to the distributor after you're done. Yeah, so if we do the signing on Saturday, uh, they're actually down the road for me. So I just drive over on Monday. And then they'll usually get it out like on Tuesday. Um, I did have that moment, though, because, like, there were a number of people that by the end of the week they had it and I was getting tweeted with photos. But then, like, you know, four weeks later, someone added me and they're like, I finally got my thing. And I'm like, wait, they're still they're still arriving. Was that going to another country or was there like something specific about where they lived? Like, how is it? How is this still happening? Usually it's pretty fast, though. Yeah, At least my understanding this is. is for people that didn't aren't aware that this is these are very high quality prints that are coming from a uh distribute it's not like Melly's running down to the Kinkos and no knocking out some art prints. Yeah. So there's a little bit of turnaround time. I have a uh, I did find out that Streamly so I have my own uh printer that I use. Um, Streamly has their own too, so a lot of the time they'll do everything, but I just found out that Streamly mostly does 8x10s and 11x17s. So I have a couple of prints that are 8 half by 11 so those are the ones that I have to actually get done myself beforehand and have them ready. I want some second-rate Melly's, gar Melly's Garage prints. You know what? My first signing, I f what did I fuck up? I, I fucked up something on my first signing. I shook one of my paint markers. I use silver and gold markers mostly. I shook one of my paint markers while it was open and splattered gold paint everywhere. And including on my fucking recording booth and I had to wash that off. It was like permanent markers. So I had to like scrub it down and then like touch it up. Um, and, I'm, and so I ended up with one of my prints Thankfully, it was only one. I had one print that was just splattered with gold ink. And I was like, hey, if anyone wants the gold splattered, I haven't learned the platform yet. I can't offer this at like a discount or something. But like if anyone wants the gold splattered print, you're welcome to have it. And uh, someone took it. <laughs> I'm just like, just let me know. The, the act of something being more special than something else is enough, even if it means the like artist garbage. proof. Yeah. You get the shiny version. Does anyone have unstop? Yeah, here. I'll grab it. Yeah, alcohol works pretty well. The alcohol didn't work super well on my Nessie. My beautiful Nessie now has a little gold mark on it. 
Uh, and I had to be really careful with the booth because the booths are painted, so I didn't want to strip the paint off the booth. I may be... Oh, yeah, I have one of the... Go ahead. I was saying I may be pretty crap at Destiny, but my nades... Ooh. You land those trajectories. Yeah. Like, watch that. That guy, dead. Oh, well, <laughs> Did you throw it at rail? Uh, it may have, like, ricocheted. That guy dead. Guardian down. That guy, I'm, oh. I'm Ooh. Uh, yeah, I have one of the blue, I have one of the light blue Nessies from Japan, and it now has a gold mark on it from splattered paint. I saw Justine now has like this gold Caesar Nessie that she got from somewhere. I swear, she's like she's like the 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 master and commander of all rare Nessies. She's like the 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 fun fruit roll-ups of Nessies. This is like almost complete. I'd say this is very slightly on topic, but um, a I Nessie work, connoisseur. Right? I, 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 I work at a Target, so like pretty, pretty like. Oh, you're a Target. Are you like a Target Star Target Starbucks barista? Yes. All right. So I'm a, I'm I'm pretty pretty like motley crew, right? Anyways, of that crew. Somebody came to work with some Apex Legends charms on their bag. And uh, it, it, it wasn't the fact that they play Apex, because I know of a couple people who play Apex at my place. But it was because the charm was made by my VTuber mom. And I was freaking out because we're like friends' friends. And the fact that, like, Someone has entered my spear, like spear, like unknowingly, was crazy to me. The charms were made, okay, by your VTuber, VTuber mom. mom. Meaning there's like some separation there, but not much. Not much. Oh, let me do this. There's a one degree of separation there. This is an embarrassing thing to say, but I'm. I need to open my preview real quick to remind myself of your model because we haven't talked oh. that much. Ah, uh, cutie. Yeah. I um. My 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 uh my VTuber mom did the rigging though. She just also does art. Oh, they have a tormentor, do they? But um. Actually, she does. She does it all. She three D models. She uh, rigs. She does two D art. She's kind of insane. Uh, for for everybody who's wondering, Big Ham is my Big Ham. Big Ham. Big gaming hamster. Uh, the counterpart of Shion, who is the littlest ham. Exactly. There's one big ol' hamster. Nice super. It's really cute because she'll take like trips or whatever, and she'll take like photos of her like in New York or something like that, and then she'll like erase her from the image and like retroactively draw in Big Ham, like the, the, the VTuber model in the pictures. It's so cute. I've seen a lot of YouTubers do, yeah, where they'll, they'll, or they'll take, like, they'll take a photo. I think that's really cool, where they'll take a photo of something on site, yeah, and then put their model in there posing. That's super cool. I think that's really neat. It's really rude that More dogs. Tormentor did the dog God! Thing. I don't like the dogs! Bonus dogs! Get it? That was a TF2 reference. It's been a while. Ah, they're back. Die. Oh, I 
That was an impressive shot, Zion. <laughs> My Nessie doesn't have a name, Purple. I have a I have the purple Nessie and I have the blue Nessie. I don't actually have a classic Nessie. No vanilla Nessie. No vanilla Nessie. <sighs> My VTube parent. I was looking at a couple of different artists. Uh, one did everything. The, the artist I'm going with doesn't, which means I am going to have to hit up some rigging people. And it's going to be the same journey all over again of like begging rigging senpais to notice me. <laughs> I sent you a couple people who rig. I know that. Oh. I was really lucky when I first started because uh the 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 person who I commissioned for my model was actually pretty new at uh like creating models okay I, I was like a i was like a, a what are they you're like it? one of their prototypes Get yeah yeah I'm like can and... you take this unstop behind you or hamster guinea hamster anyways um <laughs> yeah <laughs> well guinea pig's a type of it's, it's a relative of a hamster right Anyways, uh, so I was scared because uh, I, w I was afraid that, oh, the rigor and the, and the modeler work a gig or something like that, where like, they're just gonna have such like blatantly different art styles that it wasn't gonna work out. But um, God, like the, the, my, my actual like model creator picked everything up so fast. I was so impressed. So at first you were afraid. I was at first I was afraid, but I was just lucky. <laughs> you were petrified. <laughs> I was thinking I could never live without you by my side. So wait, when you say your your model creator, are you talking about the artist or the rigging person? The artist. Okay. I tried not to use artist. I use modeler because the, they were both artists. So it's like. <laughs> or designer. Yeah, I guess. I don't. I, uh, uh, I know some people will also have. Um, yeah, they'll have a separate sure. person who designs the model from the person that ultimately makes the model. Yeah. Uh, Jelly Donut is one of those. Jelly Donut, I think, has a separate uh, model mama than like original character designer. It's really funny because Astra basically came as a hodgepodge. Astra originally was like a, a self-insert character, like a very, a very just like me character until uh, I got like a million pieces of art commissioned and Astra just slowly evolved over time into who they are. But yeah, so again, I'm one of the lucky ones where like the, 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 the design kind of created itself. I didn't need like someone with much better design sense figuring it out. Although, I think if I like took a draft two at Astra, I would change up a lot of things. But it, it, it's original enough that like people look at it and they're like, oh, that's not like every other VTuber that exists ever. Gosh, I hope I'm not, I don't end up like every other VTuber that exists ever. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm trying to create a, a model design that I think is gonna be very cool. I am, however, intentionally creating a story that is going to be derivative as fuck. I try not to like- Because that's my sense of humor. I'd rather wink at the camera, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. I try not to scare people with like, oh, make sure your model's original or whatever. But it, I, I, I like to think that no matter what happens, it's always gonna be a genuine fear. Like, you're always gonna have like, <laughs> The doubts in your mind, <gasps> like, ooh, am I original or am I just copying somebody else doing something? I've definitely had moments as, as I've been like thinking about and concepting stuff where like, 
I, f- I absolutely found a VTuber or two where I was like, oh, no. And then I start like pouring through a lot of their stuff to see like how much overlap there is. And then, you know, breathing a sigh of relief or still being slightly tense if there's like a little too much overlap. And then eventually you have to realize that like you are still like in their entirety, they're still complete, you know, they're still different creations. Me exactly when like there's four, five, six VTubers that I follow on Twitter that have cafes. And I was like, oh, mm. one one of them's actually a barista and is straight up like 15 times my following. And I was like, okay, I just, I, I, I literally just lost this field. But no, I, I bring enough, I feel like I bring enough other things to the table that it works out enough. Oh, I got drop potted. Forgot about that one. Yeah, plus you're going to be in a branding league of your own once you release the gamer cream. Oh my god. (laughs) What am I holding? It's not your body. Why am I holding this? The tangle. The fucking thrasher came out of nowhere. It's not where I expected that tangle to go, but sure. Live. Um, no, I am not. Uh, I'm not going to be catalyst once I debut. Sad to say, or happy to say. That was rude. Maybe you Got could, uh, in the far distant future, you could get like uh, model cosplays for all the other for like characters that you played. Oh, that's kind of fun. Oh, that would be really cute, actually. At least, uh, at least, fan art. I've liked, like, I've seen a, a couple of, I always love cross costume type stuff. Like, I always wanted Overwatch to do a Halloween event where, like, they're cosplaying each other. Uh, and I, I saw, at <laughs> some point recently, uh, a, one what of the... Who did I die to? The platform explodes whenever he finishes uh, uh, standing on it. I don't think I've ever noticed that happening. Huh. That's what I died to earlier on the other side. The, uh... One of the uh, one of the companies recently did the, one of those things for Halloween, where like their Halloween costumes were each other, and I thought that was super fucking adorable. <gasps> nope, nope, no, nope, nope, nope. I'm just gonna run over here now. Must be nice having people that go invisible. <clears throat> Would recommend. Would recommend. I don't know what killed me. I think it's still it does fire, doesn't it? This whole grading floor is a pain in the ass. You know what? Oh, where is he? Pretty good this time. He is chilling right here where my grenade is spouting. Soon to be dead. Nice. There we go. 20 minutes is not terrible, right? Seems all right to me. This exchange is going to get so old. Thanks, Hydra <laughs> Hydras have but one head, Jebrum. Uh, he's like, yes, mother. Ooh, oh. Rose says, I'm here wearing my model and Laura will be too derivative. <laughs> the biggest thing I have struggled with that has been the bane of my ever living fucking existence has been uh, thinking about names. Mm. Um... I do think I ultimately want to go by Mel, but in creating like a complete identity, uh, I've been playing with like different potential last names and titles and stuff like that. And I may end up just giving up because it has been a fucking nightmare. A- a- Astro was a difficult creation. I don't, it, it was one of those things that like, if I had to like rename myself, I'm not sure I could have come up with like a, a more, uh, like a better name, you know? Are you. Like, are you just Astro, or are you any? What is what is your full name? Um, Astra Aurelius. Astra Aurelius. A U R. E L. I L. I L. I U S. 
Ooh. Yeah. Is my old username, actually. But Aurelius works as a lesson, so I just went with it. Stealing your credit card number. Oh, no. Please. <laughs> I, I need that. Like, haha, joke's on you. I have negative credit card or credit score. Enjoy. I had a great time back in the day when college was hitting me really hard. Mm. Uh, where I went into a Macy's and I was looking at coats and I get to the end and they're like, hey, do you want to sign up for the Macy's card? And I'm like, I don't think I probably can. Shit's bad right now. And they're like, bruh. It's a Macy's card. And I'm like, okay, let's sign up for the Macy's card. And sure enough, in five minutes, the guy was like, oh, um, th that's, uh, that's weird. Um, it's, uh, some, it's not, um, it seems like I, uh, there's a problem. Seems like I thought I knew your it's, business better uh, than you. It looks like it's not going through. Poor, poor Macy's employee probably was like, ooh, finally, I can get a credit card so my boss would stop freaking out on me, only to realize that, yeah, this, this ain't the one, chief. And you know what's the weirdest part? I'm going to, I don't want to, I'm going to, I'm not, in an attempt to not overshare, um, uh, my college situation has been like a family-wide effort. Because some colleges be fucking expensive. And weirdly, the one that hit me the hardest, that like came after me the most aggressively, like fucking rabid dogs within like a month of me graduating and started like sending bombs to the credit company until they nuked my credit into the, the ground and salted the earth was the smallest, most in like infinitesimally pathetic little loan that we took out that was only like two or three thousand bucks. I don't even know why we needed a loan that was like compared to like full college tuition, why we had this like little tack on like side loan. It was the smallest fucking thing comparative to everything else. And that was the one that turned into a freaking werewolf like a month after a month or two after I graduated. Dang. <clears throat> So it was fortunately, it was really easily resolved when I found out. I'm like, wait, that, those motherfuckers, that's the one that's destroying my life right now? I'm like, okay, <laughs> I, I can actually, a lot of this I can't solve yet and won't for a long time. But this one I can actually probably solve like right now. But this is, I'm also angry about it. <laughs> um, as far as the rest of my loans go, I will probably be in debt for the rest of my life. Ha <laughs> ha! It's great. Hey, let's hope not, you know? Let's hope not. Let's hope not. You never know what the future holds. There, there goes my super. Don't know why I did that. <clears throat> I shouldn't say never. Uh, I can just, you know, I can pray. <laughs> The lines have blurred now, honestly, because, like, I did not have a great time at my university. I was, like, neck deep in dysphoria at the same time, so I struggled to study, I struggled to focus, I struggled to get shit done. And, uh, so I look back and I'm like, I probably didn't even need that, probably shouldn't have ever done it. Like, I also struggled with having uh, an acting training at the same time as a liberal arts education. Like... It's always really, I'm, I'm getting in the weeds now a little bit, but like, it was always challenging to, like, I would not be memorized for a scene study class because I had been like reading 200 pages about the Constitution the night before, and that just felt like a weird conflict of like career interest. Um, and so if I, if I could do it again, I probably would have split it and done like a two-year solid liberal arts education and then like done like a two-year conservatory. So I could just be like, like nose to the grindstone acting training. Um, but I say it's gotten kind of blurry because now I think out of spite, 
honestly, they're probably the only ones that win in the end. But out of spite, I uh, I now drop their name semi-regularly because I'm like, I didn't have a good time there. I don't know if I got a lot out of that. But at the very least, I can name drop it in the event that it ever helps me. <laughs> like, if I get anything out of it from that, I'll take it. Constitution, that is for health. Yes, <laughs> that is for health score. <laughs> I'm reading about like precedent setting legal cases when I'm supposed to be like memorizing, you know, my lines for Taming of the Shrew. Or whatever. What the fuck did we do? No, Shadowy Waters by WB Yates, I think was one of the, was the, that was one of the plays I did. Wait, you, Millie, what's, what's going on over here? Uh, just hanging. I'm just chilling behind the boxes. <laughs> Shouldn't have what? Uh, gone, no, shouldn't have gone to a... Uh, I shouldn't have split my focus between liberal arts and uh, conservatory acting training at the same time. I should have done them separately. I went to a school where you were doing everything at the same time. So I was. I had like half my week was spent on like rigorous acting training and the other half of the week was spent in like a comp sci class and a US yeah, constitution well, class and yeah. yeah, all that shit. Except, you know, they were all assigning homework, so... Frequently, it would be like, I have to be memorized for scene study class, but I also have to read about, like, I'm making shit up now, but, like, you know, the, the mitochondria or shit. The scam I've ever seen modern education go through. Because the, the fact of the matter is, most of the times that you go through school, the amount of things that you need to learn for this quote-unquote well-rounded information are such incredibly niche things that you will never need to know in your everyday life is just to pad the statistics. <laughs> well, I think it. I think it's a benefit to you as an individual, and that is a real luxury item. It's not part of the... I don't think it should be sold as having a well-rounded education yeah. is going to be good for your career. Well, yeah, no, if you enjoy learning the types of things that you learn, then yeah, but if you're having to learn it because you have to to get your degree because the college wanted it to be a well-rounded education, that's kind of shitty, is how I always saw education. I like the idea of giving us a sampler and then letting us go further if we'd like. And like, yeah, but that's, that's kind of what middle school, high school was for, right? And so a change happened at some point where initially I feel like we all go to high school and, you know, middle school, high school, we try everything. And then it's like, well, what do you want to go to college for? Because that's going to be unless you're going general studies or, or gen ed or whatever, you know, that's often going to be the place where you're like, now I'm doing the thing I want to do. But now that's like apparently graduate school and a lot of college is still just a little bit of everything because how much money can we get out of you? I don't know. Maybe that's a really jaded look, but that's how it feels. No, no, no. You're not far off. Um. Hey, Huntress VT. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, as someone who studied acting, did I like Shakespeare? I love Shakespeare. And somewhere out there exists a clip of me walking you through the prologue of Henry V. You can find it. I know someone clipped it. If it still exists, it's, 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 I, I recommend it. <laughs> I love me some Shakespeare. <laughs> If you're ever wondering why you're having to shoot the unstoppable for longer than you should, is because I neglected to look at the title of that champion and kept shooting it with a wish ender, wondering why I wasn't it putting up a barrier. I can I, say the same thing. I've not I often remember a little bit too late when we've got like the health two thirds of the way down. I'm like, oh wait, I can I can break this. And then yeah, I'm just sitting there like, oh yeah, that's my job, wasn't it? If it's any consolation, I, I was blaming Melly for that one. Yeah. I'm okay with that. I'll take the blame. John O, welcome, welcome. You were in the middle of a thought, so it didn't seem worth it. We were going to kill it eventually. Um, as an engineering major, all I do is study. If I wanted to graduate in four years, I would have had to... I would have to have taken 18 credits per semester. 
I don't remember how many credits I did per semester, but I'm assuming you're saying that because it's a lot. It's a lot. 12 is considered a full-time student. Jeez, Louise. It's one of the reasons I like my degree. 20 month bachelor and it's focused yeah, on doing I'm, what I'm a stopping. technical yeah, college does. It, Where? Oh. Yeah, I don't, I'm not here being like, I actually, uh-oh. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> a very jittery mob. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> A, uh, I'm not here saying I would, I would, you know, disavow the liberal arts education. I actually even was pretty creative with some of them. Like I needed to do humanities classes and those are like English classes. And I found a class that was a study of, uh, uh, August Wilson's canon. Uh, so we just read all of August Wilson's plays. So it was essentially a theater studies course, but it counted as humanities. The sciences I did comp sci because I found it interesting. And then I did government shit cause I found it vaguely interesting, but yeah, looking back, I would just do them separately. I didn't mind it. I just, I just didn't. I wish I hadn't had to have done them at the same time. I had both the pleasure and curse of having one of the most amazing comp sci teachers of all time. Um, because he really did for a very long time just still like, ah, uh, yes, <laughs> our computer science is what I wanted to do, and then I actually got into like computer science and college and like got a little taste of it in like the real world and I was like this is absolutely not what I want to do <laughs> man I thought comps I meant I could get a job where I get to like skateboard into work in a trench coat and a baseball cap turned backwards and I get to hack other hackers with like digital bunny rabbits what gives man yeah, I played a <laughs> and an Angelina Jolie would be there that's a great line <laughs> I played a bunch of Destiny. Five every single time. I've been working in Comsci for 15 years, and I haven't managed to splice anything yet. <laughs> what gives, man? <laughs> I loved that. If, if anyone knows, doesn't know what we're talking about, this is the Hackers movie. Um, if anyone, uh, I loved the way they did. I don't think I ever got to see hackers like for myself but i got to see like the movie review of it what was his name wait was that pendulet not the uh not the big boss guy but the uh comic relief uh, uh, the, the hacker guy. yeah what was his name I loved hacking in that movie because it was very much, it was so gamified, it was so cheesy, where they'd be like, oh, let me hit them with the bunny rabbits. Well, your bunny rabbits are no match for my dogs. It was like, it's like a fucking Yu-Gi-Oh game. I swear to God. I play dark magician in attack mode. <laughs> Getting a second degree in computer science with a focus on simulations. Uh, Hal was his name. Oh, that's not who I was thinking of. Who's the main cocky enemy hacker? Isn't it like... I don't know, some like phantom menace shit. The plague. The plague, yes. Plague. It's the plague. Yeah, that sounds like it all right. The plague. He's so good at his job. He gets to oh. skateboard. <laughs> what? Fell off the side. The f you tormented okay, it. Okay, well. Right off of the edge. Is it down there? <laughs> can he? Oh, no, he's still down Wait, can we just keep him? The long way. He can't jump back up in the engine. Can we pull him back the other way? Oh, no, he's found the us. The dogs found me. Sheffy, have a wonderful night. Thanks for hanging out tonight. And thank you so much for the help, uh, being being all mod-like and powerful. Wow. One day I wish to be as powerful. I'll talk to you soon. Ow. I'm alive at the moment. 
Oops. Oh. What's with the continuously respawning enemies can go straight to hell. What the? No, hell. I don't like that. Not the jump scare scions. Anything but the jump scare Wait, where? Is anyone else up? Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Oh, I can't get him to look me. at me. All right, that's finishable. Nope, that's finishable. Yes. The plague. It's two a.m. That means Star Wars time. I shall be back in some time. I, does Star Wars time mean you're going to bed, or this is just like the designated hour for Star Wars? <laughs> As it's like a, like the Krabby Patty time for Patrick. Oh boy, 3 a.m. Krabby Patty. <laughs> uh, boy, it's midnight. I should probably heat up that dinner. <laughs> it is 2 a.m. in the morning. I do not have to, like, I am quite literally Patrick right now. This has been great. Thanks for farming stuff with me tonight. Yeah, thanks for the very impromptu collab. This is just how it is with me, by the way. You will be... <laughs> I have this tendency... Do not make a collab channel, because I will randomly join in the middle of your stream, and I will completely ruin, like, the official vibe of, like, ah, oh, yes, let's, let's plan out a collab. I will just join not realizing I was in a stream. So you get a lot of like the, oh, are you live right now? Well, I'm in the I'm live channel. So <laughs> what do you think? Like literally it. I am known as the invader of collabs. That's kind of an official title. How does that work? Is there like a governing body? Yeah, they you have to apply. Is there a streaming pope that ordains you for that, or how does it work exactly? Uh, there's actually a queen, and, and they knight you as invader of collabs. Kind of crazy. Does a queen not? I you ever wonder why a queen doesn't get to queen people? Or wait, not what's the reverse? Bishop, wait, knight, king. Wait, I had a joke, but then my brain short circuited. What was I going to say? <laughs> no, hold on, I had a point. King to knight is queen to. Never mind. I had something went through my head. The wrong words came out of my mouth. I'm gonna go home now. I'm gonna wait. Melly Passman. <laughs> Why is it called checkers when those <laughs> don't put each other in check? It makes no sense. Why do they call it oven when you cold, hot, hot, eat the... Yeah. <laughs> eat the food? <laughs> Wait, how does that go when you... Yeah, yeah. When, when cold, you hot. In the cold food, hot, hot out, eat, eat, eat the food. <laughs> I've, I've heard that. It's just like, <laughs> you can see the... <laughs> yeah. Real time. It's like a child trying to explain a joke, and they just like they, they they just keep trying even though they really shouldn't be. <laughs> like anybody else would have given up, but they, right. they just keep on going. They keep on trucking. It's why do they call it oven when you of when you of in the cold food of out hot eat the cold. <laughs> <laughs> I love the use of of as a verb. When, when, when you, when have you, you ever uh, had a dream? <laughs> have you ever had a dream when, when you, uh, when, when you, when, when, when you, have you ever had, had you, <laughs> I 
almost there. He's almost got it. I promise the payoff is gonna be huge, and it's like a little kid, so like it, it's just doesn't. It's not worth it. There's no like setup. <laughs> oh God. You just quite literally spent like cool minutes of your time waiting for the punchline that never came. So, uh, didn't work. <laughs> so how about them cowboys? Oh my god! They just did the thing where the like model elongates because it's like still stuck to one area. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, where yeah, the fabric been... gets hung up on something and just. Yeah, I've been getting some really strange model bugs. And I don't think this has been happening to everyone because I feel like everyone would have noticed it because I think ragdolls are client side. Yeah, all oh, that's client side. But uh, I've had any, like ragdolls where like they'll die and then it'll just be suspended in midair. Like you could still like, m like move them around and stuff, but they like act as if they were like moving in no gravity. It's really funny. I think you know, I, I took a screenshot of one of them, so you'll be able to see it. Are you a friend? What are you? Oh. <laughs> oh. Guy's just shooting at me and shooting at me and shooting at me. And I realize he's shooting at a dog next to me. <laughs> I kind of wish that the comedic payoff was like you were going to say, are you a friend? And then I just see Melly died in chat. <laughs> that would be appropriate. I almost got beamed by this uh, this pod again just now. Oh my god, they're really coming for you there. I think one of the best changes that they made uh, was making the void grenade actually do like substantial vacuum. Well, what killed me? Oh, it was the Thresher! <clears throat> I think I'm not taking this seriously enough. Okay, we we're doing it. You know, we're getting we there. Get we're in that difficulty level where I'm not uh, quite. Okay, we don't need to talk about how I definitely just killed myself with a rocket launcher. Against. It didn't happen. <laughs> Have a rest. Of course not. No, okay. I don't think so. Weird. The, the 67 people in chat definitely did not see that happen. How oh, weird. Crazy how we all just mass hallucinated that. All right, boss is on their way. More turrets, cause fucking of course. No, no, don't do it! No, 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 no! Fuck! Why do I always jump back up there? I was like, did you remember? No, I didn't. It sounded like. And I'm mad. Penny knowers. I jumped up for but a second, and the flames were too hot. This is the part where a million turrets spawn, right? Should have been. There'll be more, yeah. The boss is still too a little too high health, I think. Hasn't gone back to mid. Oh, there they are. Go! Oh, fucking what the shit! I'm gonna see if I can nuke this before we. There I just we go. like how they just. Thank you. Go worry. Oh no! Please stop. Hydras have but one head. Why are they called Hydra? <laughs> if they hide, you would do well to leave your hide sight. Hydra, th three heads, two. <laughs> you could probably invent one. Why do they call it Hydra if you have to? <laughs> Please stop. you cut off the Hydra's tail, does it start to lose heads? Any of you ever see uh, Gamers 3? Right in the middle. <laughs> you ever see uh, Gamers 3? Hand, hands of Fate? Hands of Fate. <laughs> the uh, the I Hydra's. Think is, I think that is Astra's last one. All right. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for having me. 
Jesus Christ, it was late. Okay. <laughs> oh, I gotta stream tomorrow. Okay. Y'all have a good night. I'm going to, 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 it's, it's a glad. I, I'm very happy. I finally got to sit down on a Melly stream. Oh yeah, of course. <sighs> and it was really nice to meet you, Rail. You as well. This is this is not going to be the per the last time that I see you. It was the last time. <laughs> Gun emoji. No. <laughs> I will speak to you soon. Have a wonderful night. You too. Wow. Good night. Nice. Classic. <laughs> huh. My icon is huge. No. We need to get you a proper icon. Or at least I still don't one. remember what yours is. I think Noki said something about the veil earlier. I think we'll just go with that. It's the veil. <laughs> it represents the veil, obviously. Welcome back. And they're gone. What the hell was that? <laughs> what the fuck was that? I think it was... I'm not sure if it was a clown nose or a clown shoe. It's <laughs> that hard sounded to... like a clown horn. It was of the clown variety. <sighs> Look at you with your unspent ascendant scepter points. Who, me? Yeah. I have one point I can spend. It's uh, It was the point from Void Weapon Channeling. Before I found out that Void Weapon Channeling seems to apparently kick you out of activities. Oh, does it? Well, <laughs> there's this whole thing going around right now, uh, and many, many threads are pointing out that if you are getting regularly kicked to orbit with error code bird, it's apparently void weapon channeling. Quality. <laughs> Isn't that something? Mm hmm. Um, mom, 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 where are we at right now? We are at. A delightful almost five hours. Um, I'm probably going to go a little bit longer. What's your night look like, Rael? Because I think I might want to heat something up. I am open. Cool. Um, hey, chat. I'm going to take, uh, and if you want to hang out with them, you can, Rael. You don't have to. Uh oh <laughs> I will mute you then. <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to uh, take about five or so. Five or seven. Uh, I'm going to... Refill my water. I'm going to heat a little something up, and uh, and then we can hang a little bit while I nosh and uh, hop back into some strikes. I guess we could drop down to um, regular difficulty nightfall if need be. Yeah, whatever you want to do. Um, oh, so yeah, the, the one we were doing isn't match made, I think. Yeah. So my lovelies, I'm gonna hit the button. I will. Uh, I will see you back here in just a few minutes. Sound good? Sound good. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> you need some like sweet elevator music that you can play while you're AFK. Sure, why not? I have I don't have anything to contribute, but why not? Destiny content so riveting, I fell asleep for like 30 minutes. Hopefully because of my voice. <laughs> I'll be right back.
My food is heating up. I say many weird things. <laughs> My food is heating up. My, I say many weird things that prevent sleep. <laughs> what? I love the, the comment, the <coughs> soothing voice, but, but also. But also, you say some shit <laughs> that fucks me up. People just, People just keep, keep snapping, snapping awake. awake. <gasps> <gasps> Not again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Anaki. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm uh, I'm heating up some food. Got a little steak cut with some carrots and some mashed potat. Delicious. Delicious potat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it'll be ready soon. I still have some leftover green tea, although it's now cold green tea. And after that, I think cold. I'm switching back to my water. All right, back again in a second. Yeah, raw is probably not the move. That's probably a good way to get botulism.
Hello. Welcome back. I return. With I have some water too, wellness bot. Thank you for checking. I'm going to nosh for just a little bit before we jump into something. What I miss? What's everyone up to? What are y'all doing? What are you doing, Rail? Well, the conversation turned to potatoes, so it's probably a good time for you to do a top 20 potato varieties. I don't know if I can come up with 20. Well, you just got to Google for an article. <laughs> do dramatic readings of potato varieties. Yeah, I'm just waiting for you to find all the... In honor of uh, our melon conversation last time. Mm hmm I... Thank you, thank you. I know some people that are way more into potatoes than I am. <clears throat> God, who is it I was watching? I mean, listen, I don't have I don't get, I don't have steak that often, but when I have steak, it can be very very tasty. I eat a lot of pasta. But I was watching, I think it was like Asmund Golds that says that said that he eats like a steak and a potato for like every meal of his life. Hmm. Which seems like a lot. Although, cooked potatoes in Minecraft are a phenomenal and really straightforward source of uh, sustenance. I think probably for food safety reasons, they always cook the steak for these meal things just like a little bit. I like medium rare and they tend to do medium. So it's just a little bit more cooked than I like, but they're still good. Don't you love blue pink when you're, wait, are you in, are you playing um, Apex right now? Must be, right? If you're playing Apex and listening to my stream, I can understand that that could be a little disorienting. Oh, that's gotta be really fun. Extended sniper magazine here. <laughs> Enemies in my space. Wow, this steak is delicious. <laughs> Tartar can be a little intense. That's usually done as like an appetizer, right? They'll do that over like a salad. I've had steak tartare, I've had venison tartare. I don't really like it. The texture is weird to me. Yeah, I don't know about that. I can't say I'm a fan of uh, of tartars. The um, the revolving sushi place we used to go to. I can't eat fish, but I eat everything but fish. And they would have um, would I say it's icky? Yeah, probably. <laughs> um, they would have these steak, almost like steak, uh, nigiri. But it was all cooked, like it would all be seared. Um, so it wasn't bad, it wasn't bad. Tartar is weird though, it's mushy. Too mushy. We, yeah, yeah, it's a texture problem. We never did make it over to the Meddlesome Moth, did we? I don't think so. Remind me what that was? Uh, it's a restaurant. Hmm. They do a variety of kind of primo stuff. I'm sorry, chicken sashimi exists? How the fuck? How, who, with all the safety concerns when it comes to chicken, who's like, yo, let's see if we can do it raw though. I wish I could eat fish. I'm allergic, so I don't have a choice in the matter, but I think fish can be very pretty looking and I wish I could eat it, but I can't.
chicken sashimi. I have to Google this. This sounds like only the worst idea. This does not spark joy. What it's like to eat raw chicken sashimi in Tokyo. I can eat shellfish. Um, although apparently some imitation crab is a fish and it doesn't affect me that much. So it might be a matter of like certain proteins or something. Salmon fucks me up. Tuna does not hit me as hard. Not that I'm like trying to give you all <laughs> secret information on how to dispose of me if you ever stop liking my stream. Kind of makes sense because I feel like tuna meat is very different from all the sort of. There's sort of a big group of just, you know, white meat fish. It's all very similar. It's not the omega-3, unless I'm mistaking my acids um, or fats or whatever. What is it? Omega-3, is that an acid? Yes, it is. Because I um, I can do Brazil nuts and other sources of omega-3. I like Brazil nuts, actually. This needs a pinch more salt. One moment, please. Just a pinch. Turn. There are lots of foods that made me sick too, hence why my diet is sad. Yeah. I've heard, I, I think I said this on a stream once, I've read, I read articles a little while back about how there are ways that you can do like really careful exposure therapy to like mm. overcome allergies. And I don't think my healthcare was good enough because the one time I asked uh, someone about it, they were like, <laughs> And so I didn't end up doing it, but I would very much love, like my God, in terms of life goals, if I could overcome my fish allergy in this lifetime, that and, this is gonna feel like such a non sequitur because I don't talk about the fact that I wear glasses uh, to drive as well as to like see plays and movies, but at some point laser eye surgery are like the two big life goals I have, like laser eye surgery and somehow kick my fish allergy. Yeah, apparently the Google says a specific kind of protein car called parvalbumin. Par parvalbumin? The, yep. White muscle tissue of fish especially is high in it, much higher than red muscle tissues. So that could potentially be the culprit. Yeah, that's that's apparently the the main cause of allergic reaction to uh, fish, which is why some people are really only uh, affected by white fish. What is it, parvalbulin? Yep, P-A-R-V-A-L-B-U-M-I-N. You know what? Maybe we'll tap. Maybe maybe we can find a way. I would die to overcome my shellfish allergy. My uh, my housemate's allergic to shellfish. I love shellfish. So I'm allergic to fish. Uh, she loves fish. She's allergic to shellfish. <laughs> I love shellfish. <laughs> um, love is probably a strong word, but I very much like shellfish. I return slightly saltier than before. Yes, possumite.
You know what be cool about getting laser eye surgery though? Once you've got like rock solid vision, Miss Fortune, you can wear glasses as a fashion statement. <laughs> Not because you need them. Then you can whip them off like Clark Kent turning into Superman. And everyone will be like, but I thought she needed those. And then you'll be like, ha ha, suckers. This article says when it, uh, can I bring this up somehow? This is uh window capture. Is that your voice command for activating window capture? Yes. Window capture. Uh, boom. Sort of. Boom. 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 When it comes to eating sashimi in Tokyo, fish is by far the most, this is a random article, <laughs> not invented by me at all. Um, fish is by far its most ubiquitous offer, but it's not the only one. Restaurants also serve uh, shika shikasashi, deer, basashi, horse, and perhaps the most hotly debated of all, torisashi, chicken. Uh... The name loosely translates to <laughs> raw bird. And it's exactly what it sounds like. Thinly sliced raw chicken breast served with a fla with flavorful salt or sauce. Huh. <clears throat> Never thought I'd order raw chicken sashimi style. Uh, like most Americans, I grew up deeply terrified of salmonella uh, to the point where it became a personified monster. I know some people who are very, very nervous about even cooking chicken. Um, and I, that used to worry me. That doesn't worry me anymore. I feel like I've got the math down. I know roughly how long to cook it, what it should look and feel like, so I know that it's safe. But I do know some people who won't even touch, who won't go near cooking chicken. I also know people who will do like- Seems a bit extreme. Well done everything out of the same fear. Yeah, that's, I feel like that's a pretty common Mm. I hesitate to say deficit, but, you know, there's a lot of people that <laughs> just constantly order things well done. It's just like a better safe than sorry I thought process, I guess. I if you're going somewhere where you just, if you don't trust the place you're getting the food from for some reason, but otherwise. Mm -hmm. I'd be reading, but I'm chewing. Hang on. As a chef, I learned that undercooked chicken is a cardinal sin. I nearly failed a culinary school exam when I undercooked a chicken by three degrees Fahrenheit. But in Japan, a country with a palate for rawness, it seemed fair to give it a try. You know, that might be the most badass thing I've read all week. Yo, we're a country with a palate for rawness. There's like a reverse Gordon Ramsay. It's like, it's not raw. We tell it like it is, we eat it as it is. In Japan, cooking raw meat, fish, and eggs is just part of the food culture, which values simplicity and reveres ingredients more than preparation. Which is interesting. That's actually a common thing that comes up sometimes in shows, like in the translation. Um, I've seen and written a number of scenes where like, they make a point of mentioning the high quality of the ingredients when they cook a meal. Mm -hmm. um, so that's an interesting thing to read here because I didn't I didn't know much about that. My understanding is also that since there's so little sort of arable land available in Japan, it's very difficult to compete on production at scale. So there's a natural inclination to specialize in high quality, low volume. Oh, interesting. Is that what led to things like your Kobe's and Wagyu's? Yes, exactly. I 
I learned that the mozzarella cheese I found was icky was fake. So you tried real mozzarella and it was good. So I like real mozzarella, but it gave me stomach cramps. You know what, Miss Fortune? If you haven't had it very much in your life, yeah, trying new foods can can take a little bit of time and can be a little hard on your stomach at first. I have friends that went vegan for a while and I've had them tell me that like they've gotten to the point where if they changed their mind and wanted to start eating meat again, it would probably fuck them up for a good while. Well, and your softer cheeses are going to be higher in lactose as well. Relatively. Fresh, fresh mozzarella is like almost like a completely different cheese than like store-bought like slightly denser mozzarella is much less like string cheeses. <clears throat> my stomach is frequently mean to me. So stomach cramps, not so much, but my stomach usually starts doing somersaults after most meals. And I'm sure that there's a fix for that. I've got a doctor's appointment scheduled because it's been years since I've had good health care. Um, I'd very much like to solve it because I don't like the idea that like you just kind of get used to like life is normal when after every meal I regret it. That seems like a shit way to have to live your life. Yeah, that doesn't seem good. Which meals are good? Nope. Um... That's fun. You know, I will, uh, one of my cheat foods is I'll do tobiko, uh, which is like fish eggs uh, in a roll. Um, which I know, if you haven't had it, can sound dreadful. One of the things they'll typically do over it is they'll put like a little quail's egg over it, which is a tiny little yolk from a tiny little egg. And when you bite into it, it makes the whole thing like super creamy and yummy. But that's definitely one of the things that I'll put in my mouth. <laughs> that I've had friends go like, no, <laughs> if they're not, if they're not familiar with it, it's, it's a scary food. Toast doesn't mess you up. Toast would never betray me. Um, Tokyo in particular is famous for its food scene. The city itself seduced me as soon as I saw it from the plane. An enormous orange sun setting over a city that looked like seven separate New York skylines. Okay. I went to a dimly lit tempura bar, ate baby clams floating in a bowl of hot miso, and consumed thick tsukumen ramen. This is nothing to do with chicken. In a room silent except for the slurping. I just heard your inner New York be like, right. <laughs> sure it does. <laughs> Wait, with regard to what? When it said the seven separate New York skylines. Oh, <laughs> did I do that without even yeah. thinking about it? <laughs> seven New York skylines. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> um. This is the funniest. This is a great sentence. I consumed thick sukumen ramen in a room silent, except for the slurping. There were, uh, there was the cod sperm. Okay. Sticky natto. Natto is a, I've heard is an acquired taste. I am too chicken shit to try it. Um, and raw eggs cracked over rice. I, you heard me. Raw chicken didn't seem all that strange in context surrounded by Tokyo's many styles of restaurants. Yo, know, I can't say that dish looks great. Nope. The question of salmonella. You know what it looks like to me, which is so funny because someone is, is going to get served that and eat that. It looks like a prep, like it's like it's prepped, you know? Yeah. Like whatever's on top of that. I don't know. Is that fish on top of chicken or is that the skin? That could be the skin. Like the skin. you're ready to pop that into a hot pot or something. Yeah, I don't think I'd go for that. I have to say. I think of myself as being fairly open to different food, but I don't think so. Because salmonella lives in a chicken's intestinal tract, careful slaughter and butchery are hugely beneficial in preventing the spread of salmonella. Okay, so you know what I'm getting? It's like one of those urchin things or puffer fish where 
with the right care, you can you can prep it in a way that makes it safe. Yeah. Well, in other countries, I don't know about in Japan in particular, but in other countries, they also will, instead of pasteurization, they'll vaccinate all the chicken against salmonella. So I don't know how big of a problem that really is. But yeah, fugu doesn't really um, appeal to me either. Like, hey, it might be full of deadly neurotoxin, but it's been specially prepared to not kill you. Torisashi comes from the chicken breast or tenderloin, muscle furthest from the birds, blah, 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 blah. Something about the word intestines bothers me. <laughs> I just... <laughs> Um, I love that rationale, making it least likely to be infected. Not, um, not, not, yeah, right. Not, it's the least bad, bad idea you could make for lunch. It's obviously important to avoid eating raw chicken at home or anywhere, I want to add, or anywhere else unreputable. You scoundrel. Interesting. <laughs> Don't need the rest of that article. That's a fascinating article. There's so much good food available. I, that just doesn't need to be on the menu for me to enjoy, I feel like. There are things I'd like to try that I haven't. Um, <clears throat> I've wanted to have uni for a long time, uh, sea urchin, but looking at it kind of scares the hell out of me. If you follow Johnny Young, if you if you if you're familiar with uni, then you know what I'm talking about already. If you're not, if you follow Johnny Young, he posted a food that looked like um, a bowl of orange slime. <laughs> it's urchin and. Uh, and I've heard that it's very good, but I've been scared to try it. My dad loves urchin. I never let him, I never, I never let him let me try it. Balut, uh, what is that? Oh, I'm familiar with that. I've seen that. That also kind of scares the hell out of me, although I've seen people on video say it's delicious. But it, it looks terrifying to me. I guess speaking of eggs, though. Adventurous with food. Speaking of eggs, though. To me. I, um, I saw... I've seen a number of people doing recipes for, like, marinated eggs. Where you do, like, a... How does that work? You do like um, a soft boil, but then you like essentially marinate them in the fridge. So they end up like full of like different flavors, like like either like teriyaki flavor or Worcestershire or something. Does it like infuse through the shell? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, no, no. Um, uh, wait, do... Oh shit, now I don't remember. Do you do it with the shell on or not? You might peel it first. You might peel it first and then put it in the... Or do you put it in with the shell? You do peel. Yeah, peel and then put it into the uh, the sauces. Gotcha. I've seen some really cool stuff for that. You eat ballot every month at least, and it's okay. Just don't look at it while eating. That's a, that's such a mom line. We're like, it's good for you. It's, it looks disgusting. Well, don't look at it. Just eat it. I think looking at the food is part of the experience. If you can't tolerate looking at it, then... What are you doing? But that's just me. But what if I look at it and it looks back at me and says hello? Is that kind of what Rahul asks you? 
When you whisper to the void, does it whisper back? It, what if it whispers back? I've already mentioned, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm adventurous to a point, but I would say I probably still fall very much on the safe side of the scale. I was around many, 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 many fried bugs when I was in Thailand and I never worked up the courage. Yeah, a lot of the street markets in Bangkok are really fond of, uh, of fried up bugs of all shapes and sizes. They make me nervous, but that's a me problem. Cricket slap. <laughs> I think I would want to be pretty, have it pretty processed if I was going to do insect protein. Hey, we'll all be eating insect protein soon as the world heats up, right? Apparently. Unless we get that heat-resistant cordyceps. Spiders are something I wish I could desensitize myself to. Spiders still... still absolutely scare the shit out of me and have since I was a kid. I've, I've gotten slightly better at managing them, but like I have daydreams about being a thousand percent okay with spiders. That's like your third tier. Like allergy. Fix the eyes. Eye fish allergy. Spiders. Like I've themed characters. Not my VTuber, sadly. Although that literally crossed my mind today. I was like, what if spider VTuber? And I'm like, no, 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 no. You already have a plan. Don't start over. Don't start over. Don't start over. <laughs> um, but like I've themed characters after spiders. I like spider abilities. I I have had daydreams about being that person who has like pet spiders and loves them. Because like I, I, it's not a choice. It's like it's in my bones. It's in my nerves. It's a reflex. And I don't know what to do about it. Possumite wants to eat spiders to spite them. I could get a spy. You know what? I could get a spider costume. I suppose you're right. Have a good night, purple. Um, Lucas the spider. Is that what I think it is? Yes, I have seen Lucas the spider. Lucas is adorable. That doesn't bother me. You know, I was playing the, um, did you ever try, any of you in chat or rail, did you ever try the Neverwinter MMO? Night Purple, I never did. They were mean. They were mean. They had gnarly looking spiders. And there were a couple of maps where, like, it was just a standard ass. I mean, it, it wasn't, but it like, it, it kind of functioned like a standard ass MMO. So like, you know, you get an aggro range and the mob would aggro you. And they had maps where they would position the spider like on the ceiling above you. or like around the corner, but like up on the wall and there would be web. And so there were like genuine, if you don't like spiders, genuine jump scare moments where like, as you pan your camera, you're like, Give me that. moments before it jumps down and attacks you. And like, once it attacks you, it's fine. Like I fought spiders in games, it's fine. It's just like, did you need to jump scare me with them before we get to, before we fight them? <laughs> is it a regular, um, is like a third person? style yeah running around mmo gotcha mm -hmm. i'm i don't know if you know if i was aware of it really when you say neverwinter i just go straight to neverwinter nights like isometric i haven't played fallen order yet um neverwinter yeah they made an mmo and the the big allure of it was that they had a system in place that allowed players to 
uh, use a map generator to create their own levels. So like it had its own story, it had its own quest, its own zones, its own leveling system. But there was this whole community of players that were making like their own little mini campaigns, uh, kind of the same way that we would download, I mean, lower fidelity, but the same way that we have downloaded like custom Left 4 Dead maps. Mm -hmm. And as I understand it, They've all but completely removed it from the game. They've completely removed it from the game. It was like the one thing that made that game, unless you were there solely because it was the closest thing you you had to like a D and D MMO. It was like it was like the big thing that made that game completely unique. I must have been a weirdo because like I would play through with my friends and we would narrate it. Like we'd go like every night we picked a different campaign. We'd go through. We would like voice different characters. We had a lot of fun with it. I just got bored because it was another case of like day one an MMO and running out of content way too soon. Yeah. I wonder what, uh, did they give an explanation or were they just like, nope, this feature's gone. Peace out. Nobody used it. The problem with it is that it had requirements like X number of enemies and so on for people to get rewards. So I guess you had to hit certain content benchmarks for it to be like deemed a dungeon worthy of rewarding players with stuff at the end. So people just did the most efficient map to run it through fast. You know what? God, they fucking would, wouldn't they? Someone would make like a fucking hallway map with exactly the amount of enemies you need all clustered together in a way that they can't get to you, right? That does sound like something players would fucking do yeah. to use it for a farm. That's bullshit. <laughs> no, I'm ready if you are. Sure. Well, this is why we can't have nice things, right? That's the curse of so many MMOs, by the way. And and they're not even just up against WoW anymore. For a while it was WoW, but WoW has been having a lot of issues in recent years. They've, you know, I shouldn't say they've, they've had issues, but like, you know, other games have caught up. But for a while, that was like the death kiss for so many MMOs was just that like, they were immediately weighed against something that had like five, seven, eight, ten years of content. Right. Yeah, it's like, how do you compete with that? Especially when your end game probably is that same strategy of making something that's a uh, a service. I'm gonna switch back to my grenade for this, I think, because we're gonna be in easy mode. Oh yeah. Depending on how easy it is, I might swap back to orb generation so we can just super more frequently. Some people doing dungeons for 50 minutes and others would be running it in like 10 with bosses taking a few seconds. And after devs tried to fix it, they butchered the entire gear system so badly that a lot of veteran players left. I gave them a lot of money up front. They actually launched with a big spider mount if you gave them like, it was like a $200 uh, launch bundle. I didn't get that. I did give them enough money to apparently earn me like a little cat that would follow me around. I don't remember how much money that was, but I do remember that like pets were something you had to earn later, but early on that it was one of the cash like cash shop or launch bundle items or something, and I was like, I get a cat? I don't want the spider mount, but I will totally pay for a cat. So I got a cat. Nice. Was that a customizable cat? Uh nameable, that was about it. So I named it. I named, uh, I named her Misha, or him. I named it Misha. It wasn't a gendered cat. We had a family cat named Misha who was a little boy missing an eye. And he was mean to everyone but my mom. <laughs> he was an absolute sweetheart to my mom and was like a complete asshole to everyone else in the family.
this new Zahn has done some redecorating. Um, he, we found him and, uh, and took him in. And so I think he got in a fight when he was a, a little baby cat and lost his eye. <laughs> the, you like the stereotype, the mama's boy who's an absolute asshole to everybody else. <laughs> yeah. He had this tiny little delicate meow too. I've done my family pet meows on stream before. He had a very delicate meow. Earlier, I informed the Empress we had already dealt with Zahn. Or at least I thought we had. But he's returned somehow. Names hold power. It is not unlikely this Yeah, Molly was a chirper. So uh regardless. Molly would come into the room. My browser is being stupid again. Molly would come into the room and be like, uh, and McGregor was this very cranky, scratchy, fat, happy boy who would like stomp into the room and would try to meow and would manage. That was the best that he could muster. <laughs> and then we had uh, we had Misha and Jesse, and we got Misha after Jesse. Jesse passed away, and somehow we ended up with another cat with the same meow. Um, and Misha would like asshole into the room, but then had this little delicate like. <laughs> Cute boy. <laughs> two clips. Wait, why two clips? What's the second clip? Thank you, Guardian. I've instructed the Scions to aid you. Free the others, and you will have a formidable team to face. The Scions version of aiding us is debatable. You know, it's a shame with all the damage that Fighting Lion does to Red Bars that it doesn't do them to Threshers. Yeah. Wouldn't that be something if you could just one shot the Threshers? Doesn't it need to be non impact? Or did we. Did I ask you that before? Uh, oh, it was different, right? You said, it, you said some enemies, the impact damage is high, and some enemies, the. That's a good question. Explosion is high or something? I'll try uh, an air burst. First off, let's see if we can, uh... Thank you. Is it weird that they've made like no mention of, I mean, not to say that they won't do it in the future. It's strange to me that like they obviously knew because Fighting Lion hits above its weight class against Red Bars, they turned it off for the raid day one. But they've then since gone back and they've adjusted damage bugs with like four different weapons and they haven't done it with Fighting Lion and I don't understand why. I wonder yeah, if it's a know. more complicated fix. Maybe it's weird that like once evaluated it and said this isn't that big a problem or maybe they were more worried about triggering effects that were broken. It's the... interesting that like the gameplay is the same. Like the big bug is that it it works against sword and skulls the same way that it works against regular targets, but like when you're at level in content, it 
it, it's literally the exact same gameplay, just with funny numbers. I think I, think I, I stole that from someone. Someone I was talking to used that phrase with funny numbers, and I like that. Wait, do it again, my auto cut out. I didn't hear any of it. Uh, okay. I said Molly would go and McGregor would go and then Misha would saunter in and go there. <laughs> you happy? It was, yeah, a little, a little, a little, a little thick boy that sounds like a sheep. He was a, he was a chonky cat. He didn't like too much uh, attention either. And occasionally, cause like I was a dumb kid. Occasionally if you spent a little bit too much time, no, my audio cut out again. Okay. <laughs> um, occasionally if uh, you spent too much time with him, like holding him down or, or spending too much time petting him, he would do this little exasperated sigh. And he was the only cat that did that. So like, you know, cause I would like hug him and want to hold him. And he would go, meow, meow, meow. And then he would just, you'd just hear him do this little, <sighs> <laughs> like he, he gave up, he was done. Like pet away, just get, just, just whatever. Um, I feel a little guilty about that now as an adult, but it's still kind of adorable to think about. Oh, they have a tormentor, do they? A smoker reincarnated as a cat. He was a sweetie. And I grew up, we actually had two different cats. I grew up with, um, Sasha and Tanya. Um, but I don't remember what they sounded like because I was really, really, really young. God, all these purple beams. Tormentor's like swinging around a Terraria weapon at us. Yeah. I might actual mente. Now that we're in easier content, I think I'm gonna go back to my rocket launcher. Cause why not? Hey, going sir, what's happening? I was taking care of my sis cat for like two weeks and her cat first tried to move your hand away with her paws. And then if you don't stop, tries to grab you with her teeth. I had a, uh, Mark Allen Jr., my, form, my former housemate, another voice actor, uh, had an adorable little chonker named Bunny, who Rail has met. Rail knows Bunny. Bunny. She is a sweetheart. She, I would fight her. We fought. <laughs> and like, she'd always come back and like, wanna like sit in my lap or like sleep on the bed. But like, we had this rapport of like, I would chase her around the house. She would like come up and like grab my arm and bite me and like I'd wrestle around and she'd be like clawing and biting at me. And then afterwards she'd just like flop down next to me. And uh, she was Mark's cat officially. And I remember Mark telling me that I was like the only person in her life that's played with her, like genuinely played with her like another cat. And I haven't done that with most cats in my life. I think like we just, it was just the right connection. Like there was some, there was some weird chemistry between Bunny and me where I was like, ah, we're fighting. Okay. We're going to have a fighting relationship and I'm here for it. I want a cat too. Is this the same cat that scratched your expensive chair? 
Uh, yes, this is the same little fucking piece of shit that scratched my chair, but I still love her and miss her. <laughs> This was the problem, and I don't wanna I don't wanna shit talk my former housemate too much. Like, as not the cat's owner, it's not my responsibility to like shave her nails or like take her to the groomer. Ugh! So uh there were definitely moments in this cat's life where like she had razor blades on the end of her paws, and it was not my job to fix that. So she was dangerous to clothing and furniture. And I think I've said this on stream before, but like I remember complaining about it and being like, we need to fucking fix this. And, and my housemate at the time was like, well, you know, she's a cat. She has claws. Like, I'm not going to declaw her. And I'm like, obviously. And he's like, so, you know, I just I don't own things that are so delicate or so precious that like I'm not afraid for them to get damaged. And I'm like, I didn't agree to that. I'm the roommate. We didn't. This was not a contract. It's all up to you now. Totally valid expectation, by the way, if you're the cat owner, to be like, I don't mind if I have a cat that scratches everything. And I'll, you know, purchase products ac accordingly. It's a very strange thing to say that to a housemate who, like, has only lived with you and that cat for, like, a year. <laughs> I also love that housemate to death, though. Mark Gallion Jr. is one of my favorite people. My mom, uh, my mom, God bless her soul, had the patience of a saint, has the patience, well, had because she doesn't own cats right now, but um, patience of a saint because she would clip the nails of, uh, of her cats and she like very delicately one by one would clip the tips of all their nails and that is just an, that is a job for someone with an infinite amount of patience. Um, but I do know that sometimes you can, I, you know, don't, by, I'm by no means an expert, but uh, I know that there are places you can go to, to like pet grooming, where they'll do like a really careful filing so that they won't, they just won't be super sharp. Um, Mark was uh, more in the habit of kind of like scratch posts and stuff like that. I've actually heard, Smoxy, that, uh, that that's like a really like smart part of uh, of raising a cat. If you raise a cat from like a lot, we had a lot of rescues um, or found like found unclaimed pets that we decided to take in, which I guess is kind of a rescue, just not the normal definition. Um, where uh, I know if you raise them from the time that they're a kitten, that's something that people recommend that you do is that you like play with their paws and like touch their paws a lot, so they get used to you touching their paws because then they'll be more comfortable with it. I think that's a thing, right? I feel like I read that. Socialization in general is, is very important for cats. Well fought, Guardian. We've cut another head off the proverbial Hydra. Hydra have but one head, Deborah. This fucking line. Yes. Vex Hydra. You know, the problem with them redoing the strike is they now have one set of audio for this entire strike. Yeah. Where previously, weren't there like five or six different iterations of the strike? Well, not not only that, but it's like, oh, there's a new Zon. Okay, well, that has no context unless you played the old campaign or the old version of the strike. You know what I mean? Like, what it, it's referencing something that doesn't exist in the game. They're making it... Well, yeah, it only makes sense to players who were there. Yeah. Yeah. Which... It, they could have fixed if they had a line that specifically referenced, like, so tell us more about this guy. Well, he's the successor to an arms dealer who... Kind of thing. Cats and dogs, socialization. She was a vicious one when she when she got here. Now she's only easy to scare. And terrified of trash bags. I 
I love how responsive cats can be. Like if you have a cat that's just feeling a little antsy and you can kind of just like really quickly hunch your shoulders and they'll immediately bear down. That's usually how I knew it was uh, it was playtime. When you could see that she like she had the zoomies and she was very clearly like extremely on edge in the in the apartment. <laughs> Which I guess is just their way of playing with themselves if they're like an only cat. Uh I do find it fascinating how pets like some switch flips in their brain and they go into zoom mode and it's like that you you have an entirely different pet for that period of time. <laughs> you hear the claws tearing into the carpet and stop short behind you and you turn around and you're like, you see a cat looking absolutely petrified, bearing down in the carpet, staring straight at you and you're like, May I help you? And then they tear off the other direction and leave the room. We got guitared. Hey, Ren Tempest, how's it going? I liked my uh, my housemate Mark would call Bunny Ma'am. So when she was being a lunatic, I would just hear Mark in the other room going, Ma'am! Ma'am, ma'am, <laughs> which is really adorable. My account got lost, so yeah, I'm here now. What happened? Did you lose the password? The fact that I'm probably going to go to bed at Legend if I play a little longer, and I started at Brave, makes me feel like, and I don't think I have the energy for this, but theoretically, I could potentially get my fourth reset like this week if I really went at it. Do you get that feeling, Rao? I'm not sure. I wonder where I am right now in this situation. Have you... I think I might have asked you this earlier, but have you reset at all? I have not. I'm on Mythic 3 right now. Okay. Where did you... I wonder where you started. Great question. I should have looked. Probably somewhere in a heroic. Although, it, is, is heroic just literally... Is there another tier in there? Uh, it's Guardian, Brave, Heroic, Fabled, Mythic, Legend? Is that how it goes? That sounds right. I always forget Fabled. I know it now because I just looked it up recently, but that's always the one where I'm like, ah, Mythic's next, right? And then I'm like, Mythic was not next. <laughs> Yes, dot, dummy, dumb, dumb, gimme, gum, gum, cause I'm dumb, dumb. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. There's gotta be a way, unless, unless you're, uh... We had someone else in the chat recently who had a similar issue where they, um... I think it was like they lost their password for... Maybe this happened to you. They lost their password for Twitch, like, the same week they changed their phone number or something, so they couldn't do the recovery. I wonder if Twitch ever makes exceptions to that, because I feel like I've heard a lot of stories that sound more like Twitch being like, well, make better life decisions and like not really helping with that. Hopefully there's a way to reach out to them and get it back though, with the right uh, information. Even if they make you like, you know, email them some identity or something. We 
We're both coming with orbs. Wait, where are you? Oh, hi. Hello. Rayon, Skill, have a wonderful night. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope I get to see you again. Oh no. How do I feel about this? Is this ultimately still gonna be my favorite strike even though like the heart, it's lost its heart and soul? The soul? It's lost something. I think it's lost a soul. Nine ads. Wait, why do you have an ad now? My thing says an ad doesn't start for another three minutes. Oh no. They just joined recently though, right? So there might be some <laughs> other ad timer that kicks in. I don't know how it works. This is true. I bet if we there asked, is a solution, uh, Miss Doctor. I knew that you were gonna say that. That's how it works. I knew you were gonna. I knew you were gonna say that. I need to have a button for that just on my stream deck, and I don't. What I really need to do is I need to work with her because like that one has me giggling and shit in the background. I need to work with her and actually record a clean version. I, I bet. I bet she would do it. I couldn't do any better of a version than you did with that. I thought maybe I'd be able to like clean that up a little bit, but it's pretty well baked in there yeah i did a i did quite a bit of fuckery on it and i feel like i did the best i could yeah i would say you did the best that could be done with what you had there because I, I messed around with it a bunch and i got done and i was like this is the same as what melly already did i will have to uh i will have to talk to her because i bet she would do it and i bet we could record something again and have it as like a solid. Uh... So you know what I could even do is, <laughs> there could even be a. Uh, I could maybe what I could do is I could have Miss Doc record like a thank you sub sound effect. <laughs> so when someone subscribes, instead of it just being bring, you hear Doc go, "Yo, thanks for the sub." I like, I think it runs, it runs a surprisingly long amount of time, but I like when you raid uh, Shirasaki Mato, you just hear Mato for like the next 15 seconds going, raid, 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 raid. <laughs> We have six minutes before I have to hit the button, which means specifically Ren Tempest. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, you know what's so dumb? They say if you keep a schedule, you turn off pre-roll ads. But something I've noticed is if you do the three-minute button so you get an hour to yourself, sometimes it suddenly pops a message up and is like, it's been a little too long. We're turning pre-roll ads back on, which is literally the exact opposite of what it says it's going to do. Huh. Like you're literally doing one of their options of like three minute ads. You don't have to watch for an hour. I'm not the one that decided you don't have to watch for an hour. They say if you do a three minute ad, there's no more ad for an hour. And then like sometimes 40 minutes in, it'll just be like, by the way, 
pre-roll ads again. Sorry. We noticed that we could actually make some more money, so we, we're going to go ahead and... Okay, I swear that was going to work. Yeah, I try to keep pre-rolls off. And then I run three minutes just because it, it gives me a long stretch of time that I don't have to worry about it. And at the end of the day, you know, uh, if people really hate them, they can... <laughs> I'd prefer that they sub because they really like me rather than they really hate ads. But, you know, that's an option, I guess. Get him to turn enough to break this other shoulder. Watch 20 or 30 seconds, and I have to switch channels. Yeah, I run into that too. Sometimes I'm like, I'm just, I'm just poking around the suggested, and I'm like, oh, I wonder, like, what whoever, like, Nyaner's or Zentreya's up to, and I immediately go straight into like a Geico ad, and I'm like, well, who else is streaming? <laughs> I totally feel you on that. Oh, hi, friends. You can string up a fucking Tormentor? Depends on which ones. I think I knew that, but that is ridiculous. The named Nazarek ones you can't, but the rest of them you can, and it's pretty great. Ah, You're shit! Get somebody through the campaign. Yo, Jupiter, thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. That's very kind of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I like you, but ads are life. <laughs> that's, that's so funny to me. I'm the exact opposite. <laughs> that's, I'm usually like, slider bar, muted. Turn on YouTube video. I literally, I was this close, by the way, for a second. I realized, um, I think I think my 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 statistics may have changed a little bit. For I was really close. I noticed I had like most of the people watching were all subbed, and so I get very little like ad revenue from the ads because most people are subbed. And so I figured, well, you know, why am I fucking around with this? I should just turn subs or turn ads off completely. And then someone reminded me that that would not, in fact, turn ads off completely. It would just take your control away. <laughs> Because there would be ads no matter what. They don't actually give you the choice of running ad-free streaming content. What's up, Fo Tracer? Say, they let you directly stream to a like Wowza ingest with a single encode and give you adaptive berry streaming for free. Pretty decent. It's a pretty good service. I like it. And for a while, I didn't realize you could export videos straight to YouTube, uh, even though I realized that like at some point, a smarter me will have an editor, <laughs> which I don't at the moment. Um, but that used to be like the biggest drawback. And for a while, I was thinking of streaming on YouTube instead, because it would just like be there already. Um, but once, I think it was Colorfinger or uh, Chris Edgerly that, uh, showed me that you could just hit the export button and send it straight to YouTube without ever having to download it first. That was a game changer for me. I remember when you told me that you were exporting stuff out, I was kind of like, not sure why you were doing that, but I just assumed you had a good reason. You talking about way back in the day? Yeah, on your, when you used to stream and you were saying, I got to download the VODs. Yeah, I didn't realize. I mean, I'm I'm assuming because you're saying that, like, that you've always been able to do that. I think maybe what probably threw me off, if anything, is the fact that sharing it over to YouTube, they call exporting. Yeah, when it's really just, uh, like, syndicating. Lest we disable that shield... 
Oh my god, I clicked off my screen. Why did it do that? You got it? I got it. Yeah, let me see if I can... I know the moment you dunk that, that ship's gonna fly away, right? Does it? I think the thresher comes in, but I'm not sure if that one goes out. Oh yeah, there he goes. I'll get this one. If it weren't for ads, how would I know that Tim Hortons has a new spicy chicken or beef chipotle bowl or wraps? I still don't know what Tim Hortons is. <laughs> so that was a Canadian fast food place, right? It's a Canadian like coffee, uh, like Dunkin' Donuts kind of thing, I think. Gotcha. All right. I've been getting like Geico or something or some home insurance. I don't know. Well, if you know anything about me, you'll know I love me some coffee. So... Also, this Percy's, Percy's D. Whoops. Sounds yeah. like a freaking machine gun. This is a very heavy sounding scout rifle. Yeah, it kind of chonks, huh? Coffee. I just recently learned meeting, uh, the meaning of being adult. So I'm getting rushed with every responsibility of being an adult. Is one of those responsibilities remembering your passwords? <laughs> Don't you dare say that about coffee. I drink coffee all the time, even though it pains me. It physically fucks up my body, and I can't stop putting it into my body. I'm okay with it. I deal with the consequences. I just fucking love coffee. <laughs> Ophidius Faith, I have two exotics now as a result of this. Huh. I am drinking green tea right now though. Or I will be for about three more sips. Room temperature green tea for about three more sips. Mythic three. I am probably, not to uh, horrify anyone here, this is probably going to be the week. It is going to be a lot of destiny this week because of double XP. Um, You're gonna try and get all your ranks in one go and if, then- If I can, yeah. Which hopefully won't burn me out of the game. <laughs> Um, however, I am not going to be streaming on Thursday, actually. Um, I have, I know I had a, I, had a, I mentioned I had a session on Monday. I have another recording session on Thursday, and it's a four-hour session. I'm very excited about it. I'm a little scared, though. Uh, no spoilers, but my understanding is I'm going to be screaming for four hours straight. So my voice is going to be gone by the time I get home. So we won't be streaming on Thursday, and we'll see how Friday goes. <laughs> Um, it's going to be probably the most vocally intense session I've done in a while. I'm excited for a couple of reasons, though. It's for a new show. It's with a new studio. It's on a new uh, uh, platform. 
Um, not new, objectively new, but like it's just like everything's new about it. I'm working with a director I haven't worked with before on a pr- production I haven't worked with before for a client I haven't worked with before. So new things are cool because that's the start of a relationship and hopefully they won't hate me and they'll have me back. <laughs> Sounds fun. Yeah. Now, have you found that when you go to different places, uh, does process vary widely, or do you feel like it's fairly like industry standard for a lot of the process and interaction that you have? Um, I think a lot of it is standardized. There are like some uh, uniquities. Um, what'd you call that? Like. Idiosyncrasies. Yep. Um, from either director or director, director to director or studio to studio. Um, so I have studios where, like, generally, especially if you're doing vocally stressful sessions, like every hour you're supposed to get like 10 minutes or so to break and rest. Uh, and, you know, some actors will just chat and bullshit for 10 minutes if you're really using your voice, you probably should just be shutting up and sipping tea and talking to nobody for 10 minutes and just having complete downtime. Um, Because that will go a long way towards helping you keep going and recover. So like I have one studio I work with where every 10 minutes, whether I like it or not, they force me to leave the booth and take a 10 minute break. Um, I have other studios where if I didn't bring it up, they would not either. And they always let me have it, but they kind of leave it to me to ask. Um... I've worked with uh, some directors who, you know, I ask a lot of questions about what they're looking for. And, you know, Apex, for instance, like really seems to like me and my instincts. And so oftentimes I'll ask them what they want and they'll be like, well, give us something and I'll give it to them. And I'll be like, are you sure that's OK? And they're like, that was exactly what I that was great. And I'm like, OK. And they're like, we will let you know if we ever need something that's that's more than what you're giving us. Um I've also worked with directors who give me like straight up line reads on every line. Like they, they, which, which if you're unfamiliar with the concept of a line read, like they'll literally tell me how to say it, like do it like this. So I've had, I've had sessions like that where a director will literally be like, you know, yeah, so this is like, so the line is like, get back here. And I really want it to be like a, like a higher to low, like a get back here. Like, can you do like a get back here? And I'll be like, sure get back here and they're like oh that was great and i'm like okay (laughs) i will parrot you if that's what gets the session done hey if you're happy at the end of it great (laughs) that's my job done um so yeah like little idiosyncrasies but uh but i would say like for the most part since a lot of the stuff i do uh is union um whether they force me to do it or wait until i ask for it the rules are all technically the same, so the experience is more or less standardized. It's just a matter of how, like, on the ball they are. If that makes sense. Yeah. You know, it's like uh, it's like if you, you know, work a, a job where you're with a union and, like, you're supposed to get a break. Like, there are going to be jobs. And I'm talking regular, like, like non-entertainment jobs. Like, there are going to be jobs where you've got a boss that's, like... Listen, I don't want to get us in trouble. I don't want to get, like, the company written up. So, like, they'll tap you on the shoulder and be like, yo, you have to go take 15. And then there are jobs where you're like, hey, I'm supposed to take 15. And your manager's like, oh, right, 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 right. You know, like, that kind of varies from person to person. How how proactive they are about about being, like, what do you call it? Yeah, proactive, literally. Proactive about being proactive. Great job, me. How proactive they are about it. Um, I've also had sessions where, like, you know, generally the idea, especially if it's a combat stuff, is that you're only usually going for about, like, two hours if it's combat stuff in a video game. Um, You know, and there are certainly studios that want to get their money's worth and studios that don't care as much. So I've had studios where they're like, you know, tell us if you need a break. We're going for two hours. We want to get as much done as possible. And then I've had studios like... um, like, uh, Borderlands and Tiny Tina's was amazing. Like, they didn't care. If they pay me more, they're fine with that. Like, when we got into the combat calls, the director would literally be like, 
hey, so we're just going to end the session as soon as you tell us to. Like, if you need to stop for any reason, if you feel like we've gone too far, just say so. We'll let you leave. We'll have you back. We'll pay you again. You know, like, we trust you not to take advantage of that, obviously. But, like, right. you know, they're just like, hey, no, don't worry about it. The session's over as soon as it needs to be, as soon as you need it to be. And that's really fucking cool. Yeah, my experience has been sometimes on on real small projects, it'll be sort of understood ahead of time that it's going to be a lot of crunch and we're just going to really cook through whatever they're doing. But on anything that's full crew, they're always very, there's always going to be a producer there that's like making sure that things go on time because there's all sorts of cost overruns that they need to avoid. Yeah. So you always know they'll announce ahead of time. This is when we're going to do lunch and they're very good about like good producers are very good about sort of helping keep their directors on track that's interesting about the the straight like line read i've seen that happen before a couple times but it was usually more like a pulling teeth scenario where the director did several can't get what they need finally, yeah and finally someone just said Why can you just you do this tell me how you want it to be and then i'll do it that way yeah, I've had that too. There is one director, and like we get along great. Uh, they're great. They're great. Um, but just their personal directing style, they they will tell you exactly the melody they want before you give them anything. <laughs> and uh, some actors hate that. I don't care as much. You know, like my job is to help them get something that makes them happy. So if that's the way we get there, then cool. Um, yeah, and I will always, like, you'll notice, like, and this isn't because, like, they're bad or anything, but, like, I have a gradient, and if the studio is, like, you know, all gold stars, like, I don't mind dropping Gearbox's name because they're fucking rock stars. Like, I will absolutely drop Gearbox's name for for their vocal rest, like, voice, you know, voice. Uh, it's late. Give, cut me a break. Um, you know, like, how, how attentive they are to, vo- to vocal health. Like, I will... I will sing their praises from the, the fucking tops of the mountain. Why am I just standing under this? As I as I try to get through that point, my gameplay just goes straight through the floor. <laughs> um, yeah, and Apex has been wonderful. Uh, Apex has been really, really attentive to like making me take breaks, whether I want to or not. Because I tend to, I, I'm someone who sometimes gets in the in a a mode where like I want to power through. And they'll be like, nope, go away. Come back in 10 minutes. And I'm like, thank you, Phil. (laughs) And then there are companies that tell you not to shit in work because you have to do what you have to do. I'm thinking of that Lance Reddick sketch now. (laughs) That's one of the best lines ever. Where he, Boys are me. he says, it's like the best choice of words ever where he's like, I will come to your house and shit in places that will leave you confused for the rest of your life. That's like the best word they could have gone with for that line. Leave you confused. Not horrified, like bewildered. Like, but Why? I get if you can't say, but has there ever been a recording session for anything you've done where you just weren't feeling it or didn't like the experience? Uh, yeah. Once in a while it happens. Um, my experience working, and, you know, I realize this is like such a, you know, this is such a ringing endorsement for, uh, for SAG-AFTRA. Um, and it's not intended to be. I just... SAG after union gigs have all been amazing for me. And like, I'm sure that there are bad ones out there, but um, generally when I've done a SAG gig, it's just like, it's just like gold stars all around. Like they pay really well. They take really good care of you. They're really professional. I've worked with directors who like treat me with an insane amount of respect where like I've, I've done some, not all. I've done great non-union gigs too, but I've also done non-union gigs where like, you know, they cast you, but then they still look at you like they're not sure you deserve to be there. Um, 
and I bet that exists in union projects as well, but thus far, maybe I've been really lucky. I've had nothing but like insanely amazing experiences working union gigs. Yeah, I've had sessions where I think I think for me it's about trust a lot of time. I've had a couple of sessions and like not recently at all. Like full disclaimer, it's been a while. Um, but early on when I was just kind of getting my feet wet in acting again after leaving Apple, I definitely had a couple of sessions where I just got the sense that the director didn't trust me. You know, like they, they hadn't heard my name before. They didn't know who I was. They decided to bring me in, which... One could make an arg you know, an argument that if you're bringing me into the room to work on a professional project, that like you you've committed to deciding I'm a professional, but uh, that didn't happen. It it felt a little bit more like the session was they thought of them bringing me in for the session as doing me a favor than hiring a professional. Um, but fortunately, those have been very very rare, and for the most part, it's been good experiences. Really strange, too. And I don't know if that's a power trip thing. Like, I don't know if just for certain people, like, you know, for all I know, maybe there are some people out there that, like, think of themselves as, like, the career makers. And so they treat it like a much bigger deal. Like, they're, like, doing this great service or something. I don't know what goes into the mentality of, like... Almost, like, willfully creating a bad experience for someone rather than a positive experience. Weird shit. I definitely have like a, a a bag that I keep like all of my positive and all of my negative experiences in. So if I ever end up directing, um, I'm gonna have a lot of memories to draw on of like, these are the great experiences I've had. Like what made them great? Like try to dissect like what made those experiences so positive. When I've had a terrible experience, why? What? what made me leave and kind of regret going in so I can make sure I never create that experience for somebody else. You're not slowly building your, your Hitchcock persona where you're like, everyone will want to work with me and they'll hate every minute of working with me. <laughs> oh, that level of clout sounds awful. God. The notion of being someone that like is too important to avoid Teleporting Legionary. Thank you for coming with that moment of levity. I get I get lost in the weeds telling career stories. <laughs> I don't know what it's like now, but you know, to their credit, when I worked for Apple, they were weirdly chill about breaks. There were like specific managers that would get really nervous and might occasionally question you about how long you were really gone for, but for the most part, they kind of didn't, they didn't give you too much shit. Or I was one of the good ones, who knows. The thing that bummed me out the most about my retail career was just that, like, they sort of kept resetting expectations on me. Like, they sort of kept, like, we had, like, this, like, Darth Vader Lando relationship where, like, when I was hired, yeah, when I was hired, they were like, oh, yeah, you're an actor, no problem. Like, we can totally be flexible. Like, if you get a gig, if you're in a play, like... We'll, t we'll totally flex around that. Like, we've got a lot of photographers and actors and artists who all work here. And, like, you know, it's totally no problem at all. And then, like, you cut to a couple years later and you're like, hey, I, uh, I'm working on a short film. Uh, I'm probably going to need, like, uh, uh, every uh, Tuesday and Wednesday free. Uh, how does that sound? And, uh, and you know, I'll work, I'll work um, Thursday through Monday, no problem. And... They suddenly hit you with the like, well, you know, as a full-time employee, uh, you uh, have to give us 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. availability uh, six days a week um, for the purpose of scheduling. Uh, we can't really. And you're like, whatever happened to 
whatever happened to no problem, we've got tons of artists, we're super flexible. Like now that I'm here, you're just like, nah. Yeah, it's because it's because you're if when you're good at what you do, then all of a sudden they covet your time because they're like, oh, we don't want to we don't want to not have Melly here because she's holding the fort down, you know, that kind of mentality. I, I would like to think it's because they really think I'm indispensable, but I'm not sure if I'm not sure I'd give myself that much credit. I think they just I think they just suddenly started running a really tight ship when it comes to scheduling. We have to find another way to destroy it. They didn't change Ghost's lines about the shield. What sucks especially is like if you had a commitment you had to be there for, like I would have days where I'll be like, well, I'm not gonna be here on the 24th. And they'll be like, well, uh, you need to find someone to swap with or we can't approve it. And it's like, all right, I'll meet you halfway. I will try to find someone to swap with, but I'm also letting you know now for your own benefit that whether or not I can find someone to swap with, I'm not going to be here. Whether or not you approve it. And so you can choose to do nothing. I never actually said this like this to them. But like you can choose to do nothing about it and be like, damn, we're understaffed. How could we have possibly foreseen this later? Or you can do something about it now since I've given you the heads up. <laughs> Somehow we've gone from working as an actor professionally to let's talk about retail. It's so easy. It all comes back to me. I swear, you talk to me in like 30 years, I'm still going to be able to go right back there and bitch about retail. <laughs> it's, it's in my bones. It's like you've developed a... Uh... Reaction. It's like it's like it's in your um, your lymphatic system. But he's like, we gotta remember this for immunity purposes. All right, that should be it for that. Nice job. Well, in most time, people are fine with you slacking as long as you do your work. Yeah, I, I was always pretty good at my job. I, uh, and eventually, you know, you're like one of the most veteran repair technicians there. So, like, they go to you for advice and everything anyway. Although you spent a good 10 years with Apple and half wasn't too positive. Good memory. It's great that you have great technology and fixing skills to keep forever using. I, uh, I do think that that probably contributed to the fact that I won't call myself... I call myself okay at audio. Um, I'm not amazing, but I like it. I'm fascinated by the hardware and the software enough that I, I care about getting it right, you know? And you put your own rig together. <clears throat> yeah. Draw Games, what's up? How are you? It's good to see you. I remember when I was working at Amazon, I had this thing uh, where my cousin had a wedding and I needed one day off and I told it before I got employed there. But then they couldn't give you the day off because apparently the entire warehouse would collapse if I wasn't there. Oh, dude. I wonder if there's some kind of, on the back end of those big operations like that, if managers have some kind of weird incentive to try to see if they can get employees to not use any PTO. Like in the, in the, if it's like a use it or lose it system, if they have some kind of weird motive for. Like, <laughs> what, I to get a bonus. Can, yeah, or something. Son of a, hang on. I forgot that it does that thing. Makes you load in manually. Oh no. How many spots do you have? 17 of 21, 16 of 21. All right. We need to get out of here soon so I can clear my, before I lose eight golf balls. I mean, we can go to the tower if you want. I'm not, I've just been pulling mine from through dim. 
I can't pull the engrams. Oh, you let your engrams get full? Yeah, that's a classic inventory death spiral when you're when it stops decoding base engram drops. <laughs> As a hoarder, I know it only too well. We could well. go there quickly, I guess. Is weapons to the Shadow Legion. Uh, yeah, I'll take us there real quick. Just to be safe. Helm? Helm. Yeah, Helm has it. Helm or the Enclave. Playing Valorant with friends and vibing. Nice, nice, nice. I was, uh, I, I meant to bring this up before, and I don't remember what we were talking about, but, um, uh... <clears throat> When I went to the Razor store, I ended up in a conversation with someone who worked there for like 20 minutes about Apex. And just gaming in general, but we ended up spending a lot of time talking about Apex. And it was very fun. It's cool to be like incognito. Or so I think. Maybe she knew exactly who she was talking to. But we're like talking Razor accessories and she's telling me about how she's like a lifeline main. And, uh, and has cosplayed Lifeline because, like, she looks a whole lot like Lifeline. Uh, and how she loves Mela's portrayal. And, you know, she really thinks that, like, like Mela's fucking awesome. And, and, you know, she's collected X, Y, and Z skins. And, like, then we're just, like, talking about, like, you know, matches we've had and, like, fun team-ups and, like, weird shit that's gone down in matches. And the whole time I'm sitting there, like... Are you going to find me out, or am I going to get out of here? Really fun, though. <laughs> it was all good. All positive vibes. <clears throat> I even said, this is the best part, in the conversation... I even said, like, I started as Bloodhound, but now I've been mostly playing Catalyst. <laughs> and like that, I'm dropping that in the conversation, but it didn't, uh, it didn't click, which is probably for the better, because I was trying to get out of there and grab some food. So I was on a short timeline. I found it very funny, though. Melly, what are the chances she was trying to flirt with you and you didn't notice? Uh, I would normally say I don't think that was happening, but I'm also pretty oblivious when it comes to stuff like that. So I would say there's probably a non-zero chance that that could happen and I wouldn't be, I would be completely oblivious. It would not be the first time in my life. I'll say that. As long as you don't say well. <laughs> nice. You're like, that was, uh, that was really, really helpful. I'm definitely going to do a little bit more uh, research on this, uh, on this uh, Kyo Pro Ultra when I get home. Um, but if I come, you know, if I have any other questions, I'll come back in and check in. Uh, well, I should probably get out of here. And she's like, wait. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> As you're walking out the store, you just hear the phone going, well, 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 well. <laughs> like, shit, they found me out. The voice printing it. <laughs> Head for the hills. All right, ready, steady? Yes. Mythic three. Let's fucking Except go. Why is this thing interactable? Tell me that. What thing? This thing right here. This thing that this techie in is like, I don't understand computers. Investigate. Yes, yeah, scan it. Absorb the knowledge. Great job. That's all it does. <laughs> Why? <laughs> um. Well. Well.
you're right. On my way out, I'm like, well, I have to walk. Well, I have to walk back to my car. Ugh, exercise. <laughs> Just go straight out the automatic doors and don't look back. Isn't there a meme of someone running after either like a small toddler or a pet where like they keep running faster and faster? Yeah, there's a meme of the of the kid running away. It goes from like the slow walk to the chase. Guardian, we've received intel that Brockus Zahn is Well, kid running away meme auto populated, so let me see if this is what I was remembering. Yeah. That is not what I was remembering. Let's check Google image search. Oh, yeah, here it is. <laughs> it's such a great image. The three panel. Yeah. <laughs> it's such an, it's so exploitable <laughs> for just labeling the things, whatever you need them to be. Yeah, it's, uh, hang on a sec. And then I'll fucking help. I it's, uh, where is my preview? Miscalculated? Yes. Do you have further questions? Right. Let's get them free. Nope, not that big, thank you very much. I'll put it up in the top corner. Oops. It's this one. My favorite part about that, I think, is the way the kid, I'll make it a little smaller. I think my favorite part about that is the way the kid is like side-eyeing the entire time. The kid's expression is what makes it work. I did some research and it would be cheaper for me to fly to another country and get dental work done and fly back than to walk across the street and get it done there. What? I have to see a dentist. I don't have, like, I, I don't have anything going on, but it's been a while. So it's just, it's another one of those things on my list of, like, now that I finally have healthcare worth a damn for the first time in ages, I've got to do that as well. There are so many people I want to see. I set up a, an appointment with my uh, my doctor for a physical. I've, I'm going to see a, a GI. I'm going to see. I'm doing everything because it's been fucking years. I'm doing. Uh, I'm doing an ENT. Why are they sniping from over there? Uh, the the jumper failed. I'm dead. Okay. They're always sniping from over there. Have you not been killing those guys? Nope. All right. Well, you're the only one alive. So. Oh. Uh, yeah, gastroenterologist, the stomach stuff. Um, I honestly would be half, half, I, I would even consider like going to like a, a dermatologist or like a nutritionist or something just to like, like fucking just like get the lay of the land on, of my body in 2023 since it's been fucking years, you know? Like going into the shop. <laughs> it's gotta go into the shop. It's been it's been a handful of years. <laughs> you had an issue when you've got your wisdom teeth because the wisdom caused cavities. <laughs> Too much wisdom. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs>
Why did I missile that guy when he's at like 1% health? Just to be sure. Hey, Canon. How's it going? How are you? Thank you, Guardian. I've instructed the Scions to aid you. Free the others and I feel like a lot of the time when I do streams like this, we end up going on like a fucking journey if you track all the topics we talk about from the start of the stream to the end of the stream. It's like, it's, it's, it's beyond just chatting. All the chatting. <laughs> there needs to be a topic for all the chatting. Comprehensive chatting. These thrashers sure are less annoying in this mode. There is nothing more satisfying than watching a thresher blow up. Just fragment to shreds, you say. Yeah, I've uh, I've wanted to see a GI for a while because. Like I've mentioned earlier, I, I get stomach issues. And like, I, I'm dreading, I'm not counting out, like I, I, it's, it's, I'm totally ready to have the conversation, but like, I'm kind of dreading that they'll literally just be like, no more coffee. I'm hoping that there is more stuff that we can address, you know, like if, there, if there's like a different type of probiotic I need, if there can be like other dietary changes, or if there's like, God forbid, there's like a, like a bug of some sort that can be addressed, something that's like, Thank God we I checked, kind of thing. Present them to it as, what do I got to do to keep drinking as much coffee as I'm yes. drinking right now? Yes. No. Um, I don't know. I've just had really weird, inconsistent experiences where, like, I'll have days where I drink an absolutely obscene amount of coffee and my stomach's completely fine. And then I'll have days where, like, I don't have coffee and I wake up and I already have reflux. And then I have days where, like, I eat something spicy and I regret it. And then I have days where I eat a lot of things spicy and I'm a thousand percent fine. And I'm like, so there's, like, no fucking pattern and I need someone to explain my body to me so I can understand it better. Yeah. I just need answers. We've had that conversation where it was, you were like... Man, my stomach, I ate like a sandwich, but then I'm, and I'm like, well, you ate like the spicy noodle bowl with like the extra spice the other day. It's like, yeah, but the, something about that sandwich, it's like, I don't understand. What are the rules? Can it hit you two days later? Is that how it works? I don't know how this shit works. I don't know how shit works. Yeah, and if you look up articles, all they do is make you feel like you're not allowed to be a person anymore. They're like, well, if you eat too much, you can get reflux. But if you don't eat enough, you can get reflux. Be careful of spicy foods and broccoli and onion and tomatoes and chocolate and, and, and fats, but also things that are too lean. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Yeah, that's how you end up in Misfortune's boat. We're just like, mm, toast. You know, my favorite is they'll be like, like one of them is like, and make sure that you don't sit like this or like this and only wear the loosest of clothing. And I'm like, fuck all of you. Like, I, I have to be. <laughs> I'm going to live my life. God damn it. You're like, if there's restrictions on sitting, just kill me. <laughs> Like, please tell me how I can fix this and not tell me how to like, like carefully, like, like don't tell me how to mitigate the, the now permanent life experience of being a victim of my body. Like there has to be a solution. <laughs> They're like, move to the mountains, start growing your own crops. Like this seems like an extreme solution. Another one of my favorites is water, where they're like, you make sure you're drinking water, because if you don't get enough water, you'll uh, you'll have reflux. But if you drink too much water, you can get reflux, motherfucker. <laughs> like. Yeah, there's no win. <laughs> Incredible. 
We got a Goldilocks this shit. <laughs> You're like, can I get a set of gauges or meters? That's the most frustrating part, right? Is not knowing what's going to cause a problem. Yeah. So then you're constantly feeling like you have to like try to play the detective game of like, now why? Why is this a problem? And when articles are like, yeah, make sure you uh, get plenty of Brondo. It has what plants crave. There's okay. I've whiffed three rockets now, and I'm angry. <laughs> Can I, uh... Okay, I've whiffed four rockets, and I'm done fighting this Tormentor. You can fight the Tormentor. All right. I'm just going to super it to death. Um. And it's gone. I have a complaint about this strike. Uh-huh. And I don't know. Maybe... I think it's just a case of too soon... Because, like, I know we fought a lot of things in the Red War in early Destiny that were scary. And now, you know, you'll get to be like, there's a tank. And they'll be like, not another tank. When, like, the first time we fought a tank, it was pretty badass. Uh-huh. Um, I kind of hate Devrim's line where he kind of makes a joke out of the Tormentor. Because, like, like you, he comes down and they're like, ah, they've got a Tormentor, do they? And, like... The whole point of the Tormentor was it was it supposed to be like a tense, scary unit that they're introducing this new unit that causes like genuine tension because yeah. it's a really intense fight. I feel like it's a little too soon to be making jokes about the Tormentor. That's my feedback. I think that makes sense. It's also really funny. Devram, who is just a normal human. I was just about to say that. Like, it's also funny that, like, just a normal ass person is like, ah, this multi dimensional, like, yeah. terrifying Grim Reaper thing. Only, only one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Good thing I've got this lever action or this, uh, this, what do you call it? The fuck. Bolt What's his rifle? rifle? Bolt action rifle. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, just just a Cthulhu that you have to fight. No big deal. You like that bank? You see that bank? Are you ready on break? Yeah, I'm ready. Nice kill. Perfect middle and everything all the time. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> Don't do anything ever, but also do stuff too, but make sure you do enough stuff, but not too much stuff. That is that is what the articles read like to me. <laughs> oh, a tormentor. Good thing I've got the tickler with me. Ah. Nice complaint. Thank you, Miss Fortune. Apt bomb. Welcome, welcome. Whoops. Ah, thank you. When I do this solo, I'll usually put on like a hour long like podcast or an interview or something. And then I just kind of like zone out to the interview while I run strikes. That's what I tell people as well. Like at a certain point, strikes are a good like hangout activity that you don't have to pay too much attention to.
I actually just found another video recently uh, that goes over really good uh, sound design for your streams. Um, and I think I've got pretty pretty good mix on my stream. Uh, I have a an Epos Vox, Epos Vox video that I usually refer to, but I was really interested to check this out. So probably at some point after stream and before bed, I'll be listening to that and kind of comparing notes. Where is this bad guy? Oh, okay. I supered him just to see what would happen, but he still goes into hard immune. He's got a little window there where he's damageable, but I bet you could chunk him if you had a, like a warlock super hit him or something. Mm. That's probably why he gets that weird extra shield bar. Is that maybe you could fa I would be interested in experimenting with that at some point. Is that the same like, shield shell they use for like resisted things when you don't have the right mechanic or whatever? I have we seen that before, Callus? The little like bonus uh, shield bar. Yeah, well, a lot of times enemies will have an overshield that's like you need to. Have an have a uh, certain kind of, you know, like in the uh, in the what you call it's right now, the new battlegrounds, the well, defiant well, ones. Uh, you have to throw the orbs at their shield to do the certain kind of damage that they require. They won't just die from regular fire. In which battlegrounds? In the defiant battlegrounds. Is that this season? Man, I have not done enough of those. The end bosses all have overshields. That yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Have there been other than, what have we had? We've had mostly like Void, right? Has it been all three? Shields? Or is it just like they're, generic energy? Yeah, they're, they're energy -less. They can only be broken with by throwing the um, Consecrated Taken Essence at them. So it's, a, it's like a mechanic instead of just doing a damage type. And I imagine they use that same type of shield. In this case, there is, like, you don't do anything. You can't hurt that shield. You just have to get rid of it by f getting him through the phase with the deposit. That makes sense. So they put they put that shield on him so that even if you get something through the bubble, he still has full immunity to regular, like, conventional damage. Man, this has been great today. Thank you so much for doing this with me. I am uh, I'm now in Legend. I think when Legend caps, I will probably call the stream. And we'll pick up again tomorrow, maybe. I am also a legend. How many points are you at? I'm at 9,700. You are way closer than me. Okay. <laughs> I probably need. But you're in legend. Yeah. I'm at 90,47. So I just kept, I just got into it. Everything you need to find balance. I just want to say shut the fuck up. Question you up for song suggestion, not on stream, just in general. Uh, and there's a lot of people posting songs. Are you asking if you can recommend a song to me, Jupiter? I thought I hit launch. Uh, yeah, you can drop something in the, you can drop something in the music channel. Although, man, I am behind. There's been a lot of cool stuff dropping in that channel that I am scrolling through now. The Discord is very active. I am so amazed by that, and it makes me very happy. What are we up to? Let's look at the uh, the rules. 512 dudes. We've had 512 dudes in the Discord. At what point do we break the Discord if there are too many people? Can Discords I mean, break? <laughs> How many people? Have you ever seen the D2 LFG? <laughs> How many people are in the D2 right LFG? A lot. Like tens of thousands. Oh, God. So at that point, that's when you start to see like ghosts in the uh, voice chats. I have noticed that. 
that's what's that is what causes that it starts not refreshing correctly d2 lfg right now season raider 122 this is all based on donations 460 normal raiders New Raiders, 76,000. <laughs> yeah. Wow. All right. Yeah, right. Imagine doing an at everyone when there's 100,000 people in the Discord. I've yeah. seen people do it. They've done it in, over there a couple times, and it has not gone well for them. And you know what it always is, right? I feel like every time someone does that, it's like some rando being like, I'm going live on Twitch. Yeah, it was, well, not any, you can't generally do it over there, but a mod did it at one point for something of that, to that same extent of like, this is happening. And everyone was like, we don't care about this. And they eventually had to, they went in and like started wiping out people's. Like their permissions comments. or whatever. Well, they, they like went in and erased all the people posting complaints about it because it was just a constant flood of people reacting to getting pinged that's like the classic like stop replying all <laughs> when you end up with like 18 more reply alls that are just people being like please remove me from this thread <laughs> Yep. We had a particularly uh, infamous one that went on for like a handful of weeks uh, at Apple. And like at a certain point it was really hard, you know, it was like impossible to tell who was genuinely being an idiot about it and who was just continuing for the purpose of trolling everyone's email. <laughs> Again, I, I clipped right through the thing. But it did not die this time. It did kill our third. Can you? I don't know if you have the permissions to. Isn't at isn't at everyone its own permission? Yep. I'm gonna double check that tonight. That was like, I think the first thing we dumped on the clan server was like, you need privileges for this. Pressure is down. I forget. Fighting Lion has some kind of bonus. Is it anti-shield damage if it's a direct hit? I don't know my own weapon. Mm, I don't know. Uh, like extra impact damage to shields? Direct hits do more damage to combatant shields, yeah. Yeah. Is that the equivalent of spike or a spike just bonus? Spike no, is just bonus damage. Impact damage, yeah. I think Fighting Lion has a extra, like, because it's an energy weapon. We'll take all the help we can get. It's shield impact. That's why it really just deletes uh, void shields on direct impact. I was a little surprised. I was looking at the numbers of like what the odds of getting more perks once you've reset are, and it still seems like without getting into too much detail, it still felt a little bit like you still have frustratingly like common odds that you're going to like you're still going to see your fair share of like one perk in each column, which is a bit of a bummer. 
if you're gonna reset four times and still get to the point where you're like, how come I'm still getting one and one and not a bunch of multi perks? Yeah, oh, for sure. Because four resets is a lot to ask, I would say. Oh shit! That missile didn't take out that gun. Was it number of hits? I have no idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, there's the gun. It rolled by me. Yeah, I just shot it off. There is an unstop here. And Freya, welcome, welcome. There we go. And goodbye. How's it going, Freya? Did we get, uh, did it work? I don't think it worked. We must have, uh, Derek must have been way ahead of me. Derek or Colorfinger. No one deposit the, uh... Hmm. New WoW patch today. World of Warcraft. What's going on in the world of Warcraft? I, uh, you know, I purchased Shadowland. Shadowland, is that what it's called? Shadowland. And I never played it. I played BFA. I purchased Shadowland, never logged in. So I did not get Dragonflight, although I've heard decent things about it. Big action bar MMOs do not spark joy with me very much anymore. Although I'm still very... I have very fond memories of my character in that game. I did. You know what was my favorite part of BFA? I've always been a gnome nut. I love me some gnomies. So uh, so Mechagon was a highlight for me, but I didn't, uh, I did, I, I'm indifferent about the rest of it. It was forgettable. I did very much like Mechagon though. Is, uh, is the 28th, the 28th of March, is that when Last of Us is coming out for Windows? I will totally purchase that. I have wanted to play that game for literal years, but I don't own a console. And then it's gonna be probably another literal years before I can play The Last of Us 2, right? So it seem that that seemed to be the case with uh, when did Last of Us Two come out? Horizon as well. Wait, was Horizon a console only game? Yeah. Really? Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm usually really I'm usually really slow to pick up games, and I feel like I saw a bunch of people streaming it, and I never know when someone's using a, using a capture card. So I just kind of assumed it was on Windows, and I was being lazy. I had no idea. It, it is on Windows now because they're promoting the second game coming out, so they ported it. Okay. Oh, console exclusives make me sad. They make me sad and then later they make me worried. That like once we finally get a Windows version, are they gonna, is it gonna be a good port or is it gonna be a scary port? Like I remember it was, uh, is it Assassin's Creed games? Where like, you'd go into the settings and be like, how do I change the keybinds in Assassin's Creed? 
on my Windows version of Assassin's Creed and you bring up the settings and it shows you a picture of the controller. <laughs> I think I got like two thirds of the way through Assassin's Creed 2. And I lost interest at a silly moment. I played through a lot of it. I played Black Flag and I thought it was quite good. But it did kind of end abruptly. I really enjoyed Assassin's Creed 2 for a while. And then they did sort of a, there's this like big, I don't know, a twist like moment, like two thirds of the way in or something, where suddenly they're like, ah, you don't understand. You know, there's an assassin's guild that's so much bigger than, than, than you, like join our fold and we'll all jump off the roof together. And I was like, I'm done. <laughs> I was with the game until there. And then I was just like, I think, I think, I think I've had enough of this game. <laughs> Black Flag, wasn't that like Assassin's Creed Pirate Edition? It was, that's what made it good. You got to have your ship and kit it out with stuff and go around and do pirate things. Play some shanties. Yar har fiddly -dee. Did it also revolve around like weird high tech simulation or were you just in the time period? No, yeah, it, it has the whole plot thing of like you're in, you're a person in the future traveling back to your ancestral DNA timeline quantum leap style. They never really acknowledged that they're ripping off quantum leap in that game, but there you go. I did like, you know, I did like, I liked the, um, uh, there'll be those occasional moments where you like, isn't there like there's like an escape moment, at least in the second one, where like you realize that you're starting to learn some of those moves like in your actual body too? Yeah, there's you do stuff in this. I don't know what you call it in the present, like in the overworld of the game. There's extra, you know, mystery things happening, but a lot of times it's embedded in like email correspondence or things like that. <clears throat> Cause like you're part of, I'm like spoiling Assassin's Creed 2 right now. <laughs> you're, is it always the same twist then or is it different stuff? Because I know initially you're like, like there's been that stuff where you're like, you're like part one of the assassins and you're just trying to learn about your past. And then you're like, wait a minute, but the whole institute I'm doing this science project with are like all the descendants of the church and are like your mortal e ancestral enemy or something. Is that the twist in every Assassin's Creed game or do you go under the... Do you go under the, I was gonna say under the knife, but like, do you use the machine for different reasons in other games? I seem to recall spoilers that in Black Flag, you are not originally of the line. Okay. You're like a pirate that becomes part of the line. They're like, haha, we've been the church the whole time. And you're like, I should have known it was called Templar Institute. 
Yeah, that was the only one I played, and I thought it was great. It didn't make me want to go back and try to, like, do the back catalog, though, because the main thing I liked was the sailing around and doing pirate things. That's interesting. The gameplay uh, from 2 I thought was phenomenal. You get kind of silly powerful eventually. Like, I remember getting to a point where I realized that civilians, like most civilians, would not trigger any, like, major threat. Like, like oh no, they're going to catch you threat. Like, enemies spawning threat stuff. I'm going to die. Like, what am I trying to say here? Uh, it was only like certain units that would cause problems for you and start spawning more monsters and like raise your, your threat level or whatever. And oftentimes they'd be traveling in packs of four. And uh, if you could take out the whole pack fast enough, there would be like zero consequences is what I'm trying to say. So eventually, once I had two wrist blades, I could like open up on the first two guys in the pack, killing them simultaneously, jump to the third, and then I had like a wrist gun and I could shoot the fourth down as he was running, and then life would completely return to normal in Italy. <laughs> like everyone would stop caring and I could just continue about my business. I think that's when I started to burn out because I just felt like there were no longer any qu any consequences for anything I did. <laughs> You're just like, well, I ascended. <laughs> Problem solved. I got to tell you, though, there is something incredibly satisfying about when you learn that attack where you can leap. Like... I remember initially it's a whole thing getting the wrist blade to begin with and then eventually getting the move that lets you open with an instant kill was like its own move, but eventually you can do it with both hands. There is something incredibly satisfying about opening combat with like two immediate takedowns. Finishers, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think Valhalla was the only other one that I've seen that I thought was kind of interesting. All right, the slash lens should do it. Cool. So we were only one apart. Okay, cool, cool. You just hit, you just hit it yourself? Yeah. Nice. And then it all begins again tomorrow. This will be tomorrow reset too. Today. Have you seen the ornaments for the glaive yet? The, I don't even know. The, is the glaive the seasonal? It is. It's I'm... called the Ecliptic Distaff. Sure. Hey, they call me Ecliptic the Staff. Um, it's interesting. Uh, destabilizing rounds, final blows cause nearby targets to become volatile. You've got a movable object. But the interesting ones are blocking damage. Every shot you block will load a shot into the mag. Oh, that's useful. Because reloading mm -hmm. is like the most painful part of using a glaive. So you can just keep going. And then Glaive projectile final blows will temporarily boost, will actually boost uh, Glaive damage. And then additional hits, not even kills, additional hits will refresh it. So I think that's the first thing that actually boosts Glaive damage other than like certain exotics, right? Or did they, did they nerf? Um, Didn't they just nerf? Damage perks. Yeah, but like Swashbuckler doesn't improve the melee hit. Oh, that's true. Uh, and this one actually says uh, Glaive Projectile final blows improve Glaive melee damage. Glaive Projectile or melee damage extends the duration. Interesting. Yeah, only except for the um, Winter Bite heavy one. What about it? Oh, because that hits harder normally? It hits harder with melee when you have ammo. Is it? It's a heavy glaive, so. Does it hit hard enough that there are some people just running around swinging it? I don't think so. It's It kind of has a... I don't think it's worth having that be your exotic since you can't trigger 
Like, most of the time, if you're wanting to melee, you're wanting to trigger melee effects. Right. And they changed a bunch of stuff where it made the melee effects can be triggered with a glaive, but certain types, like using empowered melee, I don't believe works with that. So if you need an empowered melee, then effectively that is not an option. Hmm. Like it doesn't, I don't think it benefits from combination blow, for example, although I haven't actually tested that. I like the way it looks. It's like a big ass staff. Yeah, a lot of people were like, oh, it's it's a heavy. I'm like, how did you not think it was a heavy? Look at what it looks like. Hey, chat, can you hear me turning into a pumpkin? I feel like I feel like I'm actually hitting sleepy mode. <laughs> if I start sounding zonked, it's because I'm starting to get zonked, which means it's probably good that we're finishing soon. <laughs> Slowly losing consciousness on I'm stream. Hitting, I'm hitting pumpkin o'clock. I need to actually have like a toggleable sleep mode. I have this mode, which makes it so the mouth doesn't move. And that's just so that if I have to mute my mic for some reason, you know, additional sounds aren't making the mouth pop open and closed. But uh, I like the idea of a sleepy mode where my eyes are just closed, but I'm still talking. I feel like it would be, uh, I feel like we could make one too where the, the eyes are like uh. more closed. Yeah, this thing is, has become buggier every round. It is not unlikely this new Zahn is a successor who has taken up the mantle. Regardless, he must be stopped. So you could do what? Like we could change the eyelids to a sleep, more sleepy mode instead of just closed eyes. I could, I could, we could see about some sleepy eyes. I have to be careful about going too ham with, uh... oh, hi. I have to be careful about going too ham with commissions right now since I am about to, I'm in the process of committing to a, a model. Full model, yep. Hey, Furial. Annika, welcome, welcome. We're uh, probably in our last run before we call it, but I'm glad you stopped by to say hi. Speaking of which, I have actually been talking to someone about a commission and they got back to me with concept art and I completely forgot to write them back. So I've now reminded myself I need to send that message. I have kind of two more uh, not for this coming signing, but for whatever, the one that I do after it, probably sometime like late summer. Uh, I have two more, and they'll probably be my last two Catalyst skins for a little bit, but I have two more in the works. And then we'll have six, the most I've ever gotten of anything I've ever voiced, we'll have six different Catalyst prints, and, uh, and then I might need to give it a rest for a little bit. Um, but if you're interested, because Zuffins will get cranky if I don't, uh, I do have a signing coming up on April 8th, 8th at 2 p.m. Pacific time. And if you're interested in getting a print of uh, Catalyst or any of the other characters I do. And even if you're not, you should come hang out. I should probably update the Streamly thing to actually say the date so I don't need to actually say it every time. But if you procrastinate just a few more days, it'll what? just be that day. I mean, I guess. Need to update it. We'll see how it goes. Um, we had a really cool long signing the first time. You know, I don't, I don't have no idea what the expectations to have regarding turnout this time. Um, you know, I'm hoping that it's. Uh, 
a nice and busy signing, but it might also be a nice and uh, quaint signing. Uh, we'll see. If we end up not having a lot to uh, to sign, we'll just play some games. I'm also playing with the idea of just leaving the store open, honestly. And maybe that's just me being lazy. Uh, Cause Streamily is big on like, no, you've gotta like, you've gotta do, you've gotta do an event and there has to be like FOMO or, they don't say that, I'm making that sound bad. <laughs> that makes them sound bad. Um, they're like, you, they're, you know, they're like you, you, there should be a, an event where it's a specific time and it's like a special occasion. Uh, and, and there's definitely part of me that's like, I kind of just, since I already stream, part of me just wants to leave the store open and like every Saturday or something, if, uh, if there's a print to sign, I'll sign it. I think Chris Edgerly does stuff like that, doesn't he? I feel like he does a lot of like weekly, like he'll be like, I've got three things to sign and we're going to play some games. That seems like a cool model, honestly. Yeah, the one before back in, what was it, December? was my very first signing. It's the first time I've done anything like that. I haven't done convention appearances. That was my first signing. I'm growing up. I don't have a, uh, you know, obviously games will do it too, depending on the size of the game, but like a lot of the draw when it comes to things like signings and, and appearances in it is anime. And I don't have a lot of huge anime characters. Um, so I haven't, uh, I haven't had people chomping at the bit to get me out to places, but I'm working on it. I'm hoping to fix that because I like doing stuff like that. I think getting out and meeting people in person could be really cool. You know, the fact that the tank has a stomp is a little is is a little much. Yeah. It is kind of cool how it has like a defensive rocket barrage if you get in proximity to it. Does it? Yeah. This one even in the harder mode feels like a fairly low level tank for some reason though. There seems to be some kind of tank power scaling where some of them only need two thrusters shot out. Some of them, mostly they need three, and then occasionally one will need four. Uh, thrusters. Is it two thrusters knocks this one out? It seems to be. Some of them you need all four and then some. Yeah. The, um, I think... Usually if you get all four, they'll go into, like, self-destruct or whatever the mode is. Some I think probably the meanest tanks, though, are probably, uh in Vox Obscura because they the ones later on don't have a crit spot. You know, like that first tank has crits, but then there's the non-crits later. Yeah, the non-critting is absolutely brutal. Okay. Me just casually tanking all those turrets at the same time. <laughs> Uh, thanks, Leiserberg. It's good to see you. Have a wonderful night.
Sorry, one moment. Dun, dun, no dun, dun. I think both of those turrets blew up moments before the my grenade hit. I love when you go stealth and all those missiles from the Colossus just go weirdly up in the air. Yeah. Seeking turns off. It's really nice in uh, Duality Dungeon when you kill your Scion and then go invisible. And don't get missiled to death. Life is going to be so freaking nice the day that Gear Falcons actually works properly. Oh yeah, it totally doesn't. Wait, I love it for you. I love that for you. Any chance did the urge to get more? Oh, food. Ha. Uh, this is a. You know when you're hungry and you take that first bite and then just inhale the rest of your meal. Sometimes I always regret it later. Sometimes like I have moments where I'm like, I clearly was very hungry, and then as I'm like vacuuming up my food. I'm like, I think I'm eating a little fast. <laughs> I think I need to slow this down. That has happened to me a few times, especially when it's a nicer meal and you're really loving it, but you're like, but I want to savor it too. Fuck. It'd be nice to have some understanding of what the hell these cores that we're dunking even do. Well, make good use of that. I'm I'm gonna lie here. <laughs> it was my own choice. I've done this to myself. What? Okay. Are you using uh, Assassin's Cowl? Yep. <laughs> I've got the football. Ah, uh, the Thresher is up. <laughs> I have discovered. Oh, there you are.
Oh, I did not play that well. Nice job, though. <laughs> I think I regenerated my whole super just off the dog wave from using the punch. I'm not yawning. You're yawning. No, you. How do we do? Did that get me there? Yay! Nice. Hey, Shira. What a day. Beyond the Vanguard. Impressive work, Guardian. What's up, Jarlin? Yeah, we've won for today. That is reset number two of four. I think that's my first reset. So each, uh, it looks like each ornament changes the crystal color. So the initial one is kind of a purpley blue. It's kind of a, it's a purple, right? Like a bluey purple. And uh, if you get the ornaments, they're exactly what you expect them to be. The Vanguard one makes it orange. The Crucible one makes it red. Kind of cool looking. And the uh, Gambit one makes it green. Hmm. Which is kind of neat. Yeah, it is 3 a.m. for me. Hey, Juna. Do a little bit of quick housekeeping. Transfer. Are you doing Iron Banner at all this week? Uh, I don't know. I might do some. I kind of miss the days when they were bounties. Yeah. You're really not incentivized to play until, I guess, Friday when the last step of the quest comes out. And you can just power through it. Where you can ramp up. Yeah, because if you, if you overplay on earlier days, then you can't get the maximum... Uh, rank and when it released today it was also bugged where you wouldn't get increased rep oh but they fixed that already yeesh that was after it also not launching last week it was supposed to be last week originally i'm up to 32 vanguard engrams <laughs> I wonder how many I have. It's got to be a pretty good amount. Not enough space. Oh, I only have 16. Well, it makes sense because you've done two resets and I've only done one reset. Time to grab another assassin's cowl. <laughs> In order to reset. Because that's what we do here. Oh, you're putting up golf balls? Yeah. It always costs me money to reset. Store it away for a rainy day. Burn any of the three ornaments, and that's done. Boom. Two resets down. You know, it's a bummer. Oh, wait a minute. It does actually track it. Does That's what Prestige 2 means? Yes, correct. Interesting. Okay. And that cool. Prestige level is what makes a difference to the, to the roles. 
prestige and I guess to the focusing the as well. If you if you focus those engrams when you have your high prestige, you can get better rolls out of them. Does it also apply to just random drops? Or just uh, for focusing? I think to random drops as well, too. Well, they're not totally random, right? Because they're awards based on whatever the settings of the day, week, whatever. But like when royal entry is the drop, it would be affected by those hmm. modifiers for you. <clears throat> That's the plan, is to uh, is to get to Prestige 4, not use any of the engrams, so I have an insanely stupid amount of engrams, and then watch as all of them go by and I don't get the role I'm hoping for. Mm. That's which, the spirit. Which, to be clear, perfect role for me, not for everybody. Here's the real question. What, um... What, um... This is something where Nilky and I would get up, get into an argument. What masterwork? Handling, presumably? Presumably, yeah. If you're pairing it with an Izanagi's, then anything where you're doing swaps, the handling is going to be what you want to max out. You know, now that you can do that with the, um, the, or that you will be able to do that with the raid adept weapons, I kind of pray for the day that you can do that with everything. Or like every weapon to a certain extent you can bring back to that place and change up some of the stuff. Kind of like back in year one. Remember you used to be able to reroll the master the masterwork and the element? Yeah. Yeah, you used to be able to change the element and reroll it. I don't see them doing the element one again, but I wouldn't mind getting to reroll the masterwork and some yeah, of the other as, stuff. As restrictive as not letting you roll the element is, it makes so much sense. Like being able to just change the element at will is pretty pretty busted especially when it comes down to like oh well i'll just make my icolo shotgun void i remember not knowing if the new weapons in weapons 2.0 back in the day were going to be better or not so like i had a whole list of weapons i was resolved to get all three elements of of like the following weapons mm -hmm. and then never used any of them and then they sunset everything mm -hmm. yeah so yeah, I think my perfect role would probably be quick launch, impact casing, uh, field prep and auto loading, clown cartridge and demo with they handling. Yeah, that makes sense. That would be like the ultimate utility rocket launcher for me as a void lot as a void hunter. Because it can't. Can it have uh, explosive light? I don't think so. I will okay. double check, though. Clown demo is no. good for getting all your rockets out, but it might make sense to have a damage perk on there. Uh, demo's in the right column. Right. So, yeah, but, uh, so, you know, casual use, I'd probably be auto-loading clown. Uh, raid would be field prep clown. And, like, honestly, specifically, Atheon would be field prep demo. That's oh, okay. really that's really the only reason for demo. For demo, honestly. So cl clown cartridges is in the same column with demo. Yeah. Gotcha. So being able to toggle them still, though, that makes a lot of sense. You can have cluster. I don't care about that that much. You can have last yeah. impression, which I don't. That is almost always more trouble than it's worth. Yeah. Lasting impression is not worth. Cluster is hasn't been relevant in my mind since Riven. You can have uh, ambitious assassin. Not applicable. Then you get a whole bunch of stuff that's not boss damage, like Ambitious Assassin, Chain Reaction, blah, yeah. Unrelenting, Thresh, can you Wellspring. Put impact Casing on it? One for all. You can have Impact Casing. Yeah, so Impact Casing is definitely on your list if you're looking at it for a DPS rocket. Yeah. And most of the time I would just use auto-loading, but for, you know, for content that matters, I could run field prep. Yeah. Well, that being said, it might make sense if you were doing a Izanagi's. <clears throat> if you're doing a quick swap, then you want auto loading. Yeah. But that being said, I think that's where I'm going to leave us. We'll be back. Um, I'll do more tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight, Rail. Sure. I'm, uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit the hay.
Um, you know what? Let's let's give some love to I see the only person on my list playing right now is the adorable Xion Li. Xion is playing Redemption Reapers. Which I'm not familiar with. It's an RPG. I'm going to send you over to Shion, and I want you to give her a lot of love, all right? She's got a really beautiful, amazing new model. It's fucking cute as hell. So uh, I will leave you with that. Uh, thank you so much for spending this time with me. As always, thank you for the subs. Thank you for the raids. I will see you all soon. I love y'all. Have a great night. Wait, <laughs> as my audio fades anyway. Um, also, and if you're here for the first time, before I set up the raid, if you're here for the first time and, uh, and you'd like to come back, I would love to have you back. Feel free to give me a follow. I'd love to see you again.